Hello, my friends. Uh, welcome back again. Uh, so this time it is a revision session. FMJ exam is very near. Neat also. So most of the students, especially, you know, uh, when it comes for microbiology, I know the complaints are it's difficult. You've studied many times. It's not all sticking in a brain. We're revising, wasting a lot of time. Nothing is going inside. So don't worry about it. If someone is complaining like that for microbiology, no. So microbiology is not that difficult at all. Leave it to me. Just listen to only to my lecture. So I have made very uh, all important things in one short revision, very fast. Only important things, repeated question, expected question, picture based, all these things included in this revision. So we're going to have two sessions, okay? Part one, part two. The part one is the main part which we're going to discuss today. And the other one would be uh, in uh, very soon. In another two, three days, you will have, that is uh, the small part, biology, parasite, mycology, cover it up. So now, why this session? So why uh, why I have to why we have to know microbiology why it is so important because these days microbiology question almost they are asking we have I'm continuously counting last four five session both NEET and FMG twenty one to twenty five to twenty six questions they are asking approximately twenty to twenty one it can be twenty six also twenty seven also we don't know so that means weightage is good so if you're clearing this much questions the tough subject people always say micro is a difficult one so if you're really scoring this much means your you know, chance of pass is very good and for neat pg very good score also you'll get one thing so this much you should know how many revisions needed every subject you know three times four times five times revision three, but from for me this revision what i'm teaching will cover maximum and if you're not able to remember i'll give you a pd of five you go through it once Fast, not wasting time. You read other 18 subjects for this 19 micro subject, leave it to me. Okay, this whatever we're doing will be more than suffice. Be easy, very easy, not mnemonics all the time. Few plays mnemonics. Mostly I made it so sweet and easy in a funny manner, you'll remember. Okay, so that's it. So it's up to uh, uh, all the, uh, it's up to me. Okay, okay, all my revision. Okay, all my revision videos you will be seeing. Revision videos, only this one. This this one and one more video upcoming. Uh, why why it's very important? Because I made it very easy. Number one, easy, all expected questions. Okay, expected questions. So I know uh, being a microbiologist working in, you know, VMMC Subdivision Hospital and ESA Hospital, I know my faculties, what type of questions they expect, what they allow to ask. So there are a lot of things. So, you know, I'm going to stress on that. Okay, okay. Then expected question. The next one is, Picture based. All the picture based important questions are included in this revision, and the previous year questions also included here. That would make it very easy for you. Okay, so just two parts. How many parts? So only part one and part two. Just two only revision. Hardly it will take you. Part one will make uh, uh, let's say back some two 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 and a half hours maximum, and part two will be even less than that. So in part two, complete bacteriology, both systemic and generally. Just like 60 percentage weightage that covers almost 60 to 70 percent. The remaining virology part, parasitology, mycology in upcoming classes. So now let's start. Okay. So the first topic, as I said, it would be general and systemic bacteriology, a very new way. So first we'll go systemic and then we we'll go to general, a different type of approach. And that is very easy, believe me. Okay. You will thank me later. Okay. So next. So let's start. So before going to systemic bacteriology, first we will do a basic classification. You know already, don't even have to say. So bacterial classification, you know, you know that, okay, what are they? They are usually gram, gram positive and the gram negative. Gram positive and gram positive and gram negative, two types, okay, gram positive and gram negative bacteria we have. So when you talk about the gram positive bacteria, always remember positive people are violet, violet or purple color, you know, purple or violet is like, you know, all the good people, the positive people, they wear violet or purple color. But the gram negative people are pink, you know, very angry people, negative people. So if you see their face, they will be looking very pink, pink, right? That's the thing. So now gram positive, how to remember? See, all the positive people, the positive people, where they go, if you're positive, where you'll go to have your food, your favorite place would be McDonald's, okay? McDonald's, McDonald's, okay? McDonald's, okay? So here comes. So o, ka, uh, o is not there. Remove the O, okay? M, M for microbacterium. See, it's a revision, so repeat with me, okay? Microbacterium tuberculosis. And A for, two A's are there. One is anthrax. This A for anthrax, and another A is for actino my sis actinomycosis or actinomyces okay two years and we have c c for let's put clostridium here close 
three D M close three D M. D you see two Ds are there. Two Ds are there. So D for one is diphtheria. One is diphtheria. Other one is diphtheroid. Diphtheroid. They are brothers. Okay. Diphtheroid. Diphtheroid is usually not a pathogen. It is usually commensal. It doesn't cause any diseases. Okay. It is usually commensal, not included. So but diphtheria is important. You know that. Okay. And what about N? N for no cardia. No cardia is actually for me. It's a neuropathy. We have all the interesting things later on. Neuropathy, no cardia. Okay, we, we will talk about that. It's interesting. L for L would be your listeria. Listeria monocytogens. Okay, that is gram positive. And yes, S is very important. That is, we are going to talk two important ESs. What are they? You know already Staphylococcus and the Streptococcus. Staphylococcus and Streptococcus. This picture, this is coming here. You see this cocci, this is stephylo cocci, okay? So there are only two cocci, stephylo and step two. These two are cocci. Rest all are bacilli. Cocci is this. We'll, we'll, individual, we'll take it. But remember, when you get a picture like this, purple color, and it's round, it's a cocci. Either stephylo, step This one is stephylo, but step two means it's in chain. We'll talk about that soon, okay? So just one question, they can give this picture. They can give a case history, and then they are, give the picture until they'll identify it. This is the rest all or rest all other bacteria you're seeing here. They all are bacilli. Okay. They are positive bacilli, gram positive bacilli. Okay. Gram positive bacilli. So they are bacilli. Okay. Now rest all, apart from this McDonald's, rest all would be gram negative. All, most of them are negative people only. Okay. Okay. In that it could be cocci or it could be bacilli. Okay. You got it? This is a very basic clue. Basic clue. Okay. Cocci or bacilli. That's it. Okay. We are finishing with this. Rest all are negative people. Okay. So if you know gram positive means you can rule out and put negative. In that that also negative may cocci all are bacilli all mostly they are bacilli only mostly they are bacilli but cocci if you see cocci only few cocci are there gram negative cocci what are the shortcut is venom v e n o m v for you know vionella vionella they don't have so much don't worry and nasiria nasiria and m for m for moraxella m for moraxella m for moraxella okay vionella nasirian moraxella okay moraxella that's it we'll talk about it individually now now let's go to the first one the gram positive cocci the first bacteria the first bacteria the king of infection i would say you know the king of infections uh skin infection especially okay now let's start so here what is the gram positive cocci? When you talk about gram positive cocci, I just told you there are two bacteria only. What are they? One is Staphylococcus, 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 and other one is Streptococcus. Other one is Streptococcus, Streptococcus. So, why is this picture? When you talk about Streptococcus, please remember this is a nursing staff, staff, and a staff, Staphylococcus staff, make Staphylococcus a staff, a nursing beautiful Malu staff, Malayali staff, so nursing staff are so popular, so remember that. And so, look at her, what she's having, the staff's favorite is two things, one, she loves the cat, and the other thing is she likes the grapes, she likes the grapes, you'll have a picture on this, please, not this picture, related to this. So, what happened, the first thing which I want to tell, a staff, the first test to distinguish these two is catalase. A catalase is positive for Staphylococcus. It is negative for Streptococcus. So ruled out. Throw it out. Okay. So you don't get confused. Strepto and Staphyl. A lot of my students, they get confused in MBB. So I always tell them to remember, staff, staff has a cat. So catalase positive. Okay. And staff likes what? They like grapes. Grapes. I mean to say grape-like cluster. They look like grape-like cluster. The previous picture I showed you, I just showed you grape-like cluster. It is like this. This is a cocci. If you remember the previous picture, this one. See this picture I showed you, right? This picture. The first picture. Okay, that's the thing. So now here you come here. Here if you come, so this is the cocci, grape-like cluster. Whereas your streptococci, that is like a chain. That is like a chain. We'll talk about it in a while, okay? So the which test is one test, the differing staphylococcus streptum is catalase. Remember that. That's it. That's what I want to remember. Okay, catalase is the main test. Now again, this is a catalyst test. You see the test here? This is nothing. You are adding 3% H2 to hydrogen peroxide and you say the bubbles. When you see bubble, that is catalyst positive. When you see bubbles, catalyst positive. This can be asked, okay, 3 percent, how many percent H2 total? But this catalyst is a definitely expected question to differentiate staphylococcus from this thing. They can give a case history and just one test, catalyst positive, identify the organism. Cat, cat positive, staphylococcus. Bus. Okay, now next test is, now again, we have something called next, this test. You see this? This next picture, this is a coagulase test. You have a coagulase test. Coagulase test this is a tube. This is a slide coagulase and tube coagulase. Slide and tube coagulase. Okay, tube coagulase test. So when you do the coagulase test, if it comes positive and coagulase is positive, when coagulase test is positive, what is it? It is Staphylococcus aureus. It is Staph aureus. We say aureus. Okay, we say Staph aureus. 
If it is negative, we call them as coagulate cones. We call those cones. Cones means basically coagulase negative staphylococcus. Okay, I'm not seeing the full name. Coagulase negative, coagulase negative staphylococcus. That's it. If it's positive, aureus. Positive means aureus. Coagulum is aureus. Okay, so that's it. So slide coagulase and tube color, tube coagulase. Okay, that's it. See, other name is there. So, uh, see, tube, no, tube. You know, free YouTube is free. So YouTube free. Called tube free coagulase. Tube coagulase is also called pre coagulase. Pre coagulase. Okay. This question uh, previously one liner may they used to ask. So even if you forgot also, YouTube is free for everyone. So pre coagulase. Slide coagulase, how is it? Slide means your bound. So it's called bound coagulase. A bound clumping factor, bound factor, all those things. So remember only pre, then the rest one is easy. Okay. Got it? So now I'm going to the next. So uh, catalase and coagulase test is important here. Remember, cat is for staph, Malayali staph, nursing staph, staphylococcus, and coagulase is for staphylococcus aureus. When you have aureus, coagulase is positive. Okay. Not for other things. Right. Now let's go to first. Let's talk, let's talk about I've just now we told staphylococcus is based co uh, classified based on the coagulase. If a coagulase is negative, then it is cones. Cones is nothing but coagulase negative, negative staphylococcus. That's it. Okay. If it's positive, that is staphylococcus aureus. If it's negative, it is cones. Very simple. I know. Simple. If it is positive, that is staph aureus. We'll talk about staph aureus uh, in the next slide. Now let's important see. Only two cones are there. Just two cones. Very, very, very simple. What are the two cones? One is Staphylococcus epidermidis, epidermidis, epidermidis. Next one is Staphylococcus saprophyticus, saprophyticus, saprophyticus. Okay, epidermidis and saprophyticus, two organisms. You have a question here. Careful, very careful, very easy. I don't want you to make any mistake in this question. Staphylococcus epidermidis. The name itself says epidermis, you know, so it is in the skin. It's a skin commensal. Usually, it's in the skin commensal. Saprophyticus will come. So before that, going to that, uh, in epidermidis, epidermidis, you know, most common in any of uh, uh, any of the catheter, wherever there is a catheter, IV catheter or urine doesn't matter. IV or urinary catheter related. If the, any question comes or any prosthetic wall, prosthetic wall or stent or whatever comes, please remember staph epidermidis is most common. You can have question from there. Okay, epidermidis, skin can attach. So you're putting anything with skin, your, your, your catheter, you know, IV catheter through the skin or urinary catheter. So it's a normal commensal can cause infection, number one. Okay, otherwise it's a normal commensal only. Okay, number one. Number two, this is the disease, the, anything related to so the disease which is usually causing here, it would be, it's a prosthetic, then it causes what? Infective endocarditis, infective endocarditis. We'll talk about infective endocarditis very nicely, but it usually causes what? Pro, the, it causes the prosthetic wall, prosthetic wall, prosthetic wall, infective endocarditis. Okay, endocarditis, that question can come. Okay, though staph aureus is most common to talk, but now remember that one. Okay, right? Now, saprophyticus. Saprophyticus is very simple. Sapra, sapra is a girl. Sapra is a young female. She is a young, beautiful girl. Young, sexually active, sexually active girl. What she does, she, if she has sex with a partner first time, so what she get? UTI. So we call what? Honeymoon, honeymoon, honeymoon. Her first sex is always honeymoon. No? We call honeymoon cystitis. The word honeymoon cystitis, a young girl gets UTI first time and on uh, examination, if they see the grape-like cluster, grape-like cluster, already told grape means you have to remember staff. When you catalyze, you have to remember staff. So staff. So here, especially which organism? Saprophyticus, UTI, honeymoon cystitis. That's it. Very, very simple. And there's one test to distinguish, NOVA, NOVA, NOVA biosin. NOVA biosin test is sensitive here, epidermidis, but it is resistant for Supra. Supra, she's a resistant girl. She's very resistant. Supra is resistant, remember? She's very resistant girl, but epidermidis is not. So NOVA is sensitive. NOVA biosin resistant. That's it, this much only. So you expect this young sexually act question is repeatedly asked question, so that you should know. Supra, UTA. Supra, this girl, Supra is having urinary tract infection. That's called honeymoon cystitis because of first sex bus. Okay, finished. This is the main thing you should know. No, by it's resistant. Okay, now I'm going to next one. Staph, uh, Staphylococcus aureus. Staphylococcus aureus, we know very, very, very important. I'm repeating. So, first of all, many simple, this is a basic question, simple question, normal flora, which is the most common. If they ask normal set, you know, it's in the nasal flares. Okay, nasal flares, nasal, in the starting part. Okay, nasal Nasal region, okay, nasal face, nasal, any anterior part of the nose, it's in the nose part, that's it, okay, fine. Treatment, so now what happened many times to prevent this infection, we, they are asking, <coughs> yeah, mupriosin, okay, mupriosin ointment, we are giving this ointment before surgery under what they do, they apply it on the nasal region, nasal flare region, so that 
this is going okay mupriosin ointment this is ointment very important question asked okay this is pre our previously it used to come frequently nowadays they didn't ask much you can expect it excuse me now the most common route of spread is hand 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 that's what they say to wash your hand wash your hand properly so the main co most common route of is handling only in the hand so uh, staffs from the staffs from the staffs from the nursing staffs any staff hospital staffs ka hand mein, it's more okay so from there only it spreads everywhere right okay now virulence factor they talk to virulence factor if you get confused sir staphylococcus or is virulence factor i can't remember what to do you know whenever i say staff whenever i say staff the nursing staff, especially Malayali nursing staff, you know, they work, they work in depth, you know, they work in depth, not superficial work. They are excellent because they do, the staffs do their work in depth. What is this depth set? Very simple. Because this question you can ask, because this is, virulence factors are very characteristic for staff for use only. One is DNAs, DNAs, okay, DNAs. Other one is, uh, when you talk about, uh, uh, one second. E for enterotoxins. We have two important enterotoxins we're going to talk in a while now. Toxin, toxin A and F will talk soon. P for phosphatase. P for phosphatase. Phosphatase. Okay, phosphatase. And also, uh, we have this uh, protein. Protein A. Okay, protein A also. This is also some of the important factor here that is actually coming from CO1-1 strain. If you remember, remember, otherwise it's fine. CO1-1 strain. Uh, it's, it's helping in coagulation test. Later we'll study. T for thermonucleus, 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 and H for hemolysate, hemolysate. This is okay, this is not fine. Here, the most important is D, E, P, T, H, because this thermonucleus, phosphatase, DNAs, or specific test for the specific only for staphylococcus aureus. So that's what I'm stressing on this. They can ask you, how do you distinguish staphylococcus aureus from cones? So these are the tests it should come in apart from coagulase. Apart from the coagulase, with coagulase, these are specific for your staff or use. Okay, that's it. Depth, depth. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay, very simple. Now, the disease caused by staphylococcus aureus. This is now picture-based questions. A lot of picture-based questions are going to be asked here. So skin, you know, starting itself, folliculitis. Folliculitis, hair follicle infections, it starts. Then it goes to a furuncle, a little bit bigger, and a furuncle. Then carbuncle or a boil. Carbuncle or a boil. See all the things you're seeing here. <coughs> furuncle. It could be earlier folliculitis, then furuncle, then carbuncle. Okay, carbuncle, boil, and then abscess. You know, when you talk about abscess, the most common cause of abscess will be that though these days no direct question, but they can give you the patient is giving this picture. It was aspirated and it was sent to the microbiology lab. And then on gram, on gram stain, there was a grape-like cluster, immediately stab, staphylococcus aureus. Catalase positive, staff. Coagulase positive, staphylococcus aureus. That's it, okay? Don't even have to think too much. Whatever picture, what they give, you can, you should be happy, you know? Abscess means staphylococcus aureus. A aureus, A abscess, we forgot also. Okay, you know this very well. I'm not going to touch that. Heart. In heart, we know heart. Anybody can prompt me? Yes, you're right. Most common cause of infective endocarditis, overall most common cause of infective endocarditis is your staphylococcus aureus. Don't think staph that staphylococcus aureus can. It is most common cause of infective endocarditis, especially acute. I'm talking about acute. Not only acute, it is most common cause of infective endocarditis in IV drug users. IV drug users, okay? Drug users also, it's most common. Okay, so these are the overall most common and most common IV drug users and also most common right-sided, right-sided, right-sided infective, infective endocarditis exam is favorite question. So they can ask anything. So please remember acute infective endocarditis, IV drug users infective endocarditis and right-sided infective endocarditis, the most common cause is staphylococcus aureus. Expected question, expected question. Bone, you know, it's the most common cause of which condition? Osteomyelitis. Same, you'll have patient to ask this blah 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 they'll give history of pain in the leg and then the first was oozing out the first was sent to your lab and then there was this grape like cluster catalyst positive again i'm sitting grapes and cat they both are liked by staff staff nursing staff malayali staff okay staff look sorry so most common cause of osteomyelitis but the word sickle cell anemia the word sickle cell anemia comes then what you're going to think you're going to Think whom? Salman ji, Salmonella. Remember Salman, Salman Khan ka kya hai? Sickle cell anemia hai. He get osteomyelitis. Don't forget Salman Khan, osteomyelitis because of this uh, sickle cell anemia. Okay. Otherwise, overall most common cause osteomyelitis is your staphylococcus aureus. Okay. That. Next question. Lung. 
a lung, look at this beautiful lung. So in lung, you know this. This is this 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 will be a radiology question also. First of all, it is it is uh, uh staphylococcus aureus cause for hospital. It's the most common it, gram positive, most common cause of hospital acquired pneumonia. Any gram positive bacteria, most common cause of gram positive cutting hospital acquired pneumonia is this only. Okay, hospital acquired pneumonia. Number one. Our nosocomia, no, no, hospital means you need to nosocomia only, same, same, okay. And then of course, they cause lobular pneumonia, lobular pneumonia, lobular pneumonia, there is one specific design, you see air inside, that was, it's called pneumatocil, 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 the word is a will come, please don't make mistake, it is a question, 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 very simple, this picture will come and get identified, nematocil, very good, okay, you know that, you can do it very easily, no problem, okay. Now abscesses, abscesses, I told you all abscesses, any, particularly they'll ask parotid abscess, they, their favorite is parotid abscess, or they're going to go to breast abscess, breast abscess, or anywhere, anywhere in the skin abscess comes, the first thing you should think would be your, <coughs> excuse me, staph aureus, okay, so parotid abscess, breast abscess, even mastitis, parotitis, not even before abscess also, their most common cause is staphylococcus aureus only, okay, question, question, question. Mycosis, like if there's one infection causing mycosis, means it's fungal. But here, staphylococcus also causes the infection similar to the fungal. And these days, it's very favorite. Examiners love it. What is that? Botyromycosis. Botyromycosis. Botyromycosis, please. It's not a real mycosis fungal. It is caused by what? Your staphylococcus. Okay. So, uh, your staffs love boti. Okay. They love boti. Remember, the staffs love boti. Okay, boti is like meat, you know, South India they call the inner part of the uh, animal meat. So boti, staff like boti, that's it. Okay, my cause like infection. Now next, now food poisoning. Food poisoning is another favorite question. You have one question from Staphylococcus aureus guaranteed in your FMG exam. So you can't skip this topic. Food poisoning, you know what it causes. It causes diarrhea. It causes diarrhea. You know that it causes diarrhea. So diarrhea, may what is the, usually what first of all what is the incubation period? Very important. But first, let's start with toxin. Toxin is better. It is caused by enterotoxin, enterotoxin A, enterotoxin A. Okay, A. There are other things also, but A is the most common one. A, B, C, D, F, M, O, N, E, except have everything is there. Enterotoxin is the most common one. First question. A already clue. So what when patient eats what? The, 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 this uh, the problem comes because when the patient is alu any alu alu related alu salad or any cream any milk cream associated means what pastries ice cream the word pastry ice cream mayonnaise you know these word comes these are favorite for malayali people mallu stuffs okay cream pastry so staphylococcus immediately you have to think and another important beauty is what the infection occurs within six hours and what usually patients have vomiting more than diarrhea they have more vomiting only staphylococcus people staffs they usually vomit that's it very very simple diarrhea food poisoning here I said diarrhea, diarrhea is rare. Diarrhea is rare or it's almost absent. You don't even think about diarrhea here. Okay. When you say food poisoning, you say diarrhea and vomiting. So here in staff, diarrhea is not common. Vomiting is common. And the food is all salad, cream, pastry, drinking. Okay. Don't forget. So this is the first one. Enterotoxin, which is causing. And don't forget. Yeah. I'll come. I'll come for that. Next question is TSS. TSS is very, very important. This is toxic shock syndrome. This is toxic shock syndrome. So when some, if you see this question, you should be so happy. Shock, uh, SHO, see how I make a spelling mistake, okay? Shock, shock syndrome. Toxic shock syndrome, see in this one, toxic shock, whenever you word toxic comes, what comes to your mind? Boy or a girl? Definitely a female will come in your mind, right? Female. So have, everything is have, have. So what is that? Here, the toxin name is enterotoxin have. Question asked. Recent MCQ, me, it came. FMG, me, it came. M, uh, in, uh, um, uh, okay. MCA exam, eh? previous MCA, but also in FM, uh, recent FMG, MCA exam, it came. Okay. Enterotoxin have 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 for female what? Tampons. Tampons, see, two females are coming. One is what? One is, I told you, Staphylococcus, Saprophyticus, Saprako, UTI. Hai. Other one is the female, have a female, female tampon. So what they get? They get toxic. They get toxinemia happens, toxic syndrome. They get shock and it can end even in death also. Very dangerous. And don't forget, these both enterotoxin A and have enterotoxin changing the pen color. 
they both are both is toxic or super antigens super antigen means they release excess amount of cytokine even without attaching to the re receptor they cause excess release of cytokines that's the reason okay so they are super antigen that's what it's dangerous both are dangerous entroxin a and entroxin f is more dangerous toxic suction drop okay female pattern female tampon contamination so the bacteria the staphylococcus will become very high they become toxic and cause a shock okay that's it now next next one next one next one next one uh, toxin toxin mediated disease. This is, this is, this is Staphylococcus caldered skin syndrome. Staphylococcus caldered skin syndrome. The name looks dangerous, but it, the prognosis is very good. Staphylo, Staphylococcus scalded skin, scalded skin syndrome. Scalded skin syndrome. Okay, sometimes they say 4S also. So here, very simple. When the baby gets what? This bullous lesion. Baby gets this bulla, so no bullous lesions will happen. So in this lesion, the cell it's very the prognosis is very very good. It is usually the toxin name is called. See, it is skin, no, it is skin. So the toxin name is also epidermolytic. Epidermo. This question was asked, which is the toxin causing means epidermolytic toxin. <coughs> there it was enterotoxin A and F. Here is epidermotoxin or exfoliative. Exfoliative means also skin only. So anything related with the skin. So ex epidermolytic or exfoliative. Skin ko kya karte ho? Epidermis ko? You do exfoliation. No, they say the for makeup. So same thing. Okay. Skin exfoliative toxin. So epidermolytic toxin or exfoliative toxin. Finished. Okay. So this is the cause. This will be asked. And the dermatology point of view, there is Nikolsky sign. When you try to uh, remove the uh, skin peeling, the, the, the lesion, you know, appears. That is the one. Nikolsky sign positive. Okay. That is one when the superficial skin you can feel, you know, new lesions can happen. Okay, Nicole's case sign. So that's it. And of course, prognosis is very good. With the antibody treatment, prognosis is very, very good. Very, very good. Okay. And usually what happens this year, the desmosomes are destroyed in skin may desmosomes. Desmosomes is a more uh, uh, patho question. So in uh, scalloscopes, means desmosomes are damaged. This is damaged. The damage is happening to the desmosome. That's what, what happened. The bullous lesion is spreading and baby gets to see all these lesions like this happen. So when you get this like this and don't confuse, it's a very simple question. The answer would be staphylococcus scalded skin syndrome. Scalded. Okay. Right. So three diseases, like a food poisoning and one is the, tam you know, the, the tampon disease that is causing the a female tampon causing the uh, to uh, toxic shock syndrome and the staphylococcus scalded syndrome toxin mediator. Okay. Now the diagnosis. The diagnosis, but already we've discussed it. Now it's going to be more easier. As I told you, this is the staffs like what? When you diagnosis of the staff, staphylococcus syndrome, we'll make it stuff, nursing, Malayali stuff. So first of all, see the grape-like, the gram-positive, positive people, grape-like cluster. Okay. Grape-like cluster. So you have, they have the grape-like clusters. Number one, this question will come. This picture will come exactly to come with any of the previous, uh, whatever the clinical we studied. So please don't make mistake. You see all grape-like clusters. So it is staphylococcus, staphs like grapes. Then in blood culture, you see, you should know that always the staphs are head. There is a head staph. No, the staphs always are head. So the blood agar, when you see pinhead colony, pinhead colony, oh, don't forget, pinhead colonies, pinhead colonies, very important because we have pinpoint colony where in the streptococcus, pinpoint will be in pinpoint, would be in streptococcus. Strippers will Stamp the pin that will come there. Now, pin head, head means head stop, head nurse. Now, head nurse could be say head stop nurse, head stop nurse. So, head, this question was asked. Pin head colony with beta hemolysis. This picture also can be given. They'll give you a picture like this with this is beta hemolysis, and then this is beta with bit. Uh, beta hemolysis, it's a staphylococcus, one staphylococcus aureus. Second, nutrient agar, you see, you see what golden pigment, you see gold pigment, gold or yellowish aureus means yellow pigment. So, again, the word gold comes, you know, Malayali staffs are rich, so they have a lot of golds, they have a lot of golds. Any word gold pigment comes, you have to remember this. One more pigment producing is Pseudomonas aeruginosa, which is producing green color pigment, will go there. But right now, you have to remember this only, yellow pigment. Okay, very, very simple and easy. Micro is delicious, believe me. And this staff is one of the toughest, it looks like a tough, but this is one of the easiest one. Okay, rest are even more fun. Okay, now selective media. For selective media, we have so many media, but especially we use what? Manitol salt agar. Manitol salt agar. Remember, the, uh, this uh, uh, the Malayali nurses, they're very smart. They're healthy, health conscious, you know. So they eat this manitol only. They drink manitol only to be fit, you know. They drink manitol. 
So mantra salt is a question. Golden yellow pigment, pigment is a question. Pin and collis. Finish, finish, finish. So the picture all are important. You know that. Now MRS. MRS is a very important question. Again, pharma point of view and medicine, I mean, the micro point of view also, medicine also. MRS is methicillin resistant. Okay, I'm not going to write everything. Methicillin. It is a methicillin uh, resistant staphylococcus aureus. Okay. Now here what happened? The main reason is MECA gene mutation. You know, MECA gene. This is the main culprit. So how do you diagnose it? Diagnose scale one is PCR. You can make PCR. Number one, best. Otherwise, we have a disc called sephoxetin. Sephoxetin disc testing. There is sephoxetin fox. You know, fox disc, sephoxetin um, disc screening we can do. Or oxocillin. Oxocillin is less used. Oxocillin is less used. But sephoxetin is better. But ideally, the best is PCR. Okay, detection, Kelly. They, can, they might ask. We never know. Okay. Now, MRSA. So, whenever we have MRSA, but the question is not that. You know what? They'll ask you for MRSA. What, uh, MRSA, what is the thing? Uh, what is the treatment? Treatment, they'll ask you. You know what I say? In hospital, when a patient is having MRSA, I'll tell him to please be quiet. Just see TV. Don't do anything. Just simply sit and see the TV. That's it. If anybody is having MRSA in the hospital, tell them, please don't do anything. Just on the TV and watch the TV. That's it. Tell them to watch the TV. So what does it mean? C for cephalosporin, fifth generation drugs. And then T for tacoplanin, tacoplanin. And B for vancomycin. Definitely expected question. Drug of choice for MRSA is what? Any of these drugs is correct. Usually vanco will come or tacoplanin will come. Cephalosporin also can come. You got it? So question expected. So this one expected repeated previous year question two. Okay. Now Versa. What about Versa? Versa, again here, here is more Versa. The reason for Versa is Van A gene. Van A gene. There are many genes, but Van A is the most common gene. Again, the diagnostic is you do PCR only. Nothing else that you have to do the PCR. That's it. Now, that's one part. Now, other than that, what's the treatment here now? What's the treatment? What is so interesting? You know, treatment, you know, Versa. Versa is a girl or if you have Versa, what do you have to eat? You know, when you have VRSA, what do you do? When you have MRSA, shut your mouth, see the TV. Okay, but when you have VRSA, just simply enjoy a delicious dal. That's it. Enjoy delicious dal. Dal is tasty, you know. So in hospital, you eat a dal. That's enough. D for, D for, D for daptomycin. Yes, daptomycin, daptomycin. And L for lenizolid. Lenizolid, definitely expected question. Versa ka drug of choice. If they ask you, this you should keep in your mind. Very simple, very easy. I don't know why micro is difficult. Okay, right? So this is the way you're going to be. When you have Versa, tell the patient to eat dal. When he has MRSA, tell him to shut the mouth and see the TV. Okay, see the TV. Okay, that's it. Now, etiology. Now look at this beautiful uh, topic. In fact, when I told you, though it's important. So first of all, you have to know, see, the, these organisms are most common organisms. First of all, cephalococcus, what it causes, cones, what it causes, uh, and then this one, especially cephalococcus, virulence, what it causes, enterococcus, what it causes, and then HACI group, what it causes. Each one causes different, different diseases. Now, so we're going to talk about it. First of all, cephalococcus aureus. Cephalococcus aureus, just now we told it is the overall most common cause, overall most common cause of infective endocarditis and it causes acute infective endocarditis i told you and also in the iv drug users iv drug uses me it is the most common cause and also right sided heart right sided heart right sided heart infective endocarditis also most common any of this question can be asked okay easy done okay next point cones when you talk about the cones when you talk about the cones 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 very, but I told you, cons means anything, any related with prosthetic, prosthetic catheter. So here we talk about prosthetic. And which prosthetic? We are talking prosthetic infective endocarditis. But which one? Early, early, E for epidermidis, E for early, early prosthetic. Overall, also most common prosthetic, and early prosthetic infective endocarditis. Okay, very common. Now, that's fine. What about virulence? Virulence, please remember, viru, our viru hai, uska heart is damaged. His heart is damaged and he got a late prosthetic wall. He got a late prosthetic wall. Amara Viru cricket player Viru, prosthetic Virendra Shevak or uh, Virat Kohli, whoever you want to remember, late prosthetic wall. It means and late. So what I'm going to say here, the most common cause of subacute infective endocarditis, that means so subacute means it is late prosthetic infective wall. Pros late prosthetic infective wall endocarditis, most common cause. Question is asked. Any damaged wall, in a damaged wall, which is the most common, means viridens, viridens, viridens. You know, viridens lives in the mouth. We're talking about it in a while. Okay, we'll talk in the streptococcus, maybe we'll talk about it. Okay, fine. What about entro? Entro, they don't ask much, but again, if entro is asked, it causes what? Left sided infective, a left sided heart. Okay, when it's a left sided, it's a left sided heart, infective endocarditis. Finished. 
has the coxula bacterial process these are some of the organism where culture is negative we call them as culture negative infective endocarditis culture negative infective endocarditis very very simple and easy that's it okay so iv iv any iv drug means you malaria least nurses they give iv drugs to the patient you know i'm sorry i shouldn't say it it's the abuse abuse don't 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 think malaria least staffs are abusing iv drugs if you want to remember like that it doesn't matter okay staffs they abuse iv drugs like that you remember okay just just for flow only i'm not bringing anyone uh, this thing okay fine now next now the dukes great see dukes i'm not with this is a medicine topic so i'm not going to come go complete details and then everything that i will be you know teaching that's not good idea so now what happened dukes criteria modified dukes criteria so one is the jones criteria we have a rheumatic fever the other one is the dukes criteria asked in previous just a year before they asked in the okay, neat pg they were asked so major shortcut remember we have two major and five minor criteria we'll put the grading later now what's the shortcut shortcut is b timer b timer b timer b timer very very simple b timer so what is this b timer sir so okay b timer is very simple b for blood culture b for blood culture you should have two blood cultures you give the blood sample patient who's having infected when you go to you send the blood sample so two cultures should be positive two blood cultures should be positive except coxelaca one that's okay that's detail i'm not going to do e for echo echo code will be any change any new lesion any new see any new mass or any new vegetation or any new decent decent means any tear or whatever these are they are major two major minor me what is minor minor me t for temperature temperature should be high increased temperature i for immunological changes if you know immunological changes there are two important things you know i i i, I always put roja roja for very good is r me r and o r for rot spot rot spot and o for oslers node Rose spot, osseous node, or immunological. That also is question. It's an immunological change because of immuno immunological change. It happens. Rose and osseous. Okay, and J is J is Janeway. Janeway is, is due to embolic event, and you have embolic event. In embolic event, me you will have what Janeway lesion, Janeway lesion, and you. A conjunctive to bleeding, uh, eye bleeding, and all those things comes there. Okay, embolic event. M for microbiological evidence. Microbiology, you know, apart from culture, any evidence like you know serology positive or other uh, tests positive, and uh, the, um, all those things will come in the uh, this thing only. Okay, fine. So these are the uh, uh, important things for taking your major and minor criteria. Okay, so you will uh, based on this, you will have like this. You will have. Uh, 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 like this, you will you will see the order is like major may it's like this two one zero here should be one three five so there should be two major and one minor or one major and three minor or zero major two five then only it is confirmed infective endocarditis infective infective endocarditis infective endocarditis got it that's it this much only so these are the things you will be knowing okay so we will uh, this is this is again more a medicine so you will read uh, you will take the medicine part more okay now we'll go to the next one here so now now the next interesting topic is or is your uh, which one your streptococcus streptococcus how to remember staffs i told you remember staff first streptococcus remember the stripper 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 streptococcus stripper is wearing long chain she's wearing a long chain okay long chain that's a chain anything with a chain chain it is your stripper streptococcus all streptococcus are like this so picture you will get this picture so when the moment you see the picture it's it can be any streptococcus it can be streptococcus agalati it could be streptococcus biogens it could be any viridens anything but remember it's a long chain strippers are having long hair finished okay now classification the first classification of streptococcus is based on blood agar hemolysis blood agar hemolysis so when you see the blood agar ka hemolysis me you see three pictures like this now how to classify excuse me so beta means complete hemolysis beta i told complete always they say ghar pe beta hai to sab kuch complete you know they'll say whenever there's a beta everything is complete no beta anything you know beta is money money in tamil in the south india we say beta you know we better money okay so beta means complete if you have beta you're complete no you're good beta then you're com complete alpha means partial Q because you know all this alpha men's you no know, alpha men bodybuilders you know they have very good in bodybuilding at actually you know they are very important they are not completely satisfying their vibes on a partial 
You understand what I'm saying? Bodybuilders did not completely satisfy the virus, so it is partial. Hey, it is all for clue. Huh? I'm not hurting anyone. I'm saying anything wrong. Okay. Gamma, gamma means nothing. There is nothing. And you know? gamma is no any hemolysis at all. Okay. Now let's know the example. So when I talk about the alpha hemolysis, so what are the example you should know? It's a beta complete. There are two things. Com uh, beta complete. Okay? Beta means there should be A and B. Complete beta means you will have everything in order. A and B. Group A and group B streptococcus. Group A is what? Streptococcus. Pyogens, Streptococcus pyogenes. And group B is Streptococcus agalactiae. Agalactiae. Okay, agalactiae. Don't think A for A here. B will be A. Okay, agalactiae. Agalactiae. Pyogenes. Okay, this is the physical question. Which of the following got beta hemolysis? They give the picture and tell to identify. You can identify these two. What about the partial? Partial again, partial, only two people are partial. One is Streptococcus pneumonia. I call this drought man. I'll, I'll come to that in a while. Pneumonia. And other one is Streptococcus viru. You know now all the viru were in the Shavak. They all are partial only. Alpha males, but everything is partial there. Okay. Viridens. Sorry for the virus fans, whoever is there. Okay. But yeah, this is my exam purpose only. Nothing else. Okay. For partial. Now what about gamma? Nothing. Nothing. Entro. Entro. Enemy. Enemy has nothing. Entrococcus. Okay. That's it. This classification you must know. There is no other option. Now let's go to the beta hemolysis. When you go to the beta hemolysis, now see, we uh, when we talk about beta hemolysis, there are two. I told group A and group B. Already told you. Now we are going to, before going to this, we check only the, we were going, we are going to only the difference based on the tests because that only will come in exam. So first test for group A, uh, Aglaki is, first test is Basitracin. Basitracin. It, it was in my uh, PG exam. It came. Basitracin. Basitracin is sensitive, but here it is resistant. It, it will not come. Basitracin sensitive means it is group A streptococci, otherwise called what? Streptococcus pyogenes. Pyogenes. You know, pyogenes. Okay. I always, okay, pyogenes. Uh, this is otherwise called agalactia. Streptococcus aga. Lactia, agalactia. Okay. For this, how to remember? I always remember. Uh, stripper, stripper, piari, piari stripper, naam hai basi, piari stripper basi, pasi, what happened? She is A class. Remember like this. Stripper pari basi is A class. Okay. So basi to basi ho gaya. Streptococcus, streptococcus pyogen. Pyari, pyari, pyari ho gaya. So basic dressing sensitive. Another one is PYR. PYS, pyrrolodin aryl, uh, we call it pyrrolodin aryl sulfate as you call. PYR, you remember that's enough. They'll give you PR only. This is positive. PYR is easy because the name is a pyogenes. Me, you have PYR. So this is either this or this they can ask. They are classic for streptococcus pyogenes only. Basic dressing PYR. What about group B? Group B, how to group B is very simple. Group B, you remember like this thing. Agalatia told Agalatia basically Agartala boy, his name is Islam. He likes two things. What he likes? He likes camping. Camping means what he likes to watch. Hippo, hippo, hippopotamus. I'll show you the picture in a while. Okay. So Agartala boy, Agartala is Agalatia. Boy, because it is group B, okay. And Islam, it's the media. We use special media, Islam media. We are using for the uh, Agalactia. Camping, camp because camp test positive. This is camp test positive. Camp test, you know, camp test me, you know, nothing is there. Center me, you're putting the Staphylococcus aureus. On the side, you're putting the Staphylococcus, Staphylococcus. Here, you're putting the group group a that is separate no? group a you're putting group a that is this agalactia agalactia you're putting and what happened you see an arrow like this that is positive you get this picture easy camp see a b this also looks like a camp you forgot also they just simply they gave see this one is looking like a camp no They're looking like a camp tent Anna? so that is a camp test other one is this is hippurate hydrolysis hippo 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 i told because hippurate hydrolysis positive means that is for your kiska aware agartala boy group a group a uh, streptococcus. Okay, so these all are classic questions, expected classic, classic questions. We'll go to the disease in a while now, but yeah, right now we remember this again. Now, test we'll go to the test now. Again, when you go to the test, see, uh, streptococcus pneumonia is going to be the first number. Streptococcus pneumonia, the colony has a name called droughtsman. Droughtsman, okay, I'll come there, but just you know, it's called droughtsman. So Droughtsman, uh, for Streptococcus pneumonia, Droughtsman, he took which group? Bio group. Streptococcus pneumonia, bio group. Bio group, bio group, bio group. You have to remember. Viridens has nothing. So you don't have to worry. Viru is nothing. Partial hydrolysis and no test for him. He is zero. He becomes zero now. Okay, like that. It's just for uh, remember. Okay. Here, Strep pneumonia means bio. You have to remember because one question expected from here. So how to remember bio? When I say bio, 
B for uh, bile solubility positive. Bile solubility, bile solubility, bile solubility positive. I for inulin, I for inulin test positive, inulin fermentation positive. O for optochin. Every question was asked. Optochin also was asked. Inulin, everything was asked. So, bio group where streptococcus pneumonia, if you want to study streptococcus pneumonia, study in bio group. In bio group, we have, we have spoken about streptococcus pneumonia, otherwise called pneumococcus. Right? Otherwise called pneumococcus. Now, nah, pneumococcus. Okay. We'll talk individually. So, this is the test for alpha hemolysis. Okay. Now, for gamma. Gamma, I, I told you to remember. See, gamma it may be confusing for you. So, how to remember this? Gamma means no hemolysis. Now, nah, there is no any hemolysis. Sometimes, uh, usually, it is no hemolysis. There's only few tests for enterococcus. Entero means enemy. Entero means enemy. Enemy or evil, let's say entro or enemy, don't know same, you know? it's both are same only entro or enemy. So, what happened here for enemy? One test bile esculin E S C U L N. There's a clue already entro esculin positive black color. I'll show you the tube in a while. Okay, it'll come one positive. Apart from that, evil can go in all extreme situation, extreme situation, it can live in extreme situations okay i will tell about uh extreme ph extreme ph extreme temperature extreme nacl and all you will talk about that in a while now i'm coming to that that point okay so uh, this and all you remember okay extreme ph means it can survive at ph of nine uh, around uh, nearly at nine point uh, nine point five some ph it can live temperature 55 degree temperature it can live and 40 percentage um i'm sorry nacl it can live even six percentage nacl also and also how much 40 percentage bile might can survive in 40 percentage bile. So these are the extreme situations. Okay. That's this much only. The bovis will not survive all these things. Finished. Okay. E, e extreme, extreme situation, esculin for enterococcus. Okay. This is becoming popular. So enterococcus, you can always expect. Okay. That's what I'm saying. This. Okay. Now another interesting. What is very interesting here? Now the classification. You know the classification. Very, very, very streptococcus poison comes in. Become again, once again. This is our. When I talk, whenever I talk about streptococcus pyogenes, means I'm talking about which one? Stripper, PRE, stripper, PRE, stripper. He's always A. He's A class. You know, she's A class, A class stripper. She's A class stripper. Her name is PRE Basi. PRE Basi. Okay, okay. Now classification. How do you classify? It? Very easy. There are two classifications. One is based on, uh, one is based on carbohydrate. Carbohydrate. Other one is based on M protein. This you should remember. There is no other way. M protein, carbohydrate, you have to remember. Now, how do you classify? This question was asked in your FMGE, recent FMGE, not, two, th not even two, three years ago. C. C carbohydrate means there's already C. Always A, B, C, you know, A, B, C, D. So, C ke baad, M will come, right? After C, M will come. So, we'll start like this. C and M protein. C ka, the name is called Lancefield. Lancefield classification. Got? Okay. Then here what happened? We have groups from a to V, except I and J is not available. Not there. Okay. A to V is there. That's fine. But just remember Lancefield. That's fine. C, C, easy. M protein classification, it's called Griffith. Griffith. If you have, sir, how to remember. So it's too much for me. Lancefield C is okay. I'm happy. But this how to remember. MG Motors. Everybody's favorite motor these days is MG cars. You know, MG cars, popular car, Chinese one in London, UK say. That car is popular. Griffith A is further classified into more than 100 subtypes. Okay, subtype. That's it. This is the classification. One question expected here. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Okay, very, very important. Write it. Now, now let's go to the next one. Virulence factor. When you talk about this virulence factor, you have to remember because there's one enzyme, important enzyme, hyaluronidase, hyaluronidase enzyme and also capsule is there capsule is fine not that this thing hyaluronidase is enzyme is very important because this is the reason why here in streptococcus pyogens the infection spreads fast infection it breaks the cell no it breaks this hyaluronidase it breaks all the cell connection so what happened infection spreads infections if you compare to staphylococcus staphylococcus simply spreads fast if you see the cellulitis in diabetic patient i'll show you that's because of this hyaluronidase enzyme that's what so PRE stripper got hyaluronidase. That's what her infections are very fast. Now let's go there. Now you'll you'll understand what I'm saying. So once again, streptococcus pyogens. We are in step group A or streptococcus pyogens. What are the diseases? See these pictures are expected questions. These pictures are expected questions. 
throat. You know what, what it causes in the throat? You know very well. This is causes the acute pharyngitis or tonsillitis. Acute pharyngitis, the bacterial, the most common bacterial cause of pharyngitis or tonsillitis is your streptococcus. We are talking about streptococcus pyogenes. Pyogenes. Okay, we are in streptococcus pyogenes. Acute pharyngitis or tonsillitis, number one. Question will come. This picture. Skin. There are three infections. Very important. You must know. Three or four. But yeah, let's start now. First thing. Uh, what is the skin? You know, the first is erythema. Erythema. Okay. Erythema. Erythema. Number two. This is cellulitis. The classic cellulitis expected question. This question will come. Cellulitis, that means your fascia, the under skin, the fascia, the infection spreading person common in diabetic mellitus patient, DM patient means very common because of that enzyme, hyaluronidase, the infection is spreading like this and you can see swelling, reddish color, everything. This is called cellulitis. Expected question, costive agent is streptococcus pyogenes. And the other one is necrotizing fasciitis. Necrotizing fasciitis, third one, necrotizing fasciitis. So these three disease conditions you should know. All one clue is E, 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 cellulitis, necrotizing E, all this dangerous skin infections caused by streptococcus. That's what they call flesh eater. This bacteria is also called as flesh eating bacteria. Flesh eating bacteria. Streptococcus pyogenes also called flesh eating bacteria. Okay. So these conditions, impeding also, but usually these three questions will come. Please remember, you have to answer it. No other way. Uh, <coughs> one more also I forgot. Here I didn't, I, I, it'll come again. Don't worry. Um, in the it, it'll come in the toxin. Okay, I'll I'll say in the toxin. Scarlet fever. I'm talking about scarlet fever. Okay, yeah. Now got it. Now diagnosis. Look at the diagnostic part. And diagnosis, blood blood agar. When you do blood agar, uh, what you see? I told just now stars or head stars. So it's a pin head colony. But here this is a pin point colony. Pin point colony. Pin point colony. Do you have to remember like this? See, you have to remember like this. This is a a pike, okay. This is a peak, uh, some peak mountain or somewhere. And look, a stripper. This is the stripper, a beautiful stripper. She is dancing. Stripper is dancing. And what happens? Suddenly, a pin, a pin has, pin has proked. You know, the pin has pricked her, what? Her leg, something like that. You remember? So pin point is for stripper. Pin point is for stripper. Stripper got pin injury, pin point injury, okay. Pin point injury. Remember like that with beta hemolysis. Transport media. Yes, this, these two are very important. The transport media is always uh, the Pikes media. This question was also asked. Pikes media. That's what I said. Pike. The stripper is dancing on the peak or pike. The stripper is dancing on the pike or peak. Whatever you want. Okay. You remember like that. Pike or peak. Pin, pike, everything will go to stripper. Especially Piari stripper. To the Piari stripper. Streptococcus pyogenes. Selective media here is uh, the violet media. Okay. Violet. Crystal violet agar. We call it as Chris, crystal violet agar. So, how to remember this? Because this, this stripper ka naam hai, Piari stripper ka naam is violet. Piari stripper ka naam is violet. Miss violet. She is the stripper. She is a stripper. Okay. Piari stripper ka naam hai violet. Her name is violet. Of course, crystal violet we use in grand state. Don't forget. Now, for time being, you remember this. Okay. So this picture, if you get, you get it. And this disc is basically I already talked about it. So that is, uh, we already did it. I'm not going there. Now, okay. Now, another thing is important is definitely this is an another expected question. Autoimmune disease. Streptococcus pyogenes cause autoimmune disease. So two autoimmune diseases, very, very important. One is rheumatic fever. And other one is your post streptococcal glomerulonephritis. Post streptococcal glomerulonephritis. Rheumatic fever and post streptococcal glomerulonephritis. Okay. Rheumatic fever. <coughs> yes. You know very well. Rheumatic fever usually after comes after what? Pharyngitis. Pharyngitis. Usually after pharyngitis. Whereas your post streptococcal glomerulonephritis comes after skin infection. Skin infection. Any skin infection. Cellulitis or uh, erythema or necrophacitis. Whatever. From there it comes. Okay. Next one. Uh, what is the specific in rheumatic fever? What is the what is the main diagnostic or what is the main antibody you see? You check for anti streptolysin O ASLO ASL anti streptolysin O titer you check right. But for PSGN, what is the going you're going to check? You're going to DNAs anti DNAs anti DNAs or Dornase. They also call Dornase anti Dornase also Dornase. They care. Okay, but DNAs, this question will come. Anti-DNAs, this is a test for this. Got it? Yeah. 
So rheumatic fever cup, we are going to put talk about the Jones criteria. We'll, we'll put the Jones criteria. Okay, Jones. But here, what post would not happen, you will have the nephritic syndrome. This is a medicine question again. Nephritic syndrome. In nephritic syndrome, especially which type of urine? Cola color urine. 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 And nephritic syndrome, you know, because they have hematuria, hematuria, hypertension, mild edema, mild edema, mild edema. Okay, these are the features. These are more in medicine, which I'm going to talk about. But please remember, this is called post septic glomerular nephritis, as it usually comes after the uh, this uh, your septic cosmogenic infection. Okay, yeah. Now, uh, DNA is now next is the DNA is. Uh, uh, this is the test and in pharyngitis Jones -Kettle. This is the basic thing, rest or whatever you do study in the medicine. Okay, now Jones -Kettle. Jones -Kettle, okay, Jones is fun only because not that much uh, difficult because the word is the first everything J O N E S. I know Jones J for joint. That's arthritis. You're talking about arthritis involvement. Okay, whatever that is, it's a migrating, migrating arthritis. Okay, migrating arthritis. Oh, it's like a heart. So heart may any valve, you know, metal valve or aortic valve, you know, either a stenosis or a regurgitation, whatever, regurgitation, whatever comes. Okay, that's major criteria. N for nodules. Nodules where? Nodules in your skin nodules. Skin nodules. Skin nodules. And E for erythema. This is called erythema. What what is more marginatum? Marginatum. The word marginatum is important because this is this erythema has a lot of different type of lesions starting with E is there. So erythema marginatum you have to remember in rheumatic fever. Yes, for Sedenham's chorea. Sedenham's chorea. These are medicine, so it's not my topic. Okay, I'm just revising it. And these are major criteria. These are the major criteria. And minor criteria, you know, minor criteria basically fever, increased WBC, increased CRP, increased ESR, increased uh, uh, any change in the echo, ECG, all those things. Are, these are minor. So you know that there should be two for diagnosis, Kelly. You should have what? Two major, two major. Or one major plus one, one or two minor plus throat should be positive. Throat culture should be positive. Throat culture positive or that anti-ASLO. ASLO should be positive. This is the thing. This is another medicine. I'm not going to stress on that. But still, it's a revision, revision, revision. So, Jones criteria, you know very well. Expected question. Okay. Expected question. Right. Now, next. Step to focus. Agalacti. Now, When we talk about the streptococcus agalactiae, streptococcus agalactiae, yeah, here, here, here. Now, this is a very interesting one. I already told you Agartala boys, you know, I already told you Agartala, Agartala boy, Agartala boy, Islam, Agartala boy, Islam. He does what? See what he does? This is the Agartala boy. One, he does the camping. Next one, what? He's watching the hippo, hippopotamus, hippopotamus, hippo. So, reservoir, first of all, that, that is okay. So, where does this agalacti is? Agalacti is usually in the female vagina. Please remember vagina. It's very this thing. So, Agatala boy's uh, Islam, his name is Islam. You know what is wife name? Orange. Wife is orange. Okay. So, this infection is in the, his wife. Vagina, remember like that. It's in the Agartala boy Islam's wife's vagina. This ag agalactic bacteria is present. Question can come. The carrier. And because it's present in the vagina, it can cause what? Neonatal meningitis. Because when the baby is coming out of, that's what we are screening the female vagina. This is the one of the reason. Because when the baby is coming out, the baby can have what? Neonatal meningitis. Neonatal meningitis. And also, if the meningitis go very bad, then you get what? Sepsis. Neonatal sepsis, neonatal meningitis or neonatal sepsis. So these two things are possible. Okay, neonatal meningitis and sepsis. Question was asked. Okay, one of the most common. You know that neonatal meningitis is most common causes E. coli. Followed by E. coli. Next is this group B streptococcus can be asked. Okay, diagnosis this one. Culture I told you Islam media. Why oh, say Islam? Islam. The boy name is Islam because Islam media in uh, Islam media me your orange pigment will be there. Orange pigment. Okay. This question is less asked, but you never know these days. This is camp test. Definitely asked question. We already discussed. Camp means who will go for camping? Agartala boy, Mr. Stratus Agalakti. Agartala boy, group B Agalakti. Okay. Now, this is Hippurate. Hippo, Hippurate. Hippo means 
hipporate hydrolysis positive hipporate hydrolysis there is the violet color whatever comes they don't give this picture they usually say hippo hippo if you get hippo you remember this agarthala boy b agarthala agalatia b okay so see step, streptococcus one little bit a lot of streptococcus a little confusion so that's what i'm giving this shortcut that in the exam when you see the options you will not make mistake 100 percent you will not make mistake okay that's my idea now the next one next one next one we have to rush. So, streptococcus pneumonia is otherwise called pneumococcus. We told shape. Look at the shape. See, I always say whenever pneumococcus comes up, please remember this guy. You know who is this? This is a drought man. Drought man means they are basically architects. They are architects. You know, architects, what they do, they make measurements. So, the colony. Uh, so, uh, what happens? This is a drought man. Okay. So, this is a drought man. I will mean, talk about this. Drought man, <coughs> because he was in bio group. He was studying about the leaf bio group. I told already bio pneumonia bio, bio grouping. He was talking about lanceolate leaf, lanceolate leaf, lanceolate leaf. On the other hand, he loves carom. He loves carom coin. He loves carom board. Okay? He loves to play carom. So why I'm saying all this thing? Shape is look. This is like this. This is like a leaf. Diplococci. It is a diplococci gram positive diplococci. Streptococcus pneumonia. Which shape? Lanceolate question. Lanceolate. If you have an exam, lanceolate shape. If this question will come, they said patient having pneumonia and on the sputum examination on the gram stain. If this picture is given, this diplococca with lanceolate, don't even think too much. Your answer should be streptococcus pneumonia. That's what I want to say. Expected. Virulence factor, you know, it's one of the dangerous bacteria, streptococcus pneumonia, because it causes pneumonia, meningitis, many things. So what should be the reason when someone is having meningitis? Definitely the reason is capsule. Capsule, very important. Polysaccharide capsule, like other, any other capsule, it's polysaccharide capsule. Okay, capsule. So that's what that reaction called Kullings will come. We'll talk about that also in detail. Don't worry. In a general may it will come. But Kullings reaction, special reaction we're doing that comes possible. In fact, for any capsule, all polysaccharide capsule, Kullings reaction is positive. I'm giving an advance. CRP factor is derived after which one means it's after streptococcus pneumonia, not after staphylococcus aureus or streptococcus pyogenes or anything after pneumonia. CRP comes after streptococcus pneumonia. Question was asked frequently. So the three questions, classic questions, you got it. And lanceolate is done, just in care of. Now I'm coming to that. Why this name came? Uh, it'll come in a while, okay? Just wait, uh, just a little bit, wait for a while. I'll tell you the reason will come. Lungs, you know that it causes what? Low bar pneumonia or community acquired pneumonia. Community acquired pneumonia. Community acquired pneumonia. You know this very, very well. This one, big, big pneumonia is very dangerous. Worst prognosis, okay? So low bar or community acquired pneumonia, very dangerous pneumonia. It causes, okay, one. In brain, uh, it causes, it's the overall most common cause of meningitis meningitis but especially adults adult meningitis in neonatal it doesn't come because less than uh, one year it's not common it's usually common to adults so overall most common cause of meningitis step pneumonia okay lanceolate ship ENT you know just one of the most common cause of most common cause of which one otitis media otitis media otitis media middle ear infection Though it can cause epiglottitis, but usually epiglottitis is caused by H influenza, but it can cause epiglottitis. You know, they're, they're not going to ask this is most common. They give a clinical picture and then they give you identify this. Okay. Then risk factors, <clears throat> whenever a capsule infection is there, means the most common should be spleen ectomy or there is no spleen, asplenia, asplenia or asplenia. And of course, old age, old age, children, those things and all, but mainly splenectomy means. You know, vaccination is recommended, streptococcus pneumonia vaccination is recommended. You know it very well. So that's what they're recommending, that vaccine. Diagnosis, culture. In culture, when you go, culture, I love culture of this one because you see the, the colony. This will come. It looks like what? Looks like a carom coin. Carom coin. Carom coin colony or it's called droughtsman colony. It's been a while. They haven't touched this step pneumonia. Expect this time. You can expect this question. Okay, this time. Droughtsman colony. This is because of the enzyme called amidase enzyme. That enzyme, what happened? It, 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 this amidase, it actually, it makes a special, gives a special appearance. It dilutes the colony and it makes like this. Okay, dissolves the colony. So this is one. Droughtsman colony or carom for who? Streptococcus pneumonia. If you are in pneumonia now. Biochemicals. I told you already, bio group. If you want to become a droughtsman, you have to study in bio group. Very strange. But yes, you have to do. B for biosolubility, B for biosolubility, I for inulin fermentation, O for optochin 
It should be in your fingertips. You can't forget this inulin operation. Got it? Capsule, I already told you, it is a, you do what? Kullen's reaction. Kullen's reaction you can do, or you can do what? Negative stain you can do, negative Indian ink. We'll talk about it in a while. Negative stain, anything related with the, this thing you can do. That's it. Vaccine, we have two vaccines, PPV23 and PCV13. PP23 for adults, P13 is for children. Conjugate, PCV conjugate vaccine, here it's pentavalent vaccine, 23 and 13. That's it. I'm just going to name the rest vaccine for PSME. You're going to read it very clearly. That's it. Okay, we're done with the thing. Viru, Viru is a very good guy here. Viru is very interesting. Why Streptococcus mutants and villains? Mutants, you know what it causes. The mutants, Streptococcus, uh, mute, the, the uh, uh, overall, it causes dental caries. Dental caries, dental caries, even viridens also cause dental caries, but especially viridens causes, you know, our subacute <coughs> infective endocarditis or late prosthetic, we already discussed prosthetic infective endocarditis, okay? That's it. These are the questions. If they ask, they will ask viridense, they'll ask only this one. Okay, sanguis or viridense we call. Excuse me, yeah. Right. Now the enterococcus. Enterococcus, the shape. Enterococcus again, the shape, see, this is a lanceolate shape. So this uh, is not, sorry, this is not lanceolate, it's spectacle appearance. Okay, we call it, this is also diplococci, this is also diplococci, but it will be spectacle, spectacle appearance, spectacle appearance. Okay. It is, uh, okay, that picture is not, usually it's like this. It will be like this. Gram positive cockay with very spectacle. That's what I put it. And E for evil, spectacle appearance, a spectacle appearance. Organism, it's called enterococcus, fecalis and fecium. We have fecalis and fecium is the most common organism. It can cause any, it can cause UTI, uh, uh, abdominal, uh, you know, abscess. Uh, peritonitis, anywhere it can cause so many, any infections it can cause. Okay, not much important. Diagnosis are already told, we discussed extreme condition. That means extreme condition, what is the extreme condition? Just we discussed, maybe now one more revision if you want to, because I, I expect they might ask questions from this one. It can live in pH of 9 and uh, the 6 percentage NaCl, temperature of 55 degrees Celsius temperature, and also 40 percentage of bile, 40 percentage bile. It can survive all extreme conditions. E for enterococcus, E for enemy, E for extreme condition. Biochemical, I already told you, bile esculin is recently asked, exam it has come, so better know E for enterococcus, E for esculin. This one, this one, bile esculin. Okay. And POIR test is positive, not only for streptococcus, uh, pyogens also for your enterococcus. Okay. That's it. Now, coronavirus diphtheria. Now, uh, now, coronavirus diphtheria, uh, we are going to talk about this one once again. Next is coronavirus diphtheria. You know that there was not a single exam until now without coronavirus diphtheria. So you can put very, very important topic. You must know and you must be knowing already. Don't have to talk again and again, but still, we will revise it. Okay. Now, coronavirus diphtheria, also called the club lawless bacilli. Okay. Now, pathogenesis. First important is the toxin only. First question is of important toxin. What is that? Diphtheria toxin. When you talk about diphtheria toxin, mechanism, you know that there is this shortcut called decreased protein synthesis. Decreased protein synthesis mechanism, DPES. And that is the decreased protein synthesis toxin. Which toxin? One is D for diphtheria toxin and P for pseudomonas. Yes for shigella. Shigella, our Sheila anti, she is 60. So she inhibits 60 S unit. 60 S unit. That's different one mechanism. But diphtheria and pseudomonas, they have common mechanism. What inhibiting the EF factor? So diphtheria toxin inhibits the elongation factor. Elongation factor. This question was asked many times. You know very well. I don't even have to say it about this one. Second one, decrease the iron concentration the iron that the idea is the iron concentration has an important role in the toxicity of diphtheria toxin that's what i want to say okay iron concentration okay iron as a first of all inhibits elongation factor second one iron concentration has an important role in diphtheria toxicity to enhance the toxicity okay yes they said the, the lower the iron environment there the, uh, the diphtheria activity will be more that's what that's the meaning okay fine excuse me no Sorry. Now, the next question is, uh, the clinical types, you see, there are different types. Number one, 
This is the Faucier. Faucial diphtheria, number two, laryngeal. Third one is systemic. Systemic means already spreading towards the whole body. Okay. Now let's talk about partial. Partial is nothing but the pharyngeal. This one, this is the most common type. The partial type is the most common type. The partial type is the most common type. What you're seeing here, what is that membrane you call? That is called pseudo membrane, which leads to bleeding. When you try to remove, that is a pseudo membrane. This question also asked. Okay, pseudo membrane. What you're seeing is this one is a pseudo membrane. The picture will come. The lies to identify. So when you see a pseudo membrane inside, if you see a pseudo membrane inside, then that is diphtheria because pseudo membrane cause what? Bleeding. It will cause bleed. Okay. Number laryngeal is the most dangerous one. Why it is most dangerous? Because of asphyxia. Asphyxia. It can go and block the, your uh, uh, larynx trachea and the patient can die. One. Okay. And look at this. Whenever you have pseudo membrane, you have this appearance. What is this called? It's called bull neck. Bull. This is called. This is called as bull neck appearance. You know very well. This is the bull neck appearance. This question also can be asked. Bull neck appearance. Bull neck diphtheria. Bull neck appearance or bull neck appearance. Okay. Diphtheria. That's one thing. Okay. Systemic is systemic. Nothing to say. So these are one. Faucial and laryngeal. Laryngeal most dangerous. Most common is faucial. Pseudo membrane. That's it. And elongation factor. Question. Question. Every point in coronavirus diphtheria is good because still now we have the disease is common. Every day we are getting, uh, every weekly we are getting cases. Okay. Now. Grand stain, look at this now, one important. Coronavirus diphtheria means one person you always going to remember is the Chinese person, right? Chinese letter. So look at this in Grand stain, this arrangement, you know, like this. They were arranged like this, this, L form, Z form. This is called what? Chinese letter. Chinese letter is asked. This picture will come. Chinese letter appearance. Chinese letter appearance and arranged are also called cuneiform. It's called cuneiform. Cuneiform or Chinese letter pattern. Both the words are correct under the form of L, G, J, whatever. So this question, one question. Number two, special stains for granules. When you want to stain the granules, if you want to stain the, this, the important thing in coronavirus diphtheria is the granules. The, the diphtheria people have granules. This diphtheria granules scale, if you want to stain, you always have to make a plan. You have to make a plan. Don't forget to make a plan. P for ponders. This question was a ponder stain. L for low plus. Methylene blue, low plus methylene blue. A for Albert, Albert. N for Neeser, Neeser. This is the question again can be asked. Which are the special stains for granules? One question, okay? So this, the one which is given here is the Albert stain. We'll talk about Albert stain later. The Albert stain is basically Albert 1 and we have Albert 2. Albert 1 consists of the green color, no? So this is a malachite green, malachite green. And then you see this black, black, bluish, so those are toludine blue. Toludine blue. This is the this is the this is actually Albert 1 iodine, then uh, Albert 1 and then Albert 2 may iodine you are in dead. Okay, it's the stains. That's not important. You see this. This picture will be given repeated picture. This is Albert stain, green and this dark blue combination. That is your Albert stain. Chinese letter pattern directly you mark coronavirus diphtheria. Don't even think too much. Okay. Everything is important here. Other name for granules, as I told you. <coughs> Chinese or Chinese, we call them babies. No, Chinese, we call them babies. So it's called babes earnest granule, babes earnest granule. Otherwise, diphtheria is common for babies. So babes earnest granule, number one, babes earnest granule, number one. Number two, it's also called as meta phosphatic granules. Also, you call volutin granules. Also, it's called storage granules. Any word can come. Please remember granules is classic for your coronavirus diphtheria only. So babes, earnest, meta, meta, uh, metaphosphatic granules, volutin granules, storage granules, all are same. Basically, they are for nutrition. Basically, they are for nutrition. That's what this question is important. Okay, that's it. Very simple. Okay, you got it right. Babes, earnest, granules, meta, all for diphtheria, diphtheria, baby, baby, baby. All for diphtheria, baby, baby, diphtheria, baby. Chinese diphtheria, baby. Chinese diphtheria, baby. Okay, that's it. Now, now let's go to this one. Now let's go to the next spot. Is next interesting is that and different type of medias definitely asked. Definitely, you're going to have this media question. Okay, now what are they? So let's start. Hmm. We have enriched media, selective media, two medias. Enriched media, or see one thing, whenever there's a diphtheria outbreak, what you will tell if there's a diphtheria outbreak, if there's a diphtheria outbreak. 
what you will tell you always be careful to tell tell doctors tell the doctors in the ward not to loaf around they can't roam like this you know in a diphtheria ward you can't just roam like here and there so you always tell them the diphtheria outbreak me please not to loaf around so you got the clue you understand what i'm saying so low is low plus enriched media is low plus serum slope serum slope lss don't confuse exam they'll just give only lss so don't be so confused ls means low plus serum slope this one exactly this picture you will get low plus serum slope okay now what about the other one what about the next media the selective media the selective media is the selective media is this one this is selective what is this potassium telluride agar potassium telluride agar potassium telluride agar okay potassium telluride blood agar potassium telluride blood agar full name okay now what is the use this is selective media this is selective media now what is use have for low plus have for fast fast so the low plus media you have fast growth that means within eight hours you have the growth within eight hours it's fast have for fast potassium telluride it's not fast potassium telluride what happened it will take almost 48 hours 24 to 48 hours for growth so it is a slow but this is the selective it is selective okay but this is fast which is enriched remember enriched low plus is enriched question will definitely come potassium telluride so if you want to immediately want to get the result no fast for then you put in lss media but if you want to confirm it then you put in potassium telluride agar. okay so that's what i'm telka yeah telluride potassium telluride telluride telka telluride local low plus very easy so all fun it's so fun micro is really that much fun you know i don't know why you guys hate micro but it's just fun after listen to my class definitely it's going to be fun you're not going to miss anything okay now next one now diphtheria biotype diphtheria biotypes is very interesting one again uh, i know what you guys are saying sir everything you're saying easy it is easy please easy okay if only i get a chance to uh, from starting if i have to teach micro for you guys and if you have listened to my lecture micro would have been this time you don't even need revision at all no so not a problem this revision would be sufficient for you so biotypes biotypes there are three types i love this biotypes gravies intermediates gravies intermediates gravies intermediates and the mitis mitis gravies intermediates mitis every word has its own you don't even have to use your brain first of all gravies gravies means graveyard so it's, it's a beautiful graveyard someone dies what you do when you to graveyard you'll go simply no you're going to carry what you're going to carry beautiful daisy flower don't forget to carry this daisy flower so daisy colonies daisy head colonies daisy head colonies daisy head colonies Intermediates. You know what is intermediate in Ramayan story in Tamil Nadu in our Ramayan story. It's always mentioned a frog. A frog used to be, and my frog is bad. Huh? My the frog used to be helping the Ram uh, to build that uh, from India to Sri Lanka to build that bridge. It was helping. So frog intermediate. Frog was an intermediate. A frog head colony. Frog uh, frog head colony. Frog and uh, not head. Sorry. Frog egg colony. I'm sorry. Frog egg colony. Okay. Now, mighty, mighty, you know, whenever someone cooks for you a poached egg, let's say you're so hungry and someone makes you a poached egg, then you will say, wow, what a mighty poached egg, right? You will say, what a mighty poached egg. So, mighty poached egg. This is a big question. Poached egg call is seen where? Frog egg call is seen where? Daisy egg call is seen. The clue is already the poached means mighty, frog is intermediate, daisy for dead people, graveyard, gravies. Oh, yeah. So this is the uh, um, this is this is this is the most graveyard. That's what's the dangerous. Most dangerous one is graveyard. Grave is dangerous one. These two, the one is causing intermediate causes the epidemic, and mitis is small, so it's causing endemic. Okay, mitis the name is small, so endemic. Okay, that's much Not much. I'm going to stress. Very easy, right? No doubt here. Toxin. Toxin. See. Whenever uh, you know uh, uh, toxin, we want to distract uh, uh, toxin. Diphtheria, if you get a diphtheria, it is like an electric current. Remember, it is like an electric current. Electric, electric current. When you get diphtheria, you will check diphtheria current. And then what happened? One more uh, person who was affected by this diphtheria is Shika. This girl, Shika, Shika also was suffering from the, uh, uh, you know, the diphtheria. So this is Shika was saying, wow, when I got diphtheria, it was like electric, you know, it was like electric. So, shake test, don't forget, shake test is also for diphtheria. 
Shika felt like electric when she got diphtheria. Shika, Shika, Shika. Okay, it's important question. Very important question. Now, let's talk here. Uh, yeah, uh, this one is, yeah, electric uh, gel. So, this is electric. So, electric is already name is given. So, toxin demotion you do is what the gel precipitation method. Electric gel precipitation method. This was a question can be asked. Here, it's already mentioned. Usually, it's nothing. It's basically you put a, a, a toxin, antitoxin reaction. If it comes positive, you'll get a cross marker. You'll get a, if a toxin, antitoxin you put, you'll get a cross mark like this. You'll get a, uh, if, if the test is positive, then you'll get a cross mark like this. That's it. Okay. That's what you're getting here. You see cross mark. Okay. That's the electric. Now, Shika. Shika is a sheet test. What about sheet test? In sheet test, important is that, see, you, uh, after injecting, you're checking for the thing. Or you, uh, you inject this toxin in this direction, check the thing. So, short get a spin. Shika gets spin. When she get when Shika gets diphtheria, like electric shock, she was spinning. She was really, she's going to fall down. Okay, she was spinning. Okay, that's the idea. Yes, for if the patient is susceptible, it is positive. Okay, the idea is if she test is positive, means patient is susceptible. The patient is immunogenic if the test is negative. Bas, yeah, yeah. This is only you have to remember. Very simple. Shika spins because of the electric current diphtheria. She was spinning. Okay. So Shika test spin test. And Shika is type 3 hypersensitivity. Type 3 hyper never ask this question. You never know. Be careful. These days, um, which type of hypersensitivity reaction is common, like leprement tuberculin, it's always type 4, and your uh, Cassoni test is type 1. That's the no. Now she this test is coming a little bit popular. So take this type 3. Okay, type 3 hypersensitivity reaction, spin, you spin. Okay, that's it. Okay, very simple, very simple, very simple. The question will be asked. So the idea of sheet test is to check the susceptibility. Susceptibility, susceptibility of the patient. Susceptibility of the patient to diphtheria or not. That's it. Okay, yeah. Next one. Now the treatment of choice. Treatment of choice, you know, but if any, this is a toxin-mediated disease, not the bacteria toxin-mediated disease. So the treatment of choice should be always anti diphtheritic anti diphtheritic sera this is the main treatment treatment okay but drug is to decrease the bacteria this is the main one this is the main is anti diphtheritic sera only just to decrease the, uh, the to kill the bacteria to prevent the reoccurrence you are giving drugs penicillin is best penicillin is these days recommended comparing to other drugs erythromycin or whatever before we used to give so penicillin is better okay again it's changed eventually this question question can come vaccination you know it's a dpt Stain diphtheria will come in this one. That is, you know that sixth, tenth, and fourteenth week, and booster on the second year and fifth year, you give the booster. Booster. That's it. Diphtheria strain. You know, Park Williams strain. It's been a while. They haven't asked this question, so please be careful. Park Williams strain eight, number eight. I don't know why it's eight. Park William. You have to remember William. Park William. Name and dose, I already told you. And of course, the DPT, you give what? Intramuscular. Uh, you give it IM. Yes, IM. Intramuscular. 6, 10, 14 weeks to go to the Park Williams State. Finished. Very good. We have did a very good revision. Nowadays, popular is this one. It has been a while. They haven't asked. So be ready. Be ready. The examiners, if they don't have a question, they'll touch the non diphtheria coronary bacterium. That is, there are diphtheria which is not causing uh, the coronary bacteria which is not causing diphtheria. Parvum. Parvum, you know. Parvum, I always say, uh, always this, there, no, there is another Parvum. Jeez, we, one is the Choti Parvum virus, mein Parvum virus, sabse choti hai, she is Marzata hai, single, hai, that's a different story. But there is Quarne Petrimus, one Parvum is there, and the, even in, we have one more Parvum in uh, Vibrio also, I'll come there. So this Parvum is an immunomodulator. This Parvum is immunomodulator, immunomodulator. Okay, remember, always power is very good. So, Quarnebet, if there, she's an immuno, very good girl, she's an immunomodulator, modulator, immunomodulator. Minu, Minu, Minu is in coronavirus, Minu Tishimu, Minu is a unique girl, look at this Minu, what she is putting, coral red lipstick, coral red lipstick, that means what is this lesion she is having like this, if they give you, they will not give this picture, don't worry, they will give you this picture, this is a coral red color, her name is Minu, what is the disease she is suffering from, Erith, Rasma, Rasma, Erith Rasma, not Erithima, Erith Rasma, so, a lot of E lesions are there. So, that's what I'm stressing it again and again. So, be careful. So, this is erythrasma, coral red lipstick girl, erythrasma. This question was asked many times in my time, FMG and uh, PG. Now, you can. J. Kum is only one. This guy, you see, whenever this people, J, anybody you are friends with, J, you know, they're sort of very irritating people, you know, very resistant. They, they're not friendly at all, very resistant. So, this is a resistant organism, uh, which is sensitive. Only drug which is working is vancomycin. Asked. Asked in the PG question. 
need be done. Only vancomycin works. That this is the question. Very simple. Jay is an irritating fellow. Very resistant to everything. Doesn't speak with anyone. So only vancomycin works for him. That's it. Now, 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 now. Next the beauty. Next beauty is a spore forming bacteria. This I mean this I love the spore forming bacteria. There was a very fun and expected, definite, sure questions. Okay. No, when you talk about the spore forming bacteria, only two spore forming bacillus and clostridium. That's it. But what is the difference? It's very easy. Yes, bacillus and clostridium. Yes. But they have huge difference. You know what is a huge difference? Let's talk now. Yeah. I know. What do you want to think, sir? What is that big difference? Donospores, spore and what is a bad? They are both a spore, but here it is aerobic. But clostridium is anaerobic. No, it can't survive in oxygen. Closed, enough. Closed means no oxygen. Closed, so no oxygen. Closed, so no oxygen. So anaerobic. This is aerobic, anaerobic, number one, number one. Okay, number two, bacillus, bacillus, see, you know, they go, they go, this is the center, no? So the spores are always center and not bulging. It's not bulging. It's always inside. That's what if you see most of the time, you call this, uh, uh, it will come in bacillus anthrax, you will be calling this bamboo stick appearance and all will come because it's not bulging. It's like this. Here, it is spores can be anywhere. Here, the spores can be the more this, this this usually subterminal, most common. Okay, most common subterminal, or it can be center. Center means ekmar do chuta one stone, two mangoes. No, so center. So we call it as which one? Clostridium by fermentis by fermentis because it's center so by fermentis okay they are bulging see the spores are bulging also these all these spores are bulging out okay they are bulging close to them it's bulging because no oxygen so you will bulge out remember like that no oxygen anaerobe so you bulge out okay now by fermentis then we have terminal which is important terminal may we have drumstick appearance sorry we have a tennis racket appearance and drumstick like this okay TT, terminal, both are at the terminal, terminal, and a terminal, both are terminal. So, in terminal, if it is drum, if it is drumstick, and if it is uh, tennis racket, tennis racket appearance, racket appearance, drum, uh, drumstick, this is, sorry, this, uh, I should rule task, this, see, I'll make it round, this is the drumstick. This is like a tennis racket, like this, like a tennis um, back at the tennis racket appearance. Okay, tennis racket, like this, really good, easy. Drumstick, drum say you do what? Tet, tet, karteo. So, close to idiom, tetanic, close to idiom, tetanic, tet, tet, karteo, drumstick says T, T for terminal, T for terminal. Another T is close to idiom, tertium, tertium. This is also T, 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 T. But T, there's R, R is there, R, that is R for racket, tennis racket, easy, no? Tennis racket, terminal tennis racket, R R tertium, tertium. But tetanic, tetanic, you go to tet, tet, karte. You take a drumstick and you tet, tet. So drumstick is closium tetani and racket is tennis. Very, very simple. Expected question asked, repeatedly asked. Okay, right. Next. Now let's go to our favorite uh, topics. Bacillus anthrax. I love bacillus anthrax. See, one thing. Now I'm going to talk about, I have, a, I have a girl for this. This is the girl. You see, this is the Andrea Anthrax. We'll come there. Before going, see, she's wearing a leather jacket, okay? So Andrea Anthrax leather jacket. That means it's coming from animals only, right? This is coming from animals. Now, 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 let's start. Virulence factor. The first virulence factor you should know that uh, in Bacillus Anthrax is that, of course, they have capsule. You know, they have a capsule. And the capsule is very unique here. Why? What is unique? Why this capsule is unique? Because this is the only capsule that is made up of polypeptide. Usually, all the capsules are made up of polysaccharide, you know, very well. But this is polyp. That means amino acid. A for anthrax, A for amino acid. Remember, only exception. Capsule, polypeptide. First question. Well, this is one question. Okay. I'm, uh, I will come there. Okay. Polypeptide. This is one question. Next one. There are another factor called edema factor. Edema factor. This is something that is responsible for all the skin uh, 
uh, like this malignant pustule and everything, no skin lesions cut. This is one of the reason edema factor. That's it. This main thing you remember that. Okay. When you talk about amino acid, we talk about glutamate. Glutamate amino acid is the most common one. That is what I say. Okay, finish. Now the disease let's talk about because I already told you anthrax means leather jacket. You know, leather. I just showed you leather, anything leather. Leather means it's coming from the animals only. So there are three anthrax. What are they? One is your one is your what's that? Cutaneous. One is your cutaneous anthrax, and two is your pulmonary anthrax and three is your GAT anthrax. GAT anthrax is not that much important. I'm not going to stress on it. Now I'm going to stress is the important question which is asked every year in your exam. Pul uh, cutaneous otherwise or uh, cutaneous is otherwise called. I'm going to change the pen color. It's not looking attractive. Hmm. Cutaneous otherwise called, you know, Heidi Potter. Heidi Potter. Heidi Potter means it's related to the animal skin only. Now it's animal skin. So it's called Heidi Potter disease. Heidi Potter's disease. And this is the most common one. Most common one. Okay. Most common disease. Pulmonary is the most dangerous one. Other pulmonary means it's wool. No, the animal wool is going. So it is wool sorter's disease. Wool sorter's disease. Wool sorter's disease. Wool sorter's disease, sorter which is dangerous because if it's going to lung pulmonary anthrax, it will become very dangerous. Right. Now, look at the cutaneous. In cutaneous anthrax, it will become severe. You get this lesion and you'll get that is what malignant pustule. This is the reason malignant pustule, very dangerous one. This malignant pustule, HR, or it's also a type of HR, which is also seen in scrub type. You see in scrub type, it's also the same picture. But now you remember this malignant pustule. This is a question. Malignant pustule, they'll ask. Okay, malignant pustule. Hydrophobic disease, just GAT is not that important. So I'm not going to stress on that. Okay, now next. Diagnosis. Okay, so look at this picture very well. And then now we're going to answer a lot of questions from this only. Okay, yes. Now, what are the things? Uh, first of all, let's decorate this beautiful lady. First of all, look at this Andrea's beautiful hair. You know, you're seeing beautiful Medosa head. You know, her hair is like a Medosa. Her hair is like a Medosa snake. You know, Medosa, Medosa one. Number two, we'll put a beautiful, see her, her uh, neck is empty, you know. Then we'll put some pearls, you know. We'll put some beautiful pearls. We'll put pearls. Okay, right. And then look at her hand. Both hands are empty. We don't leave it to her like that empty. So in one hand, I'm going to give a bamboo stick. Okay, she's having a bamboo stick. On one hand, she's having a bamboo. Bamboo, okay. On the other hand, uh, other hand, why it should be empty? You know, we can give one tree. We can give one inverted. And another hand, I'm going to give one inverted fir tree. Fir tree. Is it nice? I'm going to give her, she has a meadows of beautiful hair. She has a pearl. She has a fir tree. And so this is our Andrea. Every uh, Tamil guy, at least Tamil guys, they know Andrea anthrax. Andrea anthrax. One, one part. Other story is her boyfriend. Boyfriend Maddie. Everyone knows the boyfriend. This is Maddie. Our Madhavan. We call Maddie. He's a cool fellow and he's a pilot. Pilot. Uh, pi L O T. I'll make it pilot later. Don't worry. Okay. He's a cool and pilot. Okay. Now, okay, remember this. Now all your test is going to be easy. Anthrax, Andrea, and Maddie with this. Now look at this picture. Capsule, I already told you, first of all, it's a polypeptide amino acid. So what is the test capsule solicular? What you do? You do McFadian's McFadian's reaction. McFadian's reaction. That is the Maddie reaction. I put it Maddie's picture because of this capsule Kelly McFadian. This question has repeated many times. You just have to put an anti on the on the organism, the, the capsule will swell. You'll see the capsule very well. So McFadian or Maddie, Mc, uh, uh, McFadian's, uh, uh, the, the capsule reaction, uh, McFadian's reactions or Maddie reaction, whatever you want to remember, okay? Okay, this is McFadian's, okay? This one test. First test, McFadian for anthrax only. Gram stain, look at this picture. This picture was asked many times. How it looks? Bamboo stick. Bamboo, who is holding bamboo? Anthrax, that is Andrea, bamboo stick appearance. Spore stain, we can directly stain the spores. Well, spore stain, you know, that is usually uh, ash base and Sharpers Fulton. Sharpers Fulton. Ash base and Sharpers Fulton stains you can do. Okay, that's one thing. 
uh, then next is your agar plate an agar plate in normal agar plate what you can see look at this this what is this this exam exam material this is the you see the medosa head so i told andrea has medosa head medosa head colony medosa head colony question again question gelatin stamp you put in a gelatin stamp let me change different color it looks good in gelatin stamp if you stab what you are getting you are getting an inverted fir tree inverted fir tree appearance question Penicillin agar, you grow it in the penicillin agar, this is the penicillin agar, P4 penicillin, and what Andre was wearing on the neck, she was wearing pearls, pearls reaction, strings of pearls reaction, strings of pearls reaction. Selective media, I already told, Maddie is a, Maddie is a pilot, that means we make pilot as pilot media, polymyxin, lysine, EDTA, thallus, you remember only pilot, that's enough, pilot media. So, Maddie is a pilot. Okay. Ring test. I told Maddie is a cool fellow. Cool means Ascoli thermoprecipitation. Ascoli thermoprecipitation. Ascoli thermoprecipitation. Accepted question. You, I'll guarantee you this is a 100% guaranteed question. Like diphtheria in Bestless Anthropology, one of this test is examiner's favorite. Definitely you will have it. Read it well. If you want, click the picture of this slide and read it well. Okay. Definite picture question. One question, sure. Pakka. Or maybe two also. Okay, gone. So we finished with anthrax. Anthrax over. Very simple. If you remember Andrea and Maddie, your best list anthrax is over. Finished. Very simple. Now, best list serious. Best list serious. One thing you should know the type. First of all, type of toxin and the mechanism of time and the food. Very important. Yeah. First of all, emetic type. We'll go for the emetic. Emetic and then we'll go for the uh, diariogenic type. Diariogenic. Diariogenic type. Yes. Now, emetic. Emetic, I always say, be serious. Be serious when you're eating what? Be serious when you're eating Maypa and Pemba restaurants. In this Maypa and Pemba restaurants, Chinese fried rice. Especially don't eat the Chinese fried rice of these two places. Chinese fried rice in these two places. Okay? Please be careful. That's, that's the clue I'll give you. Be serious. In Maypa Pemba restaurant, please don't eat Chinese fried rice. Why? Why, sir? Why is it so bad? Yes, it is very bad because the most common cause is Chinese fried rice. This is a question. Emetic type is because of Chinese fried rice, number one. And what is the mechanism of this toxin? Emetic means vomiting. No, emetic means only vomiting type. And uh, uh, the incubation period is uh, uh, incubation period is just like a staff. Less than six hours, patient will have only vomiting. Less than six hours. Less than six hours. Okay. Okay. Next. What is the mechanism? It acts through cyclic. Vomit comes through gala. Gala means, uh, for South Indian, gala means it's a throat. So, cyclic GMP. It comes through gala. Vomit through gala. Gala throat. So, gala. Cyclic MP. Just opposite for diarogenic. Diarogenic name. First of all, the food is not standard. In diarogenic, the food is usually kebabs. Kebab. Meat streak, if they give you kebab, meat streak. The question is a little bit less asked, but you don't know. Because people now, Chinese fries, everyone knows now. Even the hospital ka, sweepers, the dustbin collectors, everyone knows B serious means bacillus serious, Chinese fries, emetic type, cyclic GMP. It's like now everyone knows. Even the fifth standard schoolboy knows that. So maybe to, you know, to make you guys confused, they might ask this question. Diarogenic type. Kebab and meat streak mean. The incubation period is of almost 8 to 16 hours incubation period, diarogenic type. Okay, you might get which mechanism? Diarrhea goes through anal. Diarrhea will happen through anal. So, what's the mechanism? Cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP. How interesting. Gala cell, emetic, uh, anal cell, AMP. A expected questions. Expected questions. Now, what about the culture? Oh, sir, this is okay, but culture, how to remember this is very difficult. That's what I already gave you clue, no? What is the clue I gave you just now? I told, don't eat in which restaurant? Pempa, Maipa restaurant. This is a South Indian restaurant. It's very popular. Mayapan or Maipa restaurant or Pemba restaurant. 
it's not just the culture media. This is the name I made it, but we have restaurant very similar name, Maipa Pembanda. This is basically uh, Manitol, East York, Polymix in Agar, here Polymix in East York, Manitol, Blood Agar, you know, uh, Bromo Thaimol Agar. You don't remember all, just Maipa Pemba restaurants. Remember, culture for your bachelor's series. Got it? That's it. Awesome, no? Awesome. Now we go to the next topic. That is your closed stadium. We were going to closed stadium. Okay, now anaerobes. Whenever you talk anaerobes, you have to know what are the organisms are anaerobes. Shortcut is cap. Whenever you travel in a cap, there is no oxygen. You saw that when you go in Uber or uh, Ola, when they close all the window, no oxygen. That means C for Clostridium, Clostridium, A for not anthrax, A for actinomyces, actinomyces, and B for not bacillus. It is bacteroides. You have, you might have a question, and they'll ask except. Except me, you can choose bacillus if something given it bacillus anthrax, whatever. So Clostridium actinomyces bacteroides question can be asked. Okay. <clears throat> in that, spore forming. In spore forming bacilli, when you talk about this thing, we will talk only about the Clostridium. We will talk about the Clostridium only. Okay. There are other few important things also. We are not going to stress on that. We will talk about spore forming. That's enough. Even your coxillae also, coxillae also, but that, that's not important. That's talk later. This no Clostridium is very, very important. First organism. Okay. So, Clostridium, though we have many, close, we have many are Clostridium, Clostridium, Tetani, Botulism, everything is important, Perfringes, uh, all are important, but now we'll go one by one. Clostridium. First of all, general uh, exception, generally, they spore C, they already told. I'm not, I'm revising one more. Terminal means T, you know, one is the Clostridium, Tetani, other one is Clostridium, Tertium. We already spoke about Tertium. And then T, this is uh, Tetani is drumstick, Tetani is drumstick. Uh, tertium mean the R is there, R, so it is racket, tennis racket, tennis racket appearance. The central is you central is usually bifermentous. We just spoke bifermentous. And rest all are subterminal. Rest all are subterminal spores. I'm not going to talk about that. So usually they are um, non-capsulated. Usually they are non-capsulated. Except is exception. There is always exception. No, who is exception? Close radium perfringence. Mr. Perfect. I'll come there. Perfringence. It's the only capsulated one. Okay. And again, they have motile. Which motility? Stately motility. You know that stately motility. So question was also asked. Stately motility. Stately. Yes. Close tree. No? Because close tree EST is there. So stately motility. Except, except here also, except who is the exception? Your closed radium perfringence. Closed radium perfringence is again exception here. Okay. Closed radium is another exception. Stately motility. Okay. Non capsulated except perfringence and this thing. Okay. Fine. And then spores, mostly they are by uh, most of them are subterminal. Most of them are subterminal, except few are like that. Okay. That's it. Okay. Now, the fine. Uh, now, the spores. Remember, hmm. Tetani, tetani, you know, already told it is a which one? T for T, tet for drumstick, and you know? a drumstick, drumstick, drumstick appearance, drumstick appearance. Okay, terminal drumstick, that's fine. Now, toxin mechanism. You know that the one question, favorite question with this, but the main is tetanospasmin. Uh, tetanospasmin is the main thing. Tetanospasmin is oxygen labile, O S now, so oxygen stable. Huh? Labile is for lysine, this is oxygen stable. Mechanism, you know, it inhibits the GABA and glycine. GABA, glycine are inhibitory mediators. GABA and glycine, this question is repeated. I know, you know, this is also again, even if it's standard kids now started knowing this one, you know, because they, this repeated everywhere is repeated. Okay, GABA and glycine. So what happened because of GABA and glycine inhibitor, these are inhibitory mediators because this inhibitory mediator is inhibitor. So these both are inhibitory mediators. Inhibitors. So because they are inhibitors, so what about activity goes high, increased muscle activity. You know? So that's what, what we have, spasticity spasticity so if there is a spasticity remember spasm tetanus no? tetanus no, it's a spasmin no? everything is spastic so you see this shape the patient gets trismus or lock jaw trismus or lock jaw also this can show resus or like a devil's face you know resus sardonicus sardonicus everything is a question resus sardonicus trismus or lock jaw because of Tetani, tetani means you know, spasm. Everything goes spasm. No? That's what it's called. Take that. Okay, that's spasm. Look at this baby. Opistotonus. Opistotonus. Here also you have a clue. TT. TT is there. So you can easily say it is a tetani. Tetanus. Opistotonus position. All are important questions. You know that. <clears throat> yes. Now the next one. Next one is your diagnostic form. All the closed stadium media for closed stadium, the culture media, you know, it is the Robertson cooked meat media. Again, I'm not going to talk in general. Now, if you know Robertson cooked meat media, 
cooked meat media. And a cooked meat media, this is the you have a meat particle inside. So when it becomes black color, it is Clostridium tetani. Black means Clostridium tetani. Why? How to remember, sir? People usually drink black tea. Black. Black means that is because of proteolytic. You know? Whoever healthy, they eat protein and they drink black tea. That's it. Proteolytic. Okay. This can be asked. The RCM becomes black color. It's Clostridium tetani. One thing. Okay. Now, again, this is a toxin mediator. So, treatment should be what? Treatment for tetanus should be anti tetanus serum, anti tetanus serum, and other one is your TT vaccination. TT vaccination, that's it. Anti tetanus serum and TT vaccination. Finished. Very simple. Not much to come. See, close to breathe. Then, easy. So, very, very easy now. Okay. Got it. But please don't forget the previous pictures, Trismos, Resource, Ordonico, Sophistotonus, and all. They are all are important. Okay. Now, next. Closure of botulinum. Whenever botulism comes, you know, the first thing which should come is BOT means, you know, when you talk about BOT, it is a, I would say, a bottle of poison. A bottle of poison. Yes, I would say, you know, a bottle of poison. And I, I'll come now, okay. So, first of all, the mechanism, main mechanism closure of botulism is what? It inhibits the Acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is the most potent poison botulism. So because acetylcholine, it's an it's an uh, it's a stimulatory mediator. Right? When the stimulation goes, then what happens? Everything will become uh, it'll go, it will become it will become uh flaccid. Everything muscles will become flaccid, loose, and you know? a flaccid paralysis. Opposite to tetanus. Opposite op there it was passive, here it was flaccid paralysis. Okay. Adult, adult food, how it happens. Remember, for adult, it's the bottle of canned food. Canned or bottle food, same. I just make it extra. Canned food. Canned food, which is containing, if the if in your exam, the question will come, canned beans or peas, and the patient got flaccid paralysis, means don't even think it is your botulism. Botulism, okay? Acetylcholine. Bottle of canned food. But here, what happened? The toxin is the reason. The toxin is already released. Toxin directly release inside the food so directly it affects okay infant botulism for infant it is the bottle of honey raw honey not unpasteurized raw honey okay so here you know villages and all they have this honey bottle directly they they, they, they bring from the forest so what happened the spores will be direct cause the spores will directly affect the, the children and spores spores will directly affect the children so what is this condition called? Here in adult food botulism, toxin that happens. So the patient usually get the placid paralysis. Here also placid, but in fact, but this is called what? F for F for floppy baby. F for placid paralysis, F for floppy baby. Opistotonus me T ta T for tetanus is gone. But here floppy because F for uh, placid paralysis, F for floppy baby. Baby is floppy. Floppy baby. Finished, right? Very, very easy. Now next. Closed radium perfringence. Now the Clostridium perfringes, okay, before going to Clostridium perfringes, I want to bring you a story and then I'll come here. This guy, who is this guy? Everyone knows, at least girls know. This is Mr. Perfect, Mr. Perfect, Mr. Perfect who? Naga, Mr. Perfect Naga, okay, his name is Naga, you know everyone. He is wearing a beautiful cap, he has a cap, okay, he is wearing a beautiful cap, number one. Look at him. He has a lot of car collection. Car, car, car. So many cars. Cars, cars, cars. So many cars he has. Okay. Look at him. He has a beautiful lecithin and has a target. He has a beautiful lecithin gun. Lecithin gun. And is very clear about his target. Very, very clear about his target. Okay. That's it. Mr. Perfect. Naga. Cap. Huh. He loves to drink litmus milk. His favorite is litmus milk. One more thing. He loves camping but it's a bit you know googly so you know what he do he make the reverse okay, litmus milk he does he's a bit lazy and one more thing mr perfect is a bit lazy he doesn't move and he does camp because he's lazy he do the camp reverse he does the camp reverse he puts okay these are the thing okay mr perfect naga is our main theme okay everything you'll answer now this is mr perfect Naga, what is he causes? In the movie set, he fell down and he got what? Gas gangrene. Gas gangrene. Gas gangrene, number one. And please remember, in gas gangrene is the only condition there is no spores. Everywhere, Clostridium has a spore, but when there is 
बट वेन देर इज गैस कैंग्रीन स्पोर्स डिस्टर्पियस गैस में द स्पोर्स विल गो अवे ओके दिस नो स्पोर्स सो नो स्पोर्स नो द uh i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i i i i missed it i'm sorry i i put it i wrote it in the dp cell i'm sorry i'm just going to grab this one uh it is not here yeah yes we'll come back to the perfect this was another beautiful uh, dp cell is also another beautiful topic i made a mistake so let's go here yes at the topic i went there okay now here close your perfect this well see so first of all the shape First of all, I told you. First of all, remember, it's a Mr. Perfect Naga. It's a Mr. Perfect Naga. Naga. I told you, Mr. Perfect Naga. Nagarjun, na? Nagarjun, Nagarjun, Nagarjun. So Naga is a what? He has a club. So usually, I told subter. It comes in subterminal spore. And your FMG me three years before they asked, what is the shape? Club shape. Naga has a club. Mr. Perfect Naga. Mr. Perfect Perfringens. Mr. Perfect means Perfringens. Okay. Perfect means Perfringens. And he's a well-known Mr. Perfect or Mr. Well also. Well for well G. And he's Naga. He has a club. He's a club owner. So club shape. This question was there. So don't forget. It's very easy. When the question option me, you see club shape, club. And the sir ne bola tha, close to him, kis ke paas club tha? Club to Mr. Nagarjun ke paas hai. And who is Nagarjun there? To look close to him, tata ni, perfringes, bottle. Ah, yeah, perfect, perfringes. Oh, yeah, Nagarjun, yeah, Mr. Perfect. Who's ke paas club tha? So club. Anthrax, Andre ke paas. So bamboo stick. She had a bamboo stick and invented for tree. Nagarjun ke paas kya hai? Club hai, car hai. So I'm going to come to the car also. It's not only club, we'll come to the car also. Now the disease. Now the disease. Uh, disease, you know what? Uh, just we told now. I just wrote there. Gas gangrene. Gas gangrene. Okay. So how this disease is happening? Same. I told you this enzyme called lecithinase. Lecithin gun. I just wrote there. Lecithinase gun. And lecithinase is the main virulence factor. This will be question. Lecithinase. I guess for shortcut, I remember as gun. Because of this gun, what happened? Gas gangrene happens. Gas gangrene, you see, what is the gas gangrene? This with the, the definite question. Definite question. The uh, in case history, you will get a patient had the, this symptom. He was having crepitus. Crepitus is the swelling. You know, that when you press this, when you press this uh, wound, you will have crepitus, severe pain, severe pain, foul smell, foul smell, foul smell. Itna agaya hamara Nagarjun ka. Nagarjun, when he was shooting his movie, he got injury. You know, usually, usually after injury only this thing happens. You know, after car crash injury. He has a lot of cars. So, cars, he got injury. Severe pain, extreme pulpit. This is a classic gas in And one more thing, remember, there is no spores in gangrene because all the spores goes away in the gas. Remember like that. The spores disappears in gas. That's it. No spores. This is the only condition where there is no spore. Otherwise, everywhere there is spore. Okay? Remember. Now, diagnostic. Diagnostic is very fun with the diagnostic. I love diagnostic part of this. Um, First of all, see, he's a capsule. This is the only capsulated, only capsulated uh, clostridium and non motile He's lazy guy. I told he's lazy. So, that means non motile non motile okay got it and i told he does the reverse camping reverse so this is the reverse camp when you get the when the question came reverse camp reverse camp is same only thing is that instead of the main streaking staff or use this this part instead of this staff or use you are streaking clostridium perfringes that's it okay the side one is same this is that a uh, group group uh, Agarthala boy, you know, Agarthala group B, group B, streptococcus only. Group B, streptococcus, Agarthala only. But this is the one different. Okay, staphylococcus is close to him, perfringes are putting. That's what reverse comes. The word reverse comes, comes, Nagarjun will come automatically in your brain. And gram stain, I told, see, he has a lot of car. He get accident also with car only and get gas gangrene. And also he has a lot of car. So the exam will be box car appearance. Box, sorry, box car appearance, box car appearance. Okay, club shaped spore, club also owner is uh, Nagarjun, box car cars owner is also Nagarjun, all rich guy, he's such a rich, rich guy. Okay, second one, another important test is the antitoxin toxin reaction. This is called Nagler's reaction. Nagler's reaction is basically a neutralization, antitoxin toxin neutralization test. Okay, so you see, an, it's a egg yolk agar. This is basically a egg yolk agar, yolk agar. In this, you see this opalescence, 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 you see, opalescence, opalescence, you see, that's it, okay, that's it, that one. And I told you, he always has a target, so this target, when you see this, 
double target. He's a very, you know, he's such a good actor. No, he has very good target in making good, good movies. So double target appearance, bulls, bullish and a double target. But you remember double target. That's it. This question. Double target lesion. So any of this which a box car or egg yolk opalescence or this double target on the blood agar or reverse camp test. And one more is a litmus milk, litmus milk picture. I have not been able to give it, but they can they can just give in the in the words they can write litmus milk. Uh, stormy formation is seen. This is all fancy things comes. You should think Nagarjun. Any litmus milk is also expensive. So all these things expensive, expensive things comes. You think about Nagarjun. That's it. Don't worry. Okay, sure. Very easy. This pic, this pic, this slide also. You should be taking a picture and you will be uh, just before exam. You have to. You don't even exam. Yeah, I already give all the clues. Why you need? If you need even Nagarjun automatically come. Nagarjun has car. Nagarjun has club. He has gun. He has gun. He gets gas gangrene because of the same car accident only. And then he has a double target every time. He's sort of ultra, sort of lazy, and he does the camping ultra. Karata. Then he has this negligence reaction. Okay, that's it. Now, now, now comes another important question. Okay, what is this? Uh, closed rim diffusion. Oh my god, what is this closed rim diffusion? This is one. When I talk about the closed rim diffusion, the disease caused by closed rim diffusion, you know already it is called as pseudo pseudo membranous. Hmm. Ah, this is okay. Sorry, just. Okay, so this is, I'm sorry, yeah. Now, this is called pseudomembranous colitis or it's also called as antibiotic associated diarrhea, antibiotic, antibiotic associated diarrhea. I mean, what happened? You remember? Okay, this is C, okay, fine. When you take, anti diff, diff, when you take, Difficult, difficult, difficult antibiotic. You get diarrhea. That's it. Remember like this. When you take difficult antibiotics, you get difficult diarrhea. That's it. Difficult, difficult. Okay. This question was asked many, many repeated. Pseudo membrane called this antibiotic. Okay. Genetic related. So which are the antibiotics causing? C. The clue is C. So C for cephalosporin. C for cephalosporin. And another C is for clindamycin, cephalosporin, clindamycin. And of course, you're going for ampi, ampicillin and amoxicillin. Ampicillin and amoxicillin. These are the few drugs that is causing the problem. Okay, antibiotics. Diagnostics. For diagnostic purpose, we are going to hmm, a special uh, 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 to detect this toxin can culture. Ke liye. We have usually see the toxins as well. We do PCR and ELISA test. We can do for the data the toxin. Okay. But for culture care, especially we have CCYA media, CCFA media. This is actually cefoxetine, cycloserine, yeast agar, cefoxetin, cycloserine, fructose agar. Not that much asked, but if you remember CCYA, this is C, all start with C. So CCYA, CCFA. That's okay. That's it. Okay. Right. No treatment. Now treatment is important. So when you have a, when you take some antibiotic and you get close to difficult infection, then again you treat with some other antibiotics. Which are the antibiotics? This was asked also in a recent exam, previous year. PYQ. This is a previous year question. Here the treatment is usually metronidazole, metronidazole, or vancomycin. Vancomycin, but usually oral is better than the IV. Oral is better than IV. But one more drug we nowadays find is pedoxomy. Pedox, pedoxacin. Okay, pedoxacin. This is now coming. The newer drug mate has come. It's also very recommended drug. Okay, that's it. Okay, pedoxacin. So uh, these are the few. Metronidazole, vancomycin definitely, definitely will come. So this one, how much they have recommended? No, but uh, pyroxamine is now recommended. You can give. Okay, close to different side, you can give Okay, that's it. Now, next uh, next one, gram positive baseline. See, this question will be less asked, so don't worry. Uh, yeah, that is, uh, wait, I'll tell you what is important here. Yeah. Uh, now, gram positive filamentous bacilli, two things. I told you this one, on it. This, this is a gram positive bacilli, this filamentous type. Less asked question, but very easy only. For actinomyces, actinomyces pura name actinomyces Israeli. Israeli. Anna? Look at this Israeli guy. This, look at this Israel man. Look at this Israel man. 
first thing he is taking a sun ray he needs a sun ray for a skin sun ray second one he is having a ball he is having a fluffy ball look at his teeth it looks like a molar teeth his teeth is like a molar teeth molar teeth and what happened he got lot of this pustula swellings and discharge he gets what severe swellings and discharge swelling and discharge neck may and in the leg neck may most common is in the neck only neck may is getting okay these are the clue for you first one for actinomyces no cardia no cardia may it's very fun and you'll never ever forget lifelong will not forget because no cardia i will make it as nora fetty nora fetty is a beautiful girl she is the first she's first two things one of one thing is she's super fast dancer she's fast dancer so that means acid fast this is a no cardia is an acid fast bacteria she needs pure oxygen to breathe so that is this is a aerobic and actinomyces cervix so this is she needs pure oxygen dusra if you want to norafiti you can't get easily you have to put a bait you have to put a bait for norafiti to take a norafiti you have to put a bait very some any bait you have to put that means paraffin bait paraffin bait technique paraffin bait take this question you can expect this time this question paraffin bait bait is ko karte no bait means to catch the fish you put a bait now to get norafiti also you put a bait paraffin bait that is your no cardia okay so pure oxygen and she is fast acid fast bacteria that's thing now here all i told you sun ray fluffy ball everything okay that means what i'm going to say here is see that's what uh, i i'm going to very fast here this is not that actinomyces but you know they are they ask for long time but you know you never know no? that's what i'm stressing so this is anaerobe anaerobe norafiti is aerobe norafiti needs oxygen so she is aerobe clinical i told you so swelling usually you see the swelling swelling plus discharge is very common here especially where in the when i talk about uh, especially when i'm talking about a cervical region cervical cervical actinomycosis this is cervical actinomycetoma so one of the type of mycetoma causing okay here no cardia it usually pulmonary it usually affects the pulmonary or meningitis etc pulmonary is the most common one okay now in the uh, gm uh, gomeri mithi mesai i told sun ray appearance you get sun ray appearance uh tgb me you will see what fluffy ball appearance fluffy ball appearance bh agar me is a molar tooth colony so these type of a molar tooth fluffy ball sun ray this all for israeli guy active israeli guy will get it treatment again you will go for cortimoxazole okay cortimoxazole also uh, for actinomyces anaerobe you can go for penicillin you can go for uh, go with the penicillin metronidazole whatever you can go no cardia again you go for cortimoxazole okay right so technique i told you paraffin bait paraffin bait paraffin bait and uh, for afb staining use one percentage h2so for so i told she is acid fast so use one plus number one she is always number one nora is nora fit is always number one so number one one percentage h2so that's it. okay this is a very simple one in case if you get the only question you can expect here is paraffin bait technique is very important rest all you know it you never know you know these days they can ask anything competition is high so examiners can ask anything you know so just you know i'm just i'm giving clues even if forget also at least you'll remember by norafeti and active israeli guy you'll at least mark something or you'll rule some options okay yeah now listeria is definitely an expected question no doubt in it when you say listeria the motility automatically should come in your mind i think you already guessed what i'm talking okay now we'll go mode of transmission usually milk usually through milk uh, poultry milk poultry very very common milk is a poultry it's very common one uh, pregnancy usually if the listeria occurs in the it's uh, still listeria it comes in mcdonalds if you remember mcdonalds we are still in mcdonalds we are still sitting in mcdonalds and we are having mcdisa huh? we didn't go out yet so l for listeria not leptospira leptospira is pyrokes so all the things here we talk only listeria okay now, pregnancy usually when the pregnancy you get you get abortion okay but if it goes to children we already spoke about it cause what neonatal meningitis neonatal meningitis just like group agartala by group a same way listeria also is present in female vaginal tract and then the baby can get neonatal meningitis neonatal meningitis and sepsis okay so one of the most common cause neonatal meningitis gram positive organism is listeria will come okay yes so question 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 so they can give you this picture csf picture and they'll give you a bacilli gram positive bacilli means the only thing if you get a gram positive bacilli in csf picture and they tell you to identify 
you have to think listeria expected question so please be careful you can get it motility is very important so how to remember the motility so i'll give you don't worry don't worry don't worry dear so look at listeria i call this guy this guy this guy look at this this guy his name is tummy first of all he has a tummy itna bada tummy and list tummy list and with the list he has a list tummy list anton his name is anton antony or anton tummy list anton this guy okay tummy list anton okay what he does this guy two things tummy list anton first of all tummy why is it tummy tumbling motility tumbling motility tumbling motility number one this question was asked frequently number two this tummy list anton at age of 20 when he was age of 25 degree he was active he was playing motile at a at age of 37 37 degrees celsius inactive non-motile he becomes non-motile he becomes lazy that's it non-motile that's it okay 20 this is called differential differential so remember tummy list and has two types of motility expected question expected question tumbling motility differential motility at age of 30 but at age of 25 he was dancing at the age of 37 he became lazy and he is nothing Anton, I told because Anton test is so important. Uh, long time they didn't ask. Anton may you have it's a rabbit infectivity test. What happens if you inject into the rabbit eye? The rabbit eye, you will get conjunctivitis. The rabbit will have conjunctivitis. So Anton's favorite animal is rabbit, also. Remember that Anton has a rabbit. Anton, tummy, tummy, Anton, tummy list Anton as a tummy list Anton, rabbit conjunctivitis. Okay. Yeah, treatment. Me, treatment. Me, see, you can give anything uh, in uh, in a list of monosaccharides. Cephalosporin is not given. Okay, remember that cephalosporin doesn't work here. Rest all other things are fine. Usually, what they give is ampicillin, uh, uh, amikacin, amikacin. I'm sorry, amikacin, not ampicillin. Amikacin, gentamicin, genta. We can give. Uh, cotrimoxazole also we can give, cotrimoxazole we can give, but cephalosporin we don't give. Amica, Genta, Cotri are given, because cephalos is not given. This asked one of your recent uh, uh, NEAT exam. In NEAT exam, it was asked, okay. Cephalosporin is not recommended. Amica, Genta, Cotrimoxazole is fine. Okay, you can give these drugs. Okay, just for an extra point. Okay, now, no, 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 now the TB, the most, most important one, and you know, guys, it's very, very important. TB means definitely question will be there. Now, valence factor. Now we talk about the valence factor. Ah, uh, you know that. Yeah. Now, valence factor, uh, they have, first of all, there's something called cord factor. The TB patient, someone gets TB, in the depression, what they do, they put cord on their neck and they will die. And they are like that. It's just a clue. Okay, nothing, nothing, just for clue only. So, cord factor. So, your um, cord factor one, and there's something called lipo arabinomenon. Lipo ar lipo. Uh, Lipo ara, arab bino manin and arab arabs have more tb remember like that arabs have more tb these two are the most important factor and mycolic acid is that because of mycolic acid only it is acid fast okay because of mycolic acid it is acid fast mycobacterium is usually acid fast we say acid fast we say so lipo arab bino manin clinical features Lung uh, primary and secondary. We are no primary. Uh, we have primary TB. Lung we have primary TB and the secondary TB. Okay. Before the symptoms, when we talk about symptoms, you know common symptoms. What are they? They are the chronic cough, hemoptysis, weight loss, hemoptysis, weight loss, fever for months. You know these are common fever for months. For months, everything for months. Weight loss, fever loss, hemoptysis, everything are the symptoms. Now, when you talk about primary secondary TB, I go uh, uh, the, the in radiology picture me, you will get it. See, like this primary TB usually affects which one? It is usually in the lower lobe, lower lobes, upper region. It's usually lower lobes, upper region. But your secondary TB is usually where it is in the upper lobe, upper lobe, apical region. That's the thing. Don't confuse. Primary means always it will be up. No, apical. apical. So upper lobe apical is secondary TB. It gets activated because of oxygen. It is a, a aerobic. So microbiome aerobic. But primary TB is usually in the lower lobe only. Okay. So it will be somewhere here. 
So we have what? What are the lesions is called? We call Gohn's focus. If Gohn's focus, then Gohn's complex when the lymph node is also affected because Gohn's, Gohn's complex. And also Ranke's. Ranke's complex is basically calcified Gohn's. Calcified, calcified Gohn's, we call this Ranke's complex. So Gohn's focus, Gohn's complex, Ranke's complex. Okay, that's it. This one thing. This with this words all will come in the primary TB. Primary TB. Now for secondary TB, two focus. Simon, Simon focus, another one is Asman. Asman. So if they ask directly, see this, you never know, you know, radiological part or the pathological part, they can ask. So it's better to know the location. Simon is always submissive. He's this humble guy. So subplural. Subplural focus. There's a lesion is subplural. Subplural lesion we call Simon focus. As man means uh, as. As is always down, no, niche. So infraclavicular. Infraclavicular lesion. If the lesion is infraclavicular below, they will be called as man. But they all are secondary TV. Okay, very simple. Gones. Gones focus means just only one focus. This is a Gones focus. But if it is associated with the lymph node also, then it is Gones complex. If this is calcified, then it's a rank is complex. That's it. Okay. <coughs> Anything you can expect, so be careful with this. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. My across so much fun and TB is even more fun. So no making any mistake. I can't forgive anyone making mistake after the listening to my class. Okay. No, I'm kidding. You, you, you guys will do well. I'm sure. I'm guaranteed. Okay. So now let's go to this. Extra pulmonary TB. Look at this. First of all, uh, in extra pulmonary TB, the most common extra pulmonary, apart from lung, uh, lung is pulmonary. Extra pulmonary may, lymph node is the most common, most common lesion. So usually where? Usually in the cervical region. Cervical, cervical region, neck, uh, neck or uh, neck or posterior auricular variation, but usually cervical is the most common site. Okay. And then here you have a lot of names. You you call what collar stud abscess. Collar stud abscess. It is a sort of lymphadenitis. No, it is a sort of lymphadenitis. So collar stud abscess, we can say cold abscess. It, these type of words, cold abscess, collar stud abscess, uh, all come. That's TB. TB 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 may people will be cold. You remember the TB people are cold. Okay, that's it. Now, next one. Ha, next one. Uh, brain. Brain may, you know, it causes meningitis. Brain, brain may causes meningitis. We'll talk about differential later. But in meningitis may, you know, if uh, CSF may, you know that what happened. The uh, the glucose will always go because bacteria will eat the glucose. Glucose will go down. Protein inflammation will go. So protein will go high. Which cell increases? Lymphocytes will increase. Lymphocytes will increase. And there's one phenomenon called cobweb phenomena. Cobweb phenomena. Cobweb phenomena is for TB, TB, TB. The, what happened is that in the CSF fluid, no, it, in, you'll see a cobweb like appearance. That's it. That's a Cobweb, okay. So something cobweb means TB it comes in TB, just extra flow. Okay? You never know. Again, that's a pathological one. Meningitis may. Vertebra, you know, that's called pod spine. I'm not going to say this. So no, like classic, classic question. You should be should be your fingers pod. Pod spine. Usually thoracal lumbar region is most common. Is thoracal uh, thoracal lumbar region may uh, the pod spine will happen. GIT, you know, the most common is iliocecal junction. Iliocecal. Iliocecal junction is the most common site for TB. TB, Kelly, you know that. That's also one question. Your enemy is simply called as renal TB. There's nothing specifically I'm going to say except that. Except that recently, the um, and genital may, might ask. See, the recently this question came. This is Nietzsche. You see, all this genital may, nodular, nodular constricted lesions, nodular constricted, nodular constricted, uh, you know, tubes, fallopian tube or uterus, anything, anything, you know, TB comes. If this thing happened, then that is, again, tuberculosis, genital. So this question was asked previously. This was salpingography. In the salpingography, you can see everything was like, you know, all this constriction, constriction, all that, that part. All. Okay. Skin made two things. One, this question, skin is very important. Nowadays, they ask, one, the disease name is called lupus vulgaris. Lupus vulgaris means TB. Lupus vulgaris, the other one is Scrofulo, scrofulo derma, scrofulo derma, not scrofula itself, scrofulo derma. These two terms are important. That is a would be a single liner question. Okay. Got it. Miller TB is common in HIV patient. This one, everything you see, if it is scattered here, 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 here. No, in HIV patient is common in HIV patient. Uh, if the TB is spreaded like this, severely like this, this is called Millery, Millery TB. This is a Millery TB. Okay. This is a, again radiology question, but I covered all extra pulmonary in one slide. Again, if you want, take the picture of this and keep the word cholesterol abscess, port spine, uh, lupus vulgaris, scrofuloderma. These terms are very classic for your TB, TB, TB. That's what I love TB. Okay. 
now recently you know now they're going deep they, they're not going deep they're, they're touching the basic actually now the recent question what came is in tv because sample not the sample petrov's method the first was sample audio you take two samples first one on spot on spot means when the patients come to you just now in the opd saying that i have coughs they take one on spot sputum on spot sputum sample first one second sample next day early morning next day early morning so two samples, okay? Not too early morning. That's wrong. If you, a, a option may, if they give confuse you, you say one is on spot sputum, second is next day early morning. Not both on spot or not excess. You should do this only, okay? This question. Petrov's method may very important. Abhi, uh, INACT exam may this question was asked and I was really surprised. Many made mistakes in this question. That, but that's a basic question actually. Petrov's is basically purifying the sputum. The sputum sample will be mixed with saliva sample. So we have to purify it. So we are in two things. One is the NALC agent. One is the NALC and other one is the Sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. So now this is the N-acetyl cysteine. This is basically N-acetyl cysteine. N-acetyl cysteine. You know this is a sort of uh, antidote for penicillin, uh, for your paracetamol poisoning. But here, NALC proposes to liquefaction. It is to liquefy the uh, saliva sputum. Basically, sputum to liquefy all the unwanted substance to get a pure sample with liquid. L for liquefy. Remember like that. NALC is N-acetyl cysteine liquefy. <coughs> NaOH is basically for, it is for killing the flora, killing the commensal bacteria. Staphylococcus, Gifflucos, Moth, you will have no Staphylococcus. It is for killing the commensals. Both are important. The word, not ULTA. NaOH not liquefies or NALC is not killing commensal. Uh, sodium hydroxide will kill the commensal and Petros. That means Petros may 2 n One is N-acetyl, other one is N. Two N's are there. Okay, Petros, two N's are there. That's it. Okay, right. Microscopy. Microscopy first you're doing acid first stain. Acid first stain in, uh, in uh, general may I'm going to talk about for our steps. But now acid first stain, how many percent using 25% H2SO4? You're using 25% H2SO4. And what you're going to see here, this otherwise it's called what? ZN staining. Zeal Nielsen staining also acid for both are same meaning only because of mycolic acid, it is stained like this. So when you see this picture, this is called what? The exact word is beaded appearance. You see beaded, pink, irregularly stained, irregularly, irregularly stained, beaded, pink appearance, beaded, pink appearance, basically. Basically, okay, that's the question. They can ask this question, how when you stain, you get this. Cold method is otherwise called quinone. Quinone's method, quinone, cold, quinone, you know, co, 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 you know, co, 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 you remember, co, 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 so, co key, quinones method. Here, no heating. Here, there is show. See, in the Z and I'll talk later. We are going to do intermittent heating. In the cold method, no, that's what it is called. Cold code. So, it's a simple. So, fluorescent stain also, we are going to talk again. But then, so again, I'll tell you two stains. What are they? Auramine and rhodamine. Auramine and rhodamine. Auramine and rhodamine. Also, recently asked. They have asked this question recently. Uh, there's aurine and rhodine, not rhodine. Here, the M, mycobacterium TB, M, M, Ana, there should be M in the word. M should be there. Auramine and rhodamine. Auramine and rhodamine. Okay, auramine and rhodamine. You all remember this. Okay? okay, very good. Next. Next. Now, here, uh, now culture. Culture, too, we have two types of culture. We have solid culture, liquid culture. Solid culture means the conventional method, still the culture is anyway, it's a gold standard. For TB, which is the gold standard, if someone asks, of course, culture, whatever advanced culture is the best. Especially solid is much better than liquid again, but there are positive and negative. So we talk about the solid culture. We talk about the solid culture. What I want to say. So we talk solid culture. This is the one. Which is the media name? What is the name? LJ Media. LJ Media. You know very well. That is the Lowenstein Jensen's media. Lowenstein Jensen. And you know? Jensen. This, this blue color media. This is what you're seeing here. Okay. Blue color media. This, this are called. You call it as uh, uh, rough, tough, buff. Rough, tough, buff. Okay, I'm spelling, I'm writing it short way. So you remember, rough, tough, buff policy. Okay, okay, the only problem is that it takes how many? It takes so much time to grow. It almost takes uh, six to eight weeks for growth. That's the negative with this. Right? So egg containing media, it's egg containing media. We have other Dorset, Dorset's media and other many other medias, but usually LJ media is a commonly used one. This picture might be given and said, which is the culture media or whatever they got. So, so TV, so, solid culture. Liquid culture automated me, you know very, very well what's the liquid culture? That's the back tuck. Uh, back tuck or back alert. We got so many in back alert or also called midget. Midget, you know? Microbiome growth indicated tube. So these are the 
liquid culture tubes okay so they can ask you that question also so again don't get uh, you know panicked or whatever the mpg64 is again recently very popular this is very popular test uh, because uh, uh, so uh, this is popular test the mpg4 again it is very confirmatory it is very confirmatory only for tb alone only for tb so mpg64 also popular test nowadays it's like a card test only it's antigen detection test okay now anyway back to back to midget or liquid automator but here the good thing with the liquid automator is you get the culture in one to two weeks the results are available in one to two weeks imagine one to two weeks is how we bought fast and six weeks how different it is so that's what okay. conventional automator is a difference okay question CBNET. CBNET asked question recently. They've asked many times. Molecular is again much better. So we're talking about like PCR methods. PCR now again when you, the name is CBNET. CBNET is the you know cartridge based. CBNET means it is cartridge based nucleotide nucleotide amplification techniques. Okay, cartridge based. So this other name is gene expert. So don't confuse CBNAT or gene expert are same. Okay, gene expert. This word will also come. Please remember this: is the, the molecular method which used for TB is called gene expert. Only thing is that in gene expert you have to know only rifampicin resistance is detected. Only rifampicin resistance detected only rifampicin resistance is detected. But in line probe assay, the next one another method. Here, all antibiotics resistance, all antibiotics resistance is detected. All the antibiotic resistance is detected. That is the beauty. That is the beauty. Okay, like that. Now, next one. Hmm. Diagnosis of latent TB, your two tests. One is the Manto. Other one is the interferon gamma. Interferon, interferon gamma golden. It's a gold interferon gamma. They used to say gold interferon gamma. It's very expensive when you can't do it. That's the thing. They were detecting the latent TB. So Manto text means few things are important. Huh? Very, very important. You already know. See, this is the thing. What you do is that you're going to inject 0 0.1 ml of one uh, uh, one international unit uh, tuberculin. Uh, this uh, PPD. PPD is a derived protein. PPD is derived protein you're going to inject. And when injecting, uh, injecting, you have to get a wheel. So if you observe in duration, in duration, which is more than 10 mm, it is positive. If it's less than 5 mm, negative. In between is intermediate. So for children, this is confirmatory. For children, this is TB confirmatory. For adults, it's not confirmatory. It only gives an idea. Okay, for children, it is confirmatory. Only for children, it's confirmatory. Montux, okay? You check for induration, not anything. Initially, you will get a wheel like this. A wheel you will get. Wheel you're not measuring. You have to measure this whole induration. You should touch and see the induration. Okay, that's a good thing. So, uh, again, Montux test is otherwise called tuberculin test. Tuberculin test. Tuberculin test or Montux test is the same. Same. Only for children, it's confirmatory. Adult kill, it's not confirmatory. Adult kill, it just only tells uh, they are not TB. You can't confirm with that. Tuberculin test. Okay, remember that. The type 4 hypersensitivity reaction, type 4 hypersensitivity, you know, tuberculin epidemic or same. Interferon gamma is a type of ELISA format test. Also, for this thing, this also can be asked. Okay, that's it. Next. Atypical. Oh, atypical is another more fun, fun loving. I love this. Atypical mycobacterium, mycobacterium, other than ERTD. See, these days, they, they, they haven't asked, but expect it. If they haven't for a few days, they were asking only TB means now this time you can accept the atypical mycobacterium. That means other than the mycobacterium, other than TB, called MOT also. Okay, my father TB. First is photochromogen. Photochromogen may very simple. See, if you want to have a face like a photo, if you want to get a photogenic face, you have to put what? Mask. You put a beautiful mask. Okay. M for mycobacterium. Marinum. Mycobacterium marinum. A for mycobacterium. They can simply ask which of the following are photochromogen. Photochromogen means, first of all, they produce pigment in light. Photo means light. In light, only in light. Only in light, they produce pigment. Okay. For photogenic, you have to put what? Mask. So, uh, Asiatica, Mycobacterium Asiatica, Mycobacterium Simiae, Simiae, and Mycobacterium Kansasi, K-A-N, Kansasi. Okay, 
So here your very, very important question here. What is that important question, sir? Yes, I'm coming now. Marinum causes swimming pool granuloma. This causes swimming pool or fish tank granuloma, or sometimes called fish tank granuloma. Asked question. May I also remember one of my exam in PG or somewhere it came long back, fish tank. So no, I it's, it's expected. Examiners said like this. Kansasi is the only disease that similar to microvitrum tuberculosis. So Kanaga hai. So Mary, Mary likes swimming pool. Mary likes swimming pool. Mary wants to go swim. Mary who likes swimming. Mary. Kanaha, Kanaha got TB. Poor Kanaga got TB. Kanaga is a South Indian actress, old actress. I know our South boys will remember, our girls will remember. Kanaga, my good TB. Swimming, Mary likes swimming, so she gets swimming pool grand lama. Both are questions. So then what about the scotochromogen? Scotochromogen, yes, I'm coming. Scotochromogen is very important. Scotochromogen, they produce pigment in both both light and in dark both in the light and dark both in the light and dark they produce pigment so how to remember so clue is here yes and g so this is yes yes g yes for uh, mycobacterium uh, micro uh, 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 mycobacterium uh, once again huh. mycobacterium shulgai s z u l g shulgai this is Mycobacterium Jordani, Mycobacterium Scrofulacium, Scrofulacium. Okay, I'm, I thought of writing Scrofulacium at first, but it's okay. Okay, here important is only your Scrofulacium. Rest other things are not important. Why, sir? Why, sir? Why only Scrofulacium? Because this Mycobacterium Scrofulacium, it causes a disease called Scrofula, not scrofula derma. Scrofula derma is a skin condition caused by microbiome TB. Scrofula is basically lymphadenitis, which is caused by the name scrofulacium lymphadenitis. Question. Swimming pool, microbiome TB kanaga, similar to TB, many times repeated. Scrofula also repeated. Okay, skin based question. Non photochromogen means what is this people? No pigment at all. They, they have no pigment in their life. Sad people. So who are the sad people here? Avi is very sad. Poor Avi. Avi is very sad. Uh, and then who? Avi because... Uh, uh, wait, Avi is sad. And then uh, the new mel melanose or new uh, organism also come mel melanose. But I'm not going to add it. Avi and ulcer. Avi is sad because he got ulcer. Avi is basically mycobacterium avium. Intracellular microbacterium avium intracellular. This one Gione also has come. Microbacterium Gione. I'm not. I don't want to bring the new new names and confuse you guys. But Gione, Gione, uh, Gione is their name. But it's okay. You remember only Mac Mac complex. Microbacterium avium intracellular. You know that it is common in the HIV patient. So CD cell is less than 50. This question was asked. HIV less than 60. Microbacterium avium intracellular, which causes TB like symptom. Okay, that's what this is important. Okay, question. Avi. Ulcer, this one, for this one, ulcer, Avi got ulcer, that's what no pigment in his life, no pigment in Avi because he got ulcer. This is actually mycobacterium ulcerans, what's the disease it's causing? Buruli ulcer, buruli, buruli ulcer, buruli ulcer, how beautiful, no, buruli ulcer, I love this term, buruli ulcer, okay, buruli ulcer, so it's ulcer, 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 so it's fun, and it's fun, so much fun, now, Rapid growers. In rapid growers, there are, uh, you know, who drives the car? This guy, Phil. He drives his, which car? He drives his Fortuner. He drives his Fortuner. And what he got? He got an accident. Accident and he got what? Accident and he got abscess. Accident and he got abscess. And also, he was driving pill, fortunate abscess, and for that, he did an accident. No? So, he got a chalan. He got a chalan. And he was fast like smegma, like his sperm, you know, so fast. It looks a little bit uh, meaningless, but then, you know, at least this terms you remember, pill because mycobacterium, pille, fortunate mycobacterium, fortitium, fortitium, mycobacterium, 
abscessus, abscessus, mycobatrium chiloni, mycobatrium chiloni, mycobatrium smegmatis. Smegmatis. Very, very simple. Phil Fortuner accident kar diya. Abscess, he got it and he got a chalan also. He got the speed was like a smegmatis. So here the question asked is all the rapid were very important causing injection abscess. Whenever you get an injection, after injection, if you get an abscess, these are the these are the floras that live on the skin also, normal skin also. They are not non-microbitrium, uh, non-tubercular microbitrium. They live in skin also. So get it. So that question, okay. So this can abscesses or IV. Anything with the injection abscess comes, all are right. Any of this thing you can choose. That's it, okay. Very, very important. Nice. Now, TB vaccine. TB vaccine. I'm not going to talk so much because TB vaccine, uh, which is the vaccine, you know that very, very well. What is it? 1331 strain of Mycobacterium bovis. Mycobacterium bovis. This is the thing. This is the one you are using, okay? And the vaccine name is BCG, Bacillus calamity corine. And how you give? You usually give as intradermal ID. And what is this? Normal saline is for cleaning the wound, cleaning the wound, and also as a diluent. Everything is normal saline, normal saline. Remember, okay? This you know. Only one dose, a live vaccine. Live vaccine, only one dose at birth. Okay, that's it. This everyone knows. This is common question. So you are not talking okay. Multidrug amendment makes a difference. Multidrug resistance means when your resistance to isoniazid and rifampicin. When isoniazid and rifampicin both are resistant, then that is multidrug resistant. But apart from this, with this, one of the when ex extended drug resistant TB means isoniazid rifampicin with this, if also you have resistant to one of the IV injectables also to fluoroquinolones 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 okay if there is resistant to isoniazid rifampicin or iv injectable and fluoroquinolone that is extended drug tip okay this is also important i mean of course pharmacy they will teach but still you know be in advance you know you can always do better Oh, now, 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 now. Oh, yeah. I love this. I love leprosy also. Leprosy, so everything, everything is fun. When, 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 when the subject, when you're learning, you it makes easy then. Mm. Now look at this. Microbiome leprin handsome bestseller. First of all, uh, you know other name for the TB. TB was otherwise called as microbiome Cox bestseller. Here, microbiome leprin is called Hansen's bestseller. Hansen's bestseller. So what is the reservoir? The reservoir is usually these mycobacterium le leprosy, you know, leprosy is how it looks. Leprosy usually present where India, this it lives in our skin, it lives in our mucosa, huh? it lives in our uh, peripheral nerves. Nerves. I mean, wherever the uh, cooler part, wherever there is a cooler area of a body, it lives. Otherwise, you can remember, leprosy people, usually in olden days, what they did, they usually throw them to the mountain. The village people, they told them, you go to the mountain because it will contaminate. So that means mountain is cold part, so cold. Remember like that. So leprosy people go to colder area. So cooler areas like skin, mucosa, peripheral nerves or the reservoirs. Okay, one. Which is the first sense to be loose? Temperature sense. In that temperature, which is the first one? Cold. That is also a question. First of all, this reservoir is also colder area. That first sense lost is also colder area. And leprosy people are thrown out of the village. They live in colder area. So how easy it is. Now, now, now incubation. Say incubation period is always confusing. I'm always forgetting how to remember. Very easy. You leprosy always termed as lepra, lepra, lepra. One, two, three, four, five. So five years. Few years to one year, two years to five years it can go. Or maybe ten years or so. Five years approximately remember. Transmission is usually nasal discharge. It remains in the nose. So nasal discharge is one followed by contact. Close contact. You know, close contact. So nasal discharge contact is another way of doing it. So here, temperature sense is important. Skin, this is very important. Ridley, Ridley Joplin classification is for TB, leprosy. Sorry, leprosy. How here uh, Ridley Joplin classification happened is that very, uh, very simple. He classified like this. He made it TT. And he made it a BT, and he made a BV, and then he made a BL, and he made a LL. So, uh, the most common uh, in India, the most common type is BT. Most common type is BT, and the characteristic lesion here is called satellite satellite lesion. BT satellite T. 
है ना एस सी ए टी 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 है टी सेटेलाइट दिस टी टी इज बेसिकली हाइपो पिगमेंटेड नॉट दट डेंजरस Hypo pigmentation, you can see. Hypo pigmented macules, you see. That's it. I'll show the picture. Leprosy is the dangerous one. You have a typical uh, all uh, leprosy phase. You know, typical leprosy phase, leonin phase, all sardinos, etc. Will come there. Okay, this is just the classification. Now let's go to the clinical feature. So clinical feature, you know, leprosy patient called the clinical feature. But something you should know very important. Most common nerve involved is ulnar. Ulnar nerve, posterior popliteal nerve. But overall, it's the ulnar nerve. Then formed by posterior uh, popliteal etc. And other nerves will come. Peroneal nerve and nerve. Ulnar is the first one. Most common cranial nerve, seventh nerve. Facial nerve. This also question can be asked. Cranial nerve. Now, what is the difference between the TT and the leprometrous leprosy? First of all, <clears throat> uh, first of all, uh, let's start like this. So, tuberculoid uh, in a, in a tuberculoid leprosy, in a tuberculoid leprosy. Uh, first of all, in tuberculoid leprosy, remember like this. This is usually Pousy bacillary, and this is the multi bacillary. Pousy bacillary, multi bacillary, number one. Okay, means from the tubercle, what happened? <coughs> Decrease less bacteria, but increased immunity. Okay, pousy bacillary. Here, what happened in tubercle leprosy? Uh, the immunity is high. Immunity is good here. Immunity is high. Here, immunity is low. Because immunity is high, what happened? Lepromine test is positive. Lepromine test is positive here. But here it is negative. Okay. So, because lepromine test is positive, granulomas can be seen. Granuloma is positive. Here it is negative. Here you see this hypopigmented patch. The symptom is mild symptom, hypopigmented patch, mild symptom only, mild symptom. Here, symptoms are severe symptom. You see what? You see a leonin phase. And you see, a, what do you see? All this, uh, uh, the typical leonin, uh, big, big lesions, you know, typical reaction also. Here, have, the picture is not there. You will be seeing saddle nose, deformed face. You see deformed face. Saddle nose and everything you can see here already. Okay. Main thing is lepromin test, immunity, all positive is TPTT. Lepromin is multi basilary, but immunity is low, everything is less. That question will be asked. Okay. Very simple. Now, the lepra reaction, you guys know that I don't have to say it came in the previous year exam. Very simple. I always uh, told my student to remember like this how to remember, how to remember 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. Okay, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 5 is lepra. If you want to get a lepra, you should have this count 2. Okay, 1 and 2. So, type of hypersensitivity in type 1, lepra reactions are basically what happened during the during the leprosy while you're treating some unexpected reactions. You know, like the hypersensitivity reaction occurs during that course. That's in between. They come and go, come and go. That's the thing. Okay, so the, this type of hypersensitivity type 1 lepra is Four, so fourth hypersensitivity. Here two, so it was third, third hypersensitivity reaction. Easy, easy. This question was asked. You must know. Seen in this is a type one. Always, which is one. Whenever the first thing you have to go when you go out of your house is you are going to put, girls put what BB cream. They put a BB cream. BB cream is the first cream they put. So BB, it is seen in the BB type. Most common question. Type two is seen in the of course aggressive. So it will be an LL type. Obvious, no. So treatment for both are steroids because this, the reactions are very bad. So you have to treat with the steroids. Very simple. It's not type 1 and type 2. You can have a question easily. Easy PC. You know, easy PC. Next. Next is the diagnosis. Smear by. Well, go to smear microscopy. Smear microscopy is so funny. You know, I love it. So see, what you do? Smear microscopy. You go do set and stain only. But one thing for smear microscopy, you take a slit skin smear. Slit skin smear is basically, you know, you... You take like a biopsy, you take the whole region, you pinch the you know, wherever you need. Usually, you usually the lesions are take from the ear lobe uh, and the nose, and then for uh, totally six, you do totally you're taking six smears. You're totally you're making six smears. One is ear lobe, one is on four from the skin, skin, different part of skin you're taking. Okay, listen. So you're folding tightly 
that you prevent the bleeding and then use this things like a punch biopsy you know you just take from the underlying tissue you take it and then you make a smear and send to us you just send to the microbiology this is what you do you're going to do fight for fight for of course nothing it is basically acid fast stain only acid fast uh stain here only thing is that you're using five percent h2so4 five percent h instead of 25 in tb here five here for five have five 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 fight for aga. This other name is fight for aga. Very if you forgot also five. See whole TB. So the whole leprosy is about five only. Lepra five hypersensitivity. Lepra one. Lepra two based on five. This fight for aga have for five five. So five is very helpful in leprosy. Lucky number I think. Okay. Now the interesting part is this thing. If they give a picture like this, if you see like this, you know you see like a bundles. You know like a bundle. That is what bundle? Cigar bundle. Or otherwise also called go. Globy, globy appearance, globy as you see, globy is also seen in where this exact appearance also seen in differential, not acid first, but in, in normal thing also, you will see it in a sp sporothrix, sporothrix shenkai, sporothrix shenkai in your mycology, but here it is for leprosy. So even if you forget, remember leprosy people, when you throw out of the village, when they go to the hill station, colder area, for time pass, they have to smoke sugar and they will eat what? Gobi. I don't know raw gobi or cooked gobi, but they eat gobi. Globi, you make gobi. Gobi and cigar, favorite. So leprosy. It's not easy. Why you have to come a cigar bundle appearance? Gobi, if they give either, I'm expecting picture. Definitely, I'm expecting the picture, this picture. If they give directly in words also, then acid fast stain of 5 percent h 2 4 this appearance was seen. What is it? It is simply mycobacterium leprae concerns basically causing leprosy. Finished. Culture. Culture. Can we culture any culture? Do we have any culture media for this? No. No artificial culture media. Like syphilis also doesn't have. Okay. Artificial culture media. There are a few bacteria that doesn't have culture media. Okay. And chlamydia also doesn't have. Here also no artificial culture media. So what we do? You use nine-banded armadilla. You use nine-banded armadilla. Armadilla. Nine-banded armadilla is popular question. Definitely expected question. Apart from this, and food pad of mice, food pad of mice. Of course, when the leprosy people go to the mountain, mountain may what will be there? There will not be human beings. No, of course, you will see mice and you will see armadillo roaming on the mountain. So, yeah, this also clue. If you forgot, also, oh, sir, told me what was that? It's a nine, nine, nine banded armadillo and food pad of mice. Very simple, expected question. Leprum, leprum, leprum in test. Leprum in test, you know, you know that we have early lepromin. Of course, tubercle leprum of fourth hypersensitivity reaction. That is fine. That is easy. We have early and late. Alphabetically, let's go. Early. Other name is Fernandez. Fernandez. E F E F N E F E F. Late. L M N L M N O P Q L M N O P Q. Oh, no? late. Late for this is Mitsuda, 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 late Mitsuda, right? Late Mitsuda. Now, 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 early Fernandez. What is the thing you're going to see? This is this you will see within 48 hours. Here, Mitsuda late, you will observe at 21 days, 21 days, long, so much time. 21 days. That's what it's late. Here you will see E for early, E for erythema, you will see. Here, LMN, I gave an N for nodules. You'll check for nodules. Very, very simple. M, L, M, N, L, M, N, O, P, Q. A, B, C, D, L, M, N, O, P, Q. Here, E, F. E for early, F for Fernandez. You can easily crack one question. Expected. Very, very simple and easy. Okay, now treatment. Now, see, our examiners in INACT also, it's very fun. It's fun. You know, the those questions which we left for a few years because of PYQ, I mean, AI, so you chose it. Those are the questions now they're asking. <laughs> recent question where they ask treatment and the vaccine see vaccine uh, new vaccine uh, the, the vaccine for new means uh, it, it, it's from the species called mycobacterium indicus prane prane if you have anyone name of prane your friends or family remember he is the one who is going to find the leprosy he found already leprosy vaccine he's on the way on the way okay he is this is the one is tried now indicus prane prane for tb no, sorry, for leprosy. Okay, now treatment, Kelly, what you have to do? Fauci bacillary, you will be giving two drugs. What are they? One is your rifampicin plus dapsone. Rifampicin plus dapsone. Rifampicin plus dapsone. But for multi bacillary, rifampicin plus dapsone plus one more thing, which is the 
clofazamine. Clofazamine. Okay, this is for six months. This is for one year. Okay, this is interesting. Fine. This is you will know. This time, what they ask, what is the side effect of clofazamine? Clofazamine drug side effect. I always say my student, clon, clofazamine will become a clown. Clown ka kya pigment hota hai? Look at the clown. What is he asking? He's having a red pigmentation. Red pigmentation. See, rifampicin side effect is orange color urine. Everyone know. Even the sweeper, garbage cleaner, everybody they know. But now clofazamine, if you forget also, remember a clown. Clofazamine clown, red color pigment. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse, his face is fully pigmented, so that is pigmented. Side effect is pigmented. Fun, no? Very much fun. Okay, finished. So now we have finished a gram positive. Now we go to gram negative. Gram negative is going to be so much fun. Yeah, but you have to bear with me. Let's see. So we just talk about Neisseria. Neisseria, two organisms. One is what? Neisseria meningitis. Neisseria meningitis, otherwise called meningococcus. Don't confuse. They are same, same meningococcus, like pneumococcus, streptococcus pneumonia, meningococcus, Neisseria meningitis. And this is Neisseria gonorrhea. Neisseria gonorrhea, otherwise called gonococcus. Gonococcus, okay, gonococcus. Same, same, all are same, same. Now, 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 now let's go to the main picture. Yeah. Shape. Shape looks this. Meningitis, if you see here, it is like a lentil. You know, it's like a lentil. So we call I call both are diplococci. See, both are both of things are diplococci, but this is lens shaped. It's like a lens and a lens shape. Here it is bean. Here it is what? Kidney bean. Kidney bean shape. Like this. It is like this. If you remember, it's interesting like this. Excuse me. Kidney bean shaped. Diplococci, both are diplo, diplo, diplococci. Okay, both are diplo, diplococci. Capsule, no, not that. Uh, capsule in meningitis, definitely yes. It is polysaccharide, same like uh, regular one, polysaccharide. Not in gonococcus, it reduces. See, gonococcus causes what? You know that it causes STD, no? it causes sexually transmitted disease. Meningitis causes meningococcus, causes meningitis. Ferments, clues there already. You are told meningococci. So M and G. So it means. Ferments, mannose plus glucose. Here only G is there, so only glucose. Okay, ah, sorry, maltose, maltose. I'm sorry, mannose. It's a maltose. Okay, maltose and glucose. Here only glucose. That's it. Okay, that one question they can ask. What about transport media? Transport media. Uh, both for both same uh, strouts and emis, but usually transport is used for gonococcus only emis. Okay, and selective media common for both. What are they? I always say Nigeria is Nisha, Nisha, Nisha's boyfriend, Nisha's boyfriend is Tyre Martin. Tyre Martin, his boyfriend Tyre Martin is a chocolate boy. And he's from where? New York. Modified New York. Tyre Martin and New York media for Nisa's boyfriend. Question. Treatment for both ceftriaxone. Like for your typhoid fever also, ceftriaxone. They can ask ceftriaxone to kill the Nisa. If you want to kill Nisa, you need to have what? Ax. Ceftriaxone. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now next. So here... Uh, uh, now, uh, if you see her, yeah, meningitis. So that's what I'm coming here. This question definitely one question is 100% expected because meningitis, how do you distinguish based on just the normal conditions? Okay. So what happened? Any bacteria. Okay. Here it is TB plus, uh, just try to move this picture a little bit up. Yeah, it'll come back. Uh, so here, Huh. So here you see, so if you uh, look at this bacteria and TB, they are almost bacteria and fungus, they are same. So what happened? Open pressure, of the open pressure for anything, it uh, bacteria viral goes high, high, viral means normal, not that's it. Glucose, you know, bacteria eats glucose. So automatically what happened? Glucose level will go low. 
it will go low both in bacteria and TB. Glucose level go high. This is usually normal. Virus is a small. It depends on a host, not on the glucose or anything. Okay, so nothing happened. Protein inflammation is very high in bacteria. The inflammation is very high, no. So automatically proteins will be released. So definitely more inflammation, more protein. Same with the TB fungal also. Protein high, glucose high. Here also high. Same 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 same. Here it's usually normal or mildly elevated, not significant. Cells, this is more important, WBCs. So now WBCs, if you put here in bacteria, you know, any bacteria, neutrophils will go high. Neutrophils, PMNs, neutrophils go very high. Polymorphic uh, leukocyte, ne ne neutrophils, polymorphic neutrophils. Uh, this in viral lymphocytes go high. And TB, again, lymphocytes will go high. This is the way how you're going to do this. Lymphocyte will go high. Okay. Question, question, question. One exception is there in bacteria. In listeria, especially in listeria bacteria, I told you in meningitis, your lymphocytes will go high. This, I don't know how, they haven't asked, but you know, be alert. You, these people are crazy. You know, they can't do anything. At least for neat PG students. Okay, remember, listeria is the only condition where in, in uh, neutrophil can go high, but lymphocytes also can go high in listeria, in CSF. Okay. And I told you TB means there's a cobweb phenomenon that you will remember. Okay, that's it. So remember, virus may everything is normal, lymphocytes high. But in TB, same like bacteria, only thing lymphocytes will go high. Here, neutrophil, here lymphocytes. That's it. That's actually the difference. Okay. Yes. Nice. Now next. Villains factor. Now the nasary meningitis is villains factor. Main thing. Capsule. Already told you it's the capsule, capsule, capsule. Polysaccharide capsule. No, no, no. Reservoir. Nasopharyngeal. Meningococcus usually lives in the nasopharyngeal. Then from there it goes to the brain. Yeah, that's what. That it goes from there it goes to the brain. Yeah. So capsule reservoir is the now, uh, uh, transmission nasopharyngeal, it's a carrier is usually in the nasopharyngeal, nasopharyngeal, it is in the nasopharyngeal. And then, uh, transmission usual to the droplet, droplet transmission, uh, droplet transmission, respiratory transmission. Compl yeah, this will be asked. In which of the following factor deficiency, nasaria is more common? You any idea? Do you remember? It's the membrane attack complex. It's called membrane attack complex, attack complex, also called as the MAC complex. MAC complex. What is that MAC complex? Which one is that? It is C5 to C9 deficiency. Here, nasiria meningitis will be common. Membrane attack complex. In this deficiency, your nasiria will be very high. Remember that. Meningococcus M, M for meningococcus, M for membrane attack complex. So remember, this question will be asked. Nasiria common, complementary, repeated question. You have to know. Complement. Nisha likes complement. Nisha likes complement. Remember, Nisha loves compliment from a boyfriend, Thayer Martin. Okay. Clinical symptom, that is what meningitis. Meningitis symptoms, I don't have to tell you. You know, the question itself in exam, it will come. Fever, headache, fever plus headache plus neck rigidity. Neck rigidity, you know, Kernix and Brudinsky sign is positive. That is the symptom typically they will ask. So you don't have to confuse or worry so much about it. Okay. Yeah. Now, next. So in that CSF will give and CSF picture me this this is available they will give you so you can find it out yes what is another expected question in the picture this picture you can get rash what is this rash? whenever uh, meningococcus becomes sepsis you get this rash typical what purpura fulminans purpura fulminans purpura fulminans purpura fulminans how beautiful no purpura fulminans oh, i'm sorry but why should you say that i'm sorry the child is having septicemia and so for the reading purpose it's fun but not really not fun it's very risky so this child is having all this purpura fulminans okay that's important complication you know one complication examiner's favorite what is that that is called waterhouse prediction syndrome oh, sorry yeah waterhouse Waterhouse Fredrickson, Waterhouse Fredrickson syndrome, right? Water syndrome. This is basically, you know, adrenal gland hemorrhage. Adrenal gland hemorrhage. That will end in shock. This can go adrenal gland hemorrhage, it ends in shock and patient can get severe consequences. Okay. Adrenal gland hemorrhage. So this was asked question. In gonococcus, it's water can perineum, but here it's waterhouse Fredrickson syndrome. Okay, that's it. 
So enriched media, again and again repeating enriched media. Enriched media is chocolate. I told Nisa's boyfriend is a chocolate guy. So chocolate agar. Okay. Selective media, that is a Tyre Martin. So it's chocolate boy, Tyre Martin, Tyre Martin. He is from New York. So Nisa, you never forget. Nisa's boyfriend is a chocolate boy. He is from New York. Modified New York media, they call. So these are the questions frequently asked. I'm going to put questions. Vaccine is available for everything except one thing. Uh, for type B, the vaccine is not so good. It means the polysaccharide, there is something that is not very uh, good. So uh, uh, vaccine is good for everything except this. Of course, capsular vaccine. No, it is a capsular subit vaccine. Uh, conjugate vaccine, sorry. Okay, now here. Oh, nasary gonorrhea. Nasary gonorrhea virulence factor for gonococcus. See, gonococcus usually patient get what urethritis, severe urethral discharge. So whenever you get urethral discharge, what you will say to the patient? Pani pilo, pani pilo. Question ajayga. You will get a question from this thing in in Hindi. They will say pilo, pani pilo, not alcohol. Pani pilo. Okay, pani pilo. When the pilo means people think alcohol, not alcohol. Pani pilo. So pani pilo me. What is the call? One is pili. Virulence factor for gon gonococcus causes urethral discharge. STD, sexually transmitted disease, may most common cause of urethral discharge. Pilo, I for Ig protease. Ig protease A. <coughs> L for lipo oligosaccharide. Lipo oligosaccharide. O for o some OMP protein, outer membrane proteins, okay, protein channels. Okay, this this can be asked, okay, IG, these are the common last question. So, male, may I told you, it causes STD, that is the most common cause of urethral discharge, urethral discharge, urethral discharge, because STD may either you have ulcer or you have discharge, only two things. So, discharge may most common causes this gonococcus, most common urethral discharge. What is this called? This picture will be given, this is called flow of grains. Exactly, patient will come with flow of grains. It's a white color, semen jesa, pus jesa, you know, things will discharge, foul smelling, very painful. That is flow of grains, you call. This is basically uh, gonococcus. Female may, it's a female vaginal discharge, you can have discharge. And of course, complication may, female may, usually it goes PID. It goes, it ends in the pelvic inflammatory disease, which leads to infertility. Infertility, okay. Ah, yes, now, next. Next is neonates. In neonates, in neonates, what in neonates? In neonates, see, see this kind of, this is usually because female vaginal, it's a baby when it's coming out, the condition called of tal me ya neo na to room. Whenever I say gonococcus, always remember gonococcus will always come with chlamydia. They are best buddies. Gonococcus car. After chlamydia, I mean the most common cause of discharge is gonococcus called by chlamydia. Okay, that's what. So gram stain, already we talked about it, gram stain. Gonococcus, it's a kidney bean shape. Now kidney bean shape. So I'm not going to talk it again. Interest gram shape. Culture, same. Enriched media, same. Who, what is, who is it? Chocolate boy. Chocolate boy. Chocolate uh, agar. Chocolate agar. Transport, I already, transport is needed for this. That's what, what happened? This girl, Nisha, she starts aiming, Emmys. Emmy Strouds, Emmy Media. This question will be asked because she aims, you know, who Nisha aims to marry her. Nisha aims to Emmy Media to marry who his New York boyfriend, Tyre Martin. Okay. Tyre Martin, New York. I'm not going to again. Okay, New York Media. This is the important question. They'll ask. Okay, that's it. Very, very simple. Moraxella catalyst. When you talk about the Moraxella catalyst, the only thing you have to remember, see, Moraxella M, no? You're writing M like this, right? M. Dono cerebral. So, this is causing, it's like an angle, no? So, you call it as angular conjunctivitis. Angular conjunctivitis. Also, repeated question. Only this is important. Nothing else. Just remember only that angular conjunctivitis it can cause. That's it. Okay. So, this is one thing you will be remembering. Okay. Yeah. Now, just, yeah. Yeah, now next one, Enterobacteria, another important topic, Enterobacteria, it will be uh, very easy only, basic, it's very not that difficult, okay, when you talk about any Enterobacteria family, this is not that, just, I'm going, okay, you never know these days, but definition may, they can ask, so all Enterobacteria gram-negative bacilli, excuse me, and they are facultative anaerobes, facultative anaerobes, you know, they can, they can shift between aerobe and anaerobe, and then usually they are always 
catalyst positive except this is a question all are catalyst positive except you are shigella shigella dysentria type 1 shigella dysentria type 1 okay this question can be asked and all are motile motile except except who except Sky, S K Y. You know, they are non model. What are the sky for? Sheila and T can't move. And K for Klebsiella. And Y for Yersinia. They are lazy people. They don't move. Okay. Shigella, Klebsiella, Yersinia. Sky will never move. Asman, sky will never move. Okay. Model. And then uh, nitrate, always reduced into nitrite. Sugar fermented. Glucose is fermented. That's one thing. And oxidase is always negative. Oxidase negative. So glucose is always fermented. That's it. These are the seven points they can ask you. Okay. So the, um, everything will be easy to remember. The main thing is oxidase negative, catalase positive, motility. This could be the question. Okay. Now this is a which this is a Meconkiaga. Meconkiaga. Uh, so this one in Meconkiaga, you will divide into lactose fermenter and non-lactose fermenter. Non lactose fermenter means it's pink color. Lactose cream, even if you forget also, lactose cream, ladies, this makeup cream, no, it's a pink color only, lactose cream, lactocalamine lotion. Non-lactose non, non fermenters will be yellow color, yellow or pale, you know, yellow or pale like this. This is the yellow, this is the lactose fermenter, this is NLF, NLF, okay. Now, so when you talk about this one, uh, pink, uh, pink color, whatever, uh, lactose fermenter, so you know, see, uh, lack, you know, L is there. Um, so, uh, like this, you remember, E. coli, E. coli, E. coli, E. coli, other one is Klebsiella, K, K, K. One more thing is this, Shigella, Sony. Sony is always beautiful pink girl, Sony. Shigella Sony is always a pink girl, but she's late. So we call it as LLL, late lactose fermenter. This question can be asked, remember, okay? This all are lactose fermenters. This question can be asked, except. Except men in lactose fermenters, the most common one, especially in enterobacterial family, two S will be there. Who? Shigella, Salmonella. Salman and Shigella, both of them doesn't have color in their life. No, and it is Shigella, it's a Katrina cave. I'll come there, don't worry. Salmonella, Shigella, no color in their life. And Proteus also, Prochita, no color in her life. Yersinia also. Yersinia. That means shortcut is spy. Spy doesn't have any color. Spy is yellow. Okay, no color. Okay, spy. Two S and spy. Okay. Shigella salmonella produce and all will come in the non-lactose. Lactose may cur club. You know, lactose, pink, or coli, E. coli, clubshella, shigella sonis. Shigella sonis, late lactose fermenter. You can have the question can come from there. Okay. Now, if they give any one of this picture and then they tell to identify uh, the biochemicals, very easy. You are going to select this. How are you going to say? Black color. When you say anything positive, two things. Proteus and Salmonella. Salman Khan, after makeup only, he is fair. Otherwise, he is also dark. Prochita is dark beauty. Salmonella. Salman G also, Salman Khan is also black only. He is black because makeup, he becomes bright. Okay. And this is Indole. Pink color is Indole. Indole ring. Any Indole ring. So, whenever you see Indole, it is E. Coli. E. Coli. Okay. O, O is there. So, remember, Indole. When you get a pink ring like this, indoor, that's E. coli. This is a citrate. Citrate means citrate fruits are green in color. Na? So remember like that. Anything green, that is citrate. So citrate will be the main classic example of citrate is club shiela. Club has full of citrate fruit. Eh? And in the club, club shiela, you see a lot of citric fruit. Citric fruit. I mean, okay. When it becomes blue color, it is positive. So these are few examples and not to stress too much, but just, you know, you don't miss all this. If the question come from here, no? you can't make mistake. Now, important topic, estrusia coli. First, before going to estrusia coli, what are the diseases? You know that it causes so much diseases. First in CNS, urinary, abdomen, GIT, and fish poisoning. You know that one, everyone knows. So it will be a quick, quick revision because you all revised very well. CNS me, it causes what neonatal meningitis. Just now we spoke spoke about the neonatal, most common cause of neonatal meningitis. Okay, it's the most common cause of everything. Most common cause of neonatal meningitis, E. coli. Urinary infection, me, because UTI, all type, overall, 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 more than male, female, uh, you know, the pregnancy, Hospital, everything, children, everything, overall UTI, infect, urinary tract infection is equally only. Abdomen may, it can cause 
peritonitis. One of the most common cause of peritonitis, both primary and secondary, it has an also abscess, bacterial abscess cause also E. coli only. GIT, GIT it causes diarrhea. We are going to talk about it in a while now. Diarrhea we are going to see. And in fish poisoning, in fish poisoning, excuse me, fish poisoning, And fish poisoning, scromboid fish. It's basically scromboid fish poisoning. It's the uh, one of the equally poisoning. It's the main, main important role. So everything is a question. Scromboid equally. Scromboid equally. See, one more. Uh, yeah, that will come. Margonella is another species also called scromboid. But now for, uh, for us, equally sufficient to know. Diarrhea, definite question. Please mark it. One question, surely from this part. E, P, C, C. So equally. E for P. This is entero. Pathogenic, enteropathogenic. Here, I, E, I, E, I is invasive E. coli. Entero invasive. T is enterotoxigenic. Entero hemorrhagic. A for entero aggregative. Entero aggregative E. coli. Now, 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 now. What are important questions? Which are the important questions? Uh, yes, I'm going to tell you now. Just now I'm going to tell. Okay. Pathogenic P for pedia. So pediatric means most common cause of diarrhea in children. Children. This causes children. E. coli, which is causing diarrhea in children, this is not, I'm not saying that. The bacteria E. coli, which is the most common EPEC, is causing pediatric children. So question. Invasive. Invasive means in invasive, it is very similar to shigalosis. You know that shigalosis. Shigalosis is very invasive. So here is this, uh, she, you know, Sheila and is invasive, you know. Sheila, she is very invasive. She is very, she invades the heart of the boys. Anna, Sheila means, I'm talking about Katrina Cave, you know, Katrina, Katrina Cave, okay, Katrina Cave. She invades the heart, you know, she invades the heart and she loves vanilla, vanilla flavor. She loves vanilla flavor. That's it. So what is that, sir? So I'm going to tell now. First of all, serenity test. Serenity test is one thing which is positive. It's assistant. She, she loves assistant to serenity test. Okay. And another one is why I say uh, um, she loves assistant serenity. Both are invasive. They invasive, they inv they invasive because they're invading the heart. Second one is it, the mechanism is VMA mechanism. Vanillyl mandelic acid. That's what I'm putting this VMA. Vanilla because vanillyl mandelic acid. Serene and Shigella, they are both are friends. Only serene. And Sheila, both are friends, and they cause what? They invade the heart of the people. That's it. Chigalosis. So this one question. Okay. Toxin T for T3 for travelers diarrhea. T for travelers. Travelers diarrhea. Okay, travelers diarrhea. You know this one also. Easy. Hemorrhagic may hemorrhagic means itself. The word hemorrhagic means itself. It is very the toxin should be shiga like toxin. Shiga like toxin. Here, the E. coli toxin enterohemorrhagic is very much like Shiga. That's what it causes what? Hemorrhagic colitis. First of all, it causes hemorrhagic colitis. And the other one is it causes pus. Actually, the strain you know is O1157. OH157H157. Malas species. Okay. Okay. E. coli. Okay. O O O seven. E157 wala uh, thing. You remember that one. Okay, if you don't follow us, no problem. Usually they ask you this uh, when hemorrhagic only they'll ask. So no problem. Okay. H157. Okay. So she like toxin. Other one is who's this is what? Hemolytic uremic syndrome. Hemolytic hemolytic. Uremic syndrome. So what what we have here? So, you know that there is uremium is renal problem is there, renal problem, thrombocytopenia, 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 and also you will have um, anemia. We also shortcut is RAT. They call this RAT also, you know, renal problem, uh, anemia, and thrombocytopenia, all these things. Okay. Aggregate, I mean, aggregate means you're aggregating something, you know, so you're aggregating something. So, because of that, what happened? You have a brick like stack, brick stacked appearance. Stacked brick or brick stacked appearance in GIT, you can have this brick steps. Aggregate means you're aggregating the stack. So that's it. Okay. So these are the few things. 
very simple easy all i give the clue pediatric toxigenic serine test vma shiga means ila shigala is like basic shiga like toxic means it's a dysentery you know it's very severe dysentery so that's what we have the step of picture that's it okay yeah now next cross criteria what's the cross criteria cross criteria is nothing this is just simply uh, when you when uh, when you say that significant that means whenever it, when you when you growing in a uh, colony when you growing in a colony bacteria if you're growing the count is more than 10 to the power 5 per ml of urine then it is called significant it's called significant if it is less than 10 to the power 4 ml per urine colony count i'm talking about the colony colony count then it is called non-significant non-significant bacteria if it's between 10 to 10 to 5 we have to clinical associate or repeat the sample otherwise non-significant bacteria which is the best uh, sample best sample for urine UTI is which one suprapubic suprapubic aspirate is the best one, but we don't do so what is the most commonly we are using midstream urine we are using midstream urine okay so early morning urine is for which patient early morning early stuff here one second We just got stuck with this. Yeah, okay, now it's fine. Yeah. Just a second, just some problem. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fine. Uh, so now, yeah. So midstream. So early urine. For which patient you'll ask the early urine for tuberculosis. Whenever you're suspecting a renal TB, for them you'll say early urine. Okay. So these are the common things. The best sample is suprapubic, and the most commonly used is midstream urine. You say patient told us a urine short the period. That's thing, sorry. Okay. So 10 to the power is significant, less than 10 to the power is non-significant. It's a cost credit for um, cost concept of urine, UTI infection. Okay. Now next one. Klebsiella. Klebsiella again very very important. See what is Klebsiella? See Klebsiella pneumonia. First one in Klebsiella, the first piece is Klebsiella pneumonia. What do you do in club? Klebsiella club. And a club is club. Club in club. What happened? You drink alcohol. When you drink alcohol, this patient, what they for side dish, what they ask, they'll ask the uh, red currant jelly. They cause red currant jelly. You know, red currant jelly they'll ask. And after, not only that, they'll also ask what fried items, something fried items. And then what happened? They will aspirate, gispirate, and finally end in what? Pneumonia. They will end in very bad pneumonia. That is necrotic pneumonia. Necrotic uh, necrotic pneumonia. Uh, necrotic pneumonia. And of course, they will what? Fall down. And they get bulges. They bulge, they bulge on their head. You know? They'll fall down and get bulge on their head. Okay. Okay. Sir, what is the story now behind this? Okay. Now I'm coming. The story is very easy and very simple. First of all, why I say pride? Because this is, this is otherwise called, this is otherwise called, uh, the disease ka otherwise name is called Pride Landers Pneumonia. Pride Landers Pneumonia. Pride Landers Bacilli. Pride Landers Bacilli. Okay. That's first question. Pride Landers Bacilli. That's what I put it. Most common in alcoholic patients. Alcoholic patients may be very, very common. Usually, what is the pneumonia? See here, do you get a necrotizing pneumonia in alcoholic patient? It causes the necrotizing in club. Alcoholic patient get necrotizing pneumonia. And radiologically, there is a sign called this called bulging fissure sign. That's what I'm writing this. Bulging fissure is one popular question. Bulging fissure sign. 
It's very common question asked. So for, for a long time, they didn't ask. If it comes again, now be careful. Okay, bulging fish sign. Then what happened? Sputum, why did they say they ask red currant jelly? Because you see, when you see rusty, rusty or red jelly sputum, red jelly, red currant jelly, any jelly sputum, it is catastrophic for Klebsiella alcoholic patient. Okay, that's it. Very, very simple. So you're not going to make a mistake in this. Very, very simple. So severe, it's a typical pneumonia. It's a typical, it's a typical pneumonia. Typical pneumonia, which is necrotized, that's what necrotizing pneumonia, because of that you have bulging fissure sign, alcoholic, and its other name is pride lander, it's fine. So usually sputum will be rusty sputum. That's fine. Now this picture will come in ENT question. ENT, next next disease. Clubsella renos sclerometis. You already have the name itself, gives you a lot of clue. Renos sclero. Scleroma means it's a, it's a hard, no, it's a scleroma. So it is called udinos. Udinos. Okay. This question was asked. Now here some bodies are important. R and uh, M. R for Russell bodies. Russell bodies. When you see biopsy, you will see Russell bodies. And the other one is Mikulic. Mikulic cells. You can see the Mikulic cells. Okay. Mikulic cells. Russell body and Mikulic cells. Okay. Mikulic cells. These are two important questions again asked. Okay. Udinos. Udinos. Okay. Renos pleuromatous. Oziani. Oziani. The O itself has a space, you know. So the nose will be like this. O C N A O O, you know, O O. So this is called a roomy nose. Roomy nose. You will have a foul smelling, very foul smelling crust. Foul smelling crust. Foul smelling crust. And also, this is seen in atrophic rhinitis. Atrophic rhinitis, cause of atrophic rhinitis. These all are important. Rumi nose, foul smelling crust, atrophic rhinitis. So in this much over there, where is a strawberry? Strawberry nose. Strawberry nose you see in rhinosporidiosis. That's mycology. Reno spore sporidiosis. So see, ENT is so much linked with, especially nose linked with microbiology. Okay. Okay. Now next. Next, this so is the third one, Klebsiella. The fourth Klebsiella is very, very important. That is your Klebsiella granulomatous. Klebsiella granulomatous. In Klebsiella granulomatous, yes, the interesting part in Klebsiella granulomatous, it is again one of the STD ulcer disease. STD ulcer disease. So, the disease name is Donovanosis. Mr. Donan. Donovanosis or granuloma inguinale. Granuloma in inguinale. Okay, this is the disease name. So granuloma, the name itself has granuloma, granuloma inguinale. Okay, right? Okay. Now, granuloma. So how to remember? Mr. Donan, Mr. Donan is a good boy. Donan is a very good boy. He loves his grandma. He loves his grandma. So what he does for grandma, he used to buy beef. He used to buy beef, safety pin. I don't know why it's strange. He usually give beef and safety pin to his grandma. Very good guy. I don't know. He's giving all these things. Okay. So why all these names came? And it was painless. It's a painless ulcer because I'll talk, I'll talk about painful and painless to me. So this picture comes if your genital region has this beefy ulcer. Beef means beef means donovanosis. Donan. Donna means granny, grandmother, granuloma. Okay, BP ulcer, granulomatous. Klebsiella granulomatous. Don't forget, BP means donovanous, donovanous, granuloma. Klebsiella granuloma. This is a safety pin appearance. Safety pin appearance. You can see safety pin appearance basically like here. These basically saw basically Klebsiella granulomatous. That's it. Okay, very simple and easy. Now, Proteus. Now, when you go to the Proteus, the main biochemical test of Proteus is UAS. If you remember urease ka punch, I always say give a punch. When someone says urease, give them a punch. Okay, killing punch. Give them a killer punch. In killer punch, K for Klebsiella, P for Proteus. Okay, ureoplasma, nocardia, cryptosporidia, H pylori. But here, urease is important. The main is urease. The disease and stone, very, very important. You know already. I'm sure you must be knowing it by this time. Ha. Huh. So what is the disease name? What is the disease? The disease usually causes a UTI. In UTI, the stone is because of phosphate stone. Triphosphate stone. So that's what the stones are looking like this. You know, look how it looks. It looks like a stag horn. That's called stag horn. 
staghorn calculus staghorn calculus you know with good prognosis so p4 produce p4 phosphate so that is because of alkaline urine alkaline you know urease urease come means it's definitely alkaline only you know same way in h pylori also alkaline environment alkaline urine so these things coming motility is very very important i always say what is the motility prochita swims so prochita sera uh, para vibrio para and clostrium tetani i'll give the shortcut later but motility is swarming motility that question definitely asks this picture what you're seeing this is the thing swarming motility this test is proteus ka ureus and ureus so swarming motility frequently asked question prochita swims prochita swarms okay so phenomena is basically the phenomenon here is called dyne's phenomena okay you understand dyne's phenomena see method is there method dyne's method is for mycoplasma my m for m m for mycoplasma that is different staining the staining that with methylene blue if you stain the culture media you get a purple uh, different thing you get you get you can see the colorful colonies that's a different story mycoplasma <coughs> excuse me but dyne's phenomena in dyne's phenomena what you do is that uh, 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 in dyne's phenomena uh, in dyne's phenomena what you do when the swarming is same when the swarming is same the colonies no, they will unite the the the, the both the swar if the swar if they are same species same swarming will combine if the same species they are same species and swarming will not mingle or they will not join if it is different species okay that's it that that's not noted you remember dyne's phenomena p for proteus m for mycoplasma method dyne's method dyne's method m for mycoplasma proteus ka phenomena p if swarming will merge if same species it will not merge it was different species that's it okay that's it then use in whale felix reaction we can use you know we are using that antigen 19 and 2 of proteus vulgaris and uh, ox and you know, we are using the ox and the ox k protein of proteus mirabilis Mirabilis. Okay. Ox 19 to a vulgaris and Mirabilis we are using. That's it. These are the few questions. Okay. Swarming is definite question. Expected question. I know you guys already know. Prochita swims. Huh? Prochita ureus. Prochita prostestone. Phenomena. All clue is there. P, 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 P. Okay. Very, very simple. Salmonella. Salmonella is very interesting. Definite question. Very fastly we can finish it. Salmonella etiology. You know, it is Salmonella type P. Number one. Or Salmonella para type P. A. B and C, but A and B most common. Okay. Transmission, you know, it is usually through thick oral, thick oral route, you know, thick oral route through water, contaminated water only. Infective dose Salman Jika, you know, 10 to 10 to the power 6 is bacilli per ml. Enters through which cell? M cell. Both for Shigella Salmonella, it is through M cell and you know? M, 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 M is very important. Ah, disease. Uh, this is, you know, the disease salmon causes typhoid fever. Typhoid fever is otherwise also called enteric fever. So don't confuse. I know you all, everyone knows, but if some students have, uh, uh, FMG students have doubt, please be sure. Enteric and typhoid fever, same, same fever only. Everything in this fever is important. First of all, what type of uh, pattern it is? The fever will be step ladder. Important step ladder pattern. The fever will be step ladder pattern, means like it's increasing the flat, increasing, increasing like that. Huh? Heart rate will be bradycardia. Usually, any infection you should have tachycardia, but this is the exception there will be bradycardia. The volume will be sort of wide, so it looks like a bradycardia. Phagot sign is basically fever plus brady, fever plus bradycardia. That is called phagot sign. So remember phagot Salman ji. Salman and why wrote uh, here Katrina K because. Sheila, 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 no? Sheila ka Javani is Katrina K only. So that is for Shigala. And Salmanji is for Salman Khan. Okay, Salmanji is for Salmanla type. Rashes, you have a rose spot. A rose spot. Of course, Salman likes the rose. He likes to give rose to every woman, especially Katrina K, right? Uh, Brady. GIT ulcer. The ulcer is usually longitudinal. Salmonella, we have L, no? L. So L for longitudinal. Because you know that there is a flask-shaped ulcer in your amoebiosis. Flask shaped transverse ulcer in TB, T for T. So here it is longitudinal ulcer. This is all pathology question. I'm just discussing. Diarrhea type we call what is his favorite soup? Salmanji's favorite soup is pea soup. Pea soup. Rice water is for vibrio, vibrio curvy, but darling. But here it is the pea soup. 
P sub diarrhea. P sub diarrhea. Okay, pre sub diarrhea. Okay, it's a P sub diarrhea. Okay, everything is important here. Every point I told is important. Salman's favorite soup is P soup, and he usually has an exceptional person. So he has bradycardia. He always goes on step ladder. No, step by step, he's becoming successful. Uh, and uh, that's it. These are the common things. Now, diagnosis. Diagnosis is very important. C C C. Uh, Salman uh, Salman Salman has another name called what? Basu. People call him Basu. Basu. Okay. Basu, Basu, they call. Okay. Okay. So now, what is this Basu, Basu? So, first week, end of the first week, the blood uh, here, the best is blood culture, blood or bone marrow culture. Bone marrow culture. Okay. First week, end of first week. Second week, may it's the antibody testing. That means when you talk about A for A, A for antibody. So, the antibody is basically a Vidal test. A Vidal test. It's a Vidal test. Okay. When you say yes and urine, this third and fourth week, both will go. Both stool and urine culture are right. Stool and culture are right. Okay. Basu, culture right. Serological test, you know that is the Vidal or Typhi dot. When you talk about serological, it's Vidal or Typhi dot. All for typhoid fever only. Okay. Vidal test, little bit about Vidal test. In Vidal test, see, this will be Vidal cart test, Vidal tube test. We have so many things. There basically it's a, it's a tube agglutination. Okay. It's, we, we have slide agglutination. Both are right. But usually Vidal comes under tube agglutination test. We do it in the tube only. This is the right test. So O1 H antigen. O1 antigen usually O, see, the O is, O antigen is common for all. Type E, paragraph, everything is common. H is different. Okay, so and here you know here the tube which we are uh, using is shortcut is O F P. The, the tube name is O for Felix tube, Felix flat tube, Felix flat tube we call. Usually boom, uh, you'll see this uh, um, cottony appearance and all. Okay, H is fluffy, and fluffy appearance. Here it is very chalky appearance. It will be like a chalk appearance. Here it will be fluffy. Here the shortcut is D C H. Here the, the tube's name is Dryers, Dryers. Conical tube, dryers, conical, dryers, conical tube. So that's important. I'm not going to talk too much, but please remember common O is common for all, and uh, H and is different. So interpretation, you see, if there is only T O antibody means then it is just typhoid fever is present. We don't know the cost of agent, but typhoid fever is just present, acute. You know, if it's O is positive, O antibody, T O antibody is positive, acute is positive, but T O with the TO, if you have THAB, then you can say it's a typhoid fever due to <coughs> salmonella typhi. If AH is the salmonella typhi due to salmonella paratyphi A. Again, if it is B, then it's again salmonella paratyphi B, salmonella. And if only all H is there, no, it means it is a, it is a past infection, a vaccine. Either it's vaccinated or past infection. O is not there, only H is there is past infection. Okay. This interpretation, maybe they can ask. Okay? But the idea is that O is common for everything, acute may goes high. H is just to say species antibody. Okay, that's it. Interpretation. Now, culture media is very, very important. Now, Avita, whatever I've told, it might come or not, but this is 100 percent expected. Both were salmon shield. That's why they're always together because they are close. That's what everything is same. Enrichment media for enrichment, you know, to uh, enrichment themselves, they they drink broth. What broth? Tetro, thionate, and selenite broth. So if you also want to become very strong and sexy like Salmanji and Sheila, Katrina Kev, drink the broth for enrichment. Okay, selenite broth. Question. Transport, they usually, you know, they get transported in sack, you know, I don't know, because of celebrities, I don't know. They are transporting in this sack, that is sack, sacks, buffered glycerol. They usually get buffered while transferring from one place to another to prevent the fans. They go, they get buffered, you know, sacks, buffered glycerol for transport. Selective media, you have a lot of good medias, DCA, deoxycholate agar. And XLD, xyloslicin deoxycholate agar, also yes, a salmonella shigala agar. One more selective also is there, which is differentiating salmonella, which is positive only for salmonella. That is your question, Wilson Blair. This black guy, he is bodyguard, Wilson, this guy is, this guy is black guys. I mean to say black colony, okay? Black means it's a black colony, Blair. All the colonies are black, this only, okay? Wilson Blair is only for salmon. 
not for shigala not for sheila sheila and we don't use but this is also selective media only this is also selective media only will send but these three are common dca xlt ss are common deoxycholate tetagar xyloslicin ss but not this that's beautiful no very nice yeah now treatment of the vaccine treatment of the patient how to treat this patient so, a uh, typhoid patient, what, what is best treatment is ceftriaxone. But of course, uh, these days they're giving uh, cefixim. Cefixim is also included. Acitro is also working. Chloramphenicol is also. Chloramphenicol. All these drugs can be given in the case of uh, salmonella typhoid. The sensitivity is good. Treatment of carrier, you know when you talk about the carrier, salmon, salmon G usually lives in there, the gallbladder, remember, huh? gallbladder. So usually salmon G's favorite place is gallbladder, okay? He likes to sleep inside the gallbladder. So if you want to kill the salmon, ka, you have to give what? Ampicillin or amoxicillin. Ampicillin, amoxicillin will kill the carriers. Two vaccination, one is for vaccination of typhoid, one is type uh, 2, 2A. Two and also type 21A. Type 2A, this is basically injection form. This is for children about two years. This is for children about two years. Okay. Uh, for 21A, this is a oral. This is a type oral. This is for adult. means above <coughs> six-year children. Because this is a capsule form. It's a capsule form. So small kids, they can't have now. So we give capsule form 21A, more than six year children. This is an injectable form. One dose is enough. Just give one dose only. One dose. Ah, one dose. One dose is enough. Okay. Here. 21A, type oral, more than six year. Okay, that's it. Uh, now, what about the Shigala? Now the Shigala. Uh, Shigala. See, first of all, Shigala organisms, you should know. What are the Shigalas we have? Shigala dysentery. We have Shigala flexionary and Shigala sony. These are the most important ones are these three only because questions will come from these three only. Okay, direct questions can come. So what are the things you should know about this one? If you want to know about this one, Shigala dysentery is the most dangerous one. Side effects are very high, and it is the only one where catalase is negative. Catalase negative, first one. Okay. Flexinary, most common in India because Indians are flexible. Because Indians are flexible Indians. We are flexible Indians, you know? Flexible Indians. So, flexinary. Sony, already we told that this is most common worldwide because Sony is popular girl and she's the only one what? Late lactose fermenter. So, she is, first of all, she's. Pink Beauty, Sony's Pink Beauty, world famous. She must be Punjabi. Sony, na? so Punjabi. Could you Sony? Na? So, world, she's world uh, popular. So, worldwide, most common. Worldwide, most common one in uh, worldwide. Okay. Most common. That's it. This is all the few words. Most common world. Sony is always more. And she's a lactose fermenter. Late lactose. Low, slow, but she's late lactose fermenter. These are the common features you should know. D for dysentery, D for dangerous. That's one more few words. Okay. Right. Now the infective dose. Infective dose for Shigala is very uh, dangerous because you need only how much? 10 to 100 bacillus enough. For Salman, it was 10 power 3 to 10 power 6. But here for Shigala, she's very attractive. No? Sheila and the catenagram is very attractive. So 10 to 100 bacillus enough can be as infective dose. Pathogenesis, they usually enter through M cells, you know, the M cells, same for Salman. They are Salman and Kachanikov, they always enter together, same only, you know, so M cells. Cell invasion, uh, and then disease, uh, disease, you know, they cause what? You know, bacillary dysentery. Not amoebic dysentery, but center bacillary. When you talk about bacillary dysentery, the most common cause of bacillary dysentery is Sigala only, bloody diarrhea, and no? bloody diarrhea, bacillary dysentery. And complication, you know, same complication. It causes hemorrhagic colitis, also hemorrhagic colitis, and also pus, cumulative uremic syndrome, it can cause. Okay. Culture, same as salmonella. Same as salmonella, except 
except what wilson blair except wilson blair because wilson is bodyguard only for salma not for sheila wilson except wilson blair video okay these are the questions very very simple and easy okay now vibrio 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 what is there in vibrio vibrio is very beautiful you know that there's a classical alto type vibrio oh my this is covering the thing so this is this beautiful picture you can see her so what is here is that ah, once again uh so sir what you have written this is this girl vibrio means i call the girl name viba viba okay she her name is viba so before going to we were talking about viba uh this is thin slim beauty very you know star everything is fine first let's talk about his boyfriend this is his boyfriend name what eltor mr eltor mr eltor okay so the classic and eltor viba prefers eltor only okay classic is kuch nahi classic me just you know only thing positive is page page uh, the page sensitive and also uh, polymixin sensitive polymixin sensitive that's it there is nothing special here eltor is important thing see what what he's eating first of all he's eating a what chicken chicken and then he's eating also what sheep mutton also he's eating what see a veg paratha he can see, you can see that he's eating a veg paratha veg paratha also and also he loves camping he pura where he is he eats in the camp so chicken why did it is it because chicken rbc agglutination positive okay chicken sheep 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 blood agar hemolysis you can see hemolysis okay sheep ka blood agar yeah. veg veg paratha that is vox bushner reaction i call veg paratha but this is the original name is vox bushner reaction okay fine and camp this is also positive only for adult type got it fine serotypes serotypes you know that is ogawa inoba Hikojima. Okawa, Inapa, Hikojima. 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 Okay, Hikojima. That's fine. Next. These are all very, very important now. Diarrhea name. You know that? Rice water. Rice water diarrhea. Pea soup. Who drinks the pea soup? Salmanji. Rice water diarrhea is, is for Viba. Viba is rice water. Risk factor is basically, as I told you, A-chlorhydria. A-chlorhydria means whenever there is uh, people who are using proton pump inhibitor, antacid, antacid, when there is a decreased acid production in stomach. Stomach. Huh? That means more alkaline environment only, right? right. Modern rich, you know, fico oral root, fico oral root, fico oral root, uh, oral, you know, water, whatever. Vibrio toxin mechanism, very, very important. So this question will be asked and the expected question. So, Gangliocyte receptor, GM1 receptor, right? Gangliocyte receptor, this is gangliocyte receptor. So when it enters the GM1 receptor, we already spoke about that cyclic A, cyclic A, M, P, cyclic A, M, P, C for cholera, A for anthrax, we talk about it soon, anthrax. M is this B E coli and P for pertussis and C for cholera. So cyclic AMP mechanism has come. Okay, this question will be asked also. Don't forget. Okay, A A C or cyclic AMP mechanism and then of course causes the watery diarrhea. Infective dose, as we told, it should have very high. Ten to power six bacilli is needed. Okay, not that easily infected. More than probably. The lowest is for only 10, 100, 10 to 100 we need for Shigala. Here it is more than 10 to 5 basically. You know. Yeah. Uh, so, similar to Korea, there is one poisoning, if you remember, arsenic poisoning. Mr. Arsen. Arsen in, in, in Tamil Nadu, Arsen means the king. The king has heart for Viba. King and part for Viba, Darling Viba. Okay, for Darling Viba. So now, yeah, we are going to come there for the Darling Viba. So this is all our question told. Now, transport media. First of all, ha, first of all, let's start. See, this is this girl is Darling Viba. I call her as a Darling Viba. She's really such a darling. She's a star. You know, she's a star. She's how beautiful. She's like a star. She always she's carrying a carry bag. She has a carry bag. She has a lot of things, you know, she has carry bag, carrying a lot of things. We'll talk about what she's carrying. And her, she works uh, carry bag. Her driver is Venkat, her driver name is Venkat Raman, VR. And then she works in TCBS company. She works in TCS company. She works in TCS company, TCS company. 
okay and then she slims look at her how like a comma you know she looks like a comma shape comma shape you know girls will be jealous of her usually eh? okay now transport look at the transport media when you to transport media what are the transport media we need so first of all she's carrying a carry player i told so carry player and how she's transporting she's going with the venkatraman and ramakrishnan media venkatraman is the driver and venkatraman and vr i'm going to read you okay if you don't venkat raman ramakrishnan media venkatraman ramakrishnan media i'm going to venkatraman okay we are and instead carry back what do you think she's carrying she's carrying what autoclave sea water autoclave salt water sea water that's her beauty secret you know autoclave sea water she's carrying in a carry bag question enrichment but for enrichment she drinks something what she drinks she drinks alkaline peptone water because i told this is uh, bypasses the stomach no? that means stomach should be alkaline so alkaline peptone water okay that is question 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 alkaline peptone water she drinks for enrichment selective media i told she is working in tcs company so that is tcbs tcbs and bile salt agar also bile salt agar but tcbs is better okay thiosulfate citrate bile salt agar it, you should, this is tcbs and this is bsa bile salt agar bile salt agar black color colony tcbs for this okay tcbs is thiosulfate citrate bile salt so this question also will be as expected question 100 this is guaranteed 100 percentage questions from this topic i would definitely say must must you can't leave this topic you can take click the picture of this also later if you want huh? gram stain grams and i told comma shape sometimes you know what this she, she's like a fish you know they say fish in stream fish in stream you know fish in stream she's like that so patla she's like is running in a stream water you know she fish in stream comma is the thing motility oh, that's what i'm telling again repeating i told darling because she is darting motility even the campylopeter jejuni also i'll come there now darting motility and other one name is called shooting star shooting star because you can't trace the pathway it goes very far that you can't trace the pathway motility biochemical test one test very classically positive is what string test because we at the end what happened her, st her story ends what she suicide herself with putting a string bus okay river dies by putting a string so this is string test okay this is a bsa bsa black color you see black colony tcps may yellow color colony you remember only the names that's it you can take a picture of this and very very easy you never make a mistake okay okay then what about this sir that is fine sir what is this sir we never know that vibrio has other thing yeah vibrio has a salt loving vibrio also which is that means you need a high amount of salt so what are the disease and the sources uh, for parahemolyticos, the disease, uh, the, 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 uh, I always say, uh, paru, you know, paru. This is vibas paru, okay? This is vibrio v paru, v paru, prochita, ansara. They have tea party, tea party in swimming pool, tea party in swimming pool, swimming pool, okay? So, when I say this, that means... Ah, so that means what I'm saying here, this is Vibrio paramolyte. So when you talk about swarming motility, one is this Vibrio parahemolyticus, other one is Prochita proteus, Serra because Serratia, also Clostridium tetani. Clostridium tetani. These all are having swarming motility common. It comes there. Okay, that's what. Okay. Now the disease. The disease. Uh, parahemolyticus, uh, once again, because the thing is for swarming motility, yes, okay. Now, here, uh, again, these all are the infections. Usually, what happened, it, it, it usually causes the food poisoning due to seafood. That's it. There is one phenomena called another friend, Paru has we Paru has another friend called Kanaga. Kanagawa phenomena. Kanagawa phenomena. What is that Kanagawa phenomena? Kanagawa phenomena is very nothing. Not that something you guys are worried or don't think too much. It is simply the uh, there is a Wagatsumo blood agar. That means with increased salt content, increased salt. So there you can see hemolysis. That's it. Hemolysis of the parahemolytics. That's the Wagatsumo. That means I want to say. 
Paru not only goes swimming pool, Paru with Kanaga, she goes to where? She goes to some beach. Goa me Vaga beach she goes. Okay, Vaga beach. Vaga beach. You know, Vaga beach. Paru goes to Vaga beach. That's it. Paru goes to Vaga beach. So that is Kanagawa. With Kanaga, she goes to Vaga beach. That's it. Vagotsumo. Paru with Kanaga. Okay, Kanaga phenomena Vagotsumo. Wool pickers also seafood. But the worst thing wool pickers is that it's very, it can go sepsis, can cause severe sepsis. That's why wool pickers is very dangerous. Sepsis. But Alginolyticus is the one that goes in highest salt, highest amount of salt. It can grow even in the highest salt amount. That's it. Okay. Right. Now, Ersenia. Ersenia. Ersenia entrocolitica. Talk about Ersenia entrocolitica. The name is the Tika. It's usually because of kebab Tikas. Tikka and kebab you eat. You eat when you eat tikka and kebab, what you get? Pseudo appendicitis. Pseudo appendicitis. Pseudo appendicitis. Okay. That's it. Very simple. When you eat tikka, you get pseudo appendicitis. This much you remember. That's it. Okay. Now you have seen your pest. Yes, the disease caused is plague. Okay. Who is this? I'll come here. This guy's name is Vaisen. Vaisen. What is having? He's having a Ghee stall. Ghee stall. This you remember first. Okay. Yes. This was rich, filthy rich. Even he has big heifer race and all. Unfortunately, everything was destroyed by this rat flea. Rat flea destroyed his business and he became poor. Okay. Remember like that. So what is the story, sir? So first of all, reservoir. Uh, is rat. Rat and rat flea both destroyed his business. And it was transmitted by rat flea. The rat flea name is the Xenopsella chiopsis. Chiopsis, that's a rat flea. Xenophila uh, chiopsis. So when this chiopsis index is more than one, means it is already outbreak. There is an outbreak. Okay. That's the idea. Chiopsis means this thing. So he's a very cheap old guy. He's a very cheap old guy. You know, he's, though he's rich, he's very cheap. Vaisen is cheap. Who's having ghee got the rat and rat flea cause plague and he was out of business. Now, the disease. Three types of uh, plague. First one is the uh, cutaneous plague. Second one is septicemic plague and pulmonary plague. Pulmonary plague is not that important. Cutaneous plague, only this one. You cutaneous plague, you will get usually lymph node swelling. You get lymph node swelling and it can go to gangrene also. In septicemic only, you will have broad necrosis. Severe necrosis and all can happen. Necrosis. So this is the one which is called as black death. Plague means black death. You know, plague means everything goes black. So that's called black death question. Pulmonary, not that important. It just happens. Stain, that's what I'm doing. So when you talk about the plague, the stain is very, very, very important. What is the stain name? Vaisen stain. And what you see here, here also safety pin. That's why it's a cheapo. Because he's such a rich guy, but for wife, he buys simply the safety pin he buys for his wife. That's it. Okay, that's what I said. It. Okay. Now, broth, this is the question. So, why is a ghee ghee you wife? Because the broth we use, he uses ghee broth. In ghee broth, you will see this growth called starch, like inverted fir tree. You see in the basis anthrax here, you will see stalachite growth. Stalachite growth. That's it. Have fun. That's what I told. He's so rich, he even could sponsor have fun race, have fun antigen. Okay. Treatment. Treatment is very simple. So, um, uh, this guy, see, Steve, I told him it's a uh, stalach ghee broth stalachite growth na stalachite growth so as for the treatment is streptomycin plus gentamicin strepto and genta very very simple streptomycin gentamicin finished that's all okay that's what I'm saying it's very uh, easy pseudomonas originosa all is again very very super easy topic everyone knows that see I told whenever super you remember ekta kapoor 
ekta kapur because this a disease comes after ekta kapur ekthema gangrenosum ekthema gangrenosum so everything with pseudomonas colorful you have to think about ekta kapur only that's the easy way you going to remember okay so first of all two important thing two main biochemical test main biochemical test for ekta kapur is oxidase this purple color, anything colorful pseudomonas. Okay. Anything colorful pseudomonas. Pseudomonas means itself. Remember colorful. Colorful smell, good smell, everything. Colorful smelling, good smelling, everything comes in pseudomonas only. Two valence factor. What are the two valence factor? One is the pseudomonas toxin. Same mechanism like diphtheria. Inhibits the, I told you, in a decreased protein, EF2 factor. Huh? Other one is your capsule. That's a slime layer. If you remember, Ekta Kapoor is slim beauty. So, slime layer. We call it a slime layer. Okay, slim beauty. And Ekta Kapoor slim beauty. Question, question, question. Eye diseases, diseases, you know very well. I make contact lens, contact lens, contact lens infection, especially keratitis. Contact lens, keratitis, may bacteria, may pseudomonas. But if we talk about the um, parasite, may you're talking about acanthamoeba, right? Contact lens. Here, may you know very common malignant. Otitis externa. This disease was, this question was asked, I don't know how many, 100 times I think they must have asked. Okay. This question, you know, and it's very, very common in the diabetic mellitus patient, history of diabetes mellitus, DM patients with malignant. This picture will come. This externally, you see the, all these things coming. So this picture will come and they'll ask you, diabetic patient, why didn't they? That's malignant otitis externa. Common, pseudomonas, very, very common in that uh, patients. Okay. Lung, you should know that there's one predisposing factor very, very common, and that is your, uh, which one? Cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis, okay, common. And in burns, also very common, most common cause of burn infection also. Skin may it causes that is the condition at all. Ectima gangrenosum. So this condition is called what you see here. Ectima gangrenosum. So they give any clue of this disease picture and they say anything related thing, no, or pigmented, whatever the question comes. You remember about pseudomonas. Ectima gangrenosum. So nail may they call blue nail, blue nail, green pus, all these words, you know, blue nail, green pus. This type of word comes anything colorful is pseudomonas. Ekta kapur. Fever, you know, Shanghai because Shanghai fever because our Ekta kapur's favorite place is Shanghai only. She goes to Shanghai. She loves Shanghai. Her shootings all happens in Shanghai. Okay. Ekta kapur, Ekta kapur. Again and again, Ekta kapur. Swimming pool may. She gets what? Swimmers here. She gets swimmers. Not only malignant external, she also gets swimmers here. That's what I'm saying. She loves. Ekta kapur loves swimming. Right, swimmers here. Now, Shanghai fever. Shanghai fever is somewhat similar to your uh, typhoid fever only. Okay, yeah. Now, culture. I told you it produces color. What type of color? This you see here. You see this is the sort of uh, the color you see. It could be any color. So the pigment is because of pyo, pyo. What are the colors here? Pyo, cyanin, pyo, verdin. Pyo melanin, rubin, many things. Pyo cyanin, the if it is you know green blue, if it is green blue color, or if it is green yellow color, green yellow, melanin means brown color, anything, you know, these things colorful. So these any colorful colors like this. Smell, remember Ekta Kapoor's favorite uh, perfume is fruity, fruity order. Okay, fruity order, earthy order, earthy or fruity order. This also will come. Fruity order smelling colonies first seen comes means Ekta Kapoor. Very, very simple. And look at the shine in, in the nutrient, uh, in the nutrient agar, you will notice a metallic sheen. This was the shining skin, no? The always with over makeup, that metallic sheen also will come to Ekta Kapoor Pseudomonas Arginosa. Okay. Selective media, you know that Ekta Kapoor is, a, she's the queen of cereals. So, she's always ready at the set, a uh, movie set. So, Cetrimide other, cetrimide other, cetrimide other. Okay. So to increase the pigment, who comes here to help? Even the kings, even the kings will come to help Ekta Kapoor to increase the beauty. Kings media. Kings media. So 
sir, what what you are saying, sir. I understand what you guys think, sir. What are you think? These all are important. Nothing is out of topic. Okay, so it's all can come. Anything can come. If you you see, you know, there's no need to put your brain. It's all I'm giving you flow of Ekta Kapoor. So what's the problem? Easily remember. And I told this comes the non-lactose fermenters. Okay, because not natural beauty, you know. So you have to put makeup, then only Ekta Kapoor becomes beauty. So she's not lactose fermenter, like Sony. Sony is a late lactose fermenter beauty, but not Ekta Kapoor. Ekta Kapoor is still non-lactose fermenter. Did you one thing for sure, whatever she is taking shower or not showering Ikta Kapoor, she is always taza. She is always pressed. That means for treatment, what are you going to give? Septazidim. Septazidim. Bas. Very good. Okay. Very simple. Pseudomonas. That's it. See? That's it. Now, Burgolderia, few, few diseases are in Burgolderia. You should know the Pseudomonas. Why? Wait more. See, you always know Malay. You know, Malay is a cream. Uh, okay. For South Indian people who don't know what is Malay means, so whenever you talk Malay, you know, Malay means uh, Malay, Malay, it means cream. So if in the Malay is white color, then that means false. It's a fake one. The real Malay will be yellow in color. So fake. So when you eat the fake Malay, fake Malay, if you eat, what you happen? Your stomach will go like a bomb, Vietnam bomb. You know, it, it, it bursts like a bomb. Anna, it makes melody sound, melody sound, it makes melody sound. When you eat the fake white, fake white, fake malai, you, your stomach, stomach will get what? Your stomach will become a Vietnam time bomb. It make a melody sound. And when you go to the morning bathroom, it will be ash. You will see ash in the bathroom. Okay. Oh my God, sir, what is this? Okay. Now I'm coming to the point. So the disease is, why I say when you eat fake malay, white malay, pseudo malay, you get when you eat a fake malay, you get so that means the disease name here is called as what's the disease? Name? Melidosis. Melidosis is caused by fake malay, not the true malay, not the Burdori malay. Many people, students made mistake in repeated exam. Remember, your stomach makes melody sound only when you eat a fake malay, pseudo malay, fake malay, pseudo malay. When you eat a true malay, you will not get, you will not get melody. Your stomach makes melody. That melody is like a Vietnam time bomb, you know, Vietnam, Vietnam time bomb. Question, see the, see the question, which of the following bacteria is called Vietnam time bomb? And this is also used for terrorism. Can you imagine you give a fake Malay, they are putting it into a bioterrorism, that much dangerous. So be careful when you're buying any Malay from the shops, okay, bioterrorism. Morphology of pseudo Malay is again, it is any burgold area. Whenever you're wearing burqa, you need what safety pin to put the burqa. You know, you ask the girls, Muslim girls who are wearing burqa, they always need safety pin to put the burqa fine. So safety pin appears also. Don't forget, okay? Not only Dona gives uh, safety pin, not only Mr. Vason in plague, yes, in a pestis gives safety pin. Even this one, even your burgold area also gives safety pin. Culture. Culture, I already told. Why I told? In the morning when you go to bathroom, it will be ashes. So, ash down media. Ash down media. So, when you eat a fake Malay, your ash will burn and it go like a ashes. So, ash down media. Ash down media. Very, very simple. This much only. What about Malay? True Malay. When you eat a true Malay, not that much problem. The problem will happen only for the horse animals. So, horse get what? When you eat a true Malay, they get glanders. Or Farsi. Glanders are Farsi. So what is this? This is basically lymph node, lymph node infection. That's lymph node infection. These things, these things happen. They less are, but they can give you glanders and Farsi cause by like glanders. Farsi is by Malay, true Malay. Okay, so very very simple. Now the spirochetes. Wow, spirochetes is another beautiful topic. You know very well. Spirochetes. This is the shape of spirochetes. You know the shape is like this. Like this, no? Uh, so they have a flagella inside. They have the flagella endo. Endoflagella, endoflagella. They have endoflagella, means flagella is inside, no? inside this, it's inside the bacilli, you know? it's inside, okay, inside. Okay, motility, when our spirochetes, the motility is called corkscrew. For all spirochetes, especially for tryponema, we can say corkscrew motility, but when you talk for borrelia, for borrelia, for borrelia, uh, it is lashing, L for lia, lashing. Because the coils are big, no? So, we call this lashing motility. Lashing motility. Okay, lashing motility. Corkscrew overall for everything you can say corkscrew. But especially we say for triponema. Okay. 
<laughs> doesn't matter. Corkscrew is right for everything. Okay, screw pyrochets. Okay, because the shape itself is looking like a screw only. So what are the bacteria? These are three bacteria: Treponema, Borrelia, uh, Borrelia, and Leptospira. The biggest one, B for B, B for the biggest Borrelia, biggest one. Next is Treponema. The last, the small one is Leptomy, small. Leptomy, small. So small is Leptospira. Okay. Now the individual bacteria. Treponema. Treponema pallidum is well. Whenever you talk, somebody talks about triponema, one thing you must be knowing surely is the triponema pallidum that causes syphilis. Syphilis. This we will talk in detail now. Before that, keratium. Keratium, carrot. Carrot. Who likes carrot? Pintu. Pinta. Pintu likes carrot. Pinta. The disease pinta is caused by keratium. Question. Why? If it's a one liner, this is the examiner's favorite question. Endemic. Endemicum causes endemicum. The name itself has endemic syphilis. Na endemic syphilis. Endemic syphilis in endemic area there is no bigili. Bigili is not a bigils disease. Bigil when you call bigils, bigils disease. The bigils disease then that is endemic. Remember bigili. Bigili is not there. Bigili is not an endemic region. There is no bigili in India. Remember like that. Okay. Pertune. Pertune means you see pertune. Pertune is remember piranha. You remember piranha fish, right? Piranha fish. Uh, this is the piranha fish, right? Piranha fish. Pertune piranha. Piranha fish has big jaws. You see the jaw, big jaw. So big jaw, I'm going to make ya yas. The disease yas is caused by pertune X. If this was a five years before MCA exam, this are the questions you can expect. It will be just like platter served with delicious, I don't know, all the foods, you know, they just take to please eat this mutton, chicken, or, you know, paneer or whatever, you know, like that easy questions. So, but now you don't have that platter type. So, you have to know everything. Okay. Now, next. Triponema pallidum. Triponema pallidum. The disease, you know, syphilis. 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 Okay. Incubation period. I will go 9 to 90 days. 9 to 90 days. Okay. Longer time. Stages of syphilis. You know, we have a primary syphilis. This is primary. And this is secondary syphilis. Primary syphilis. Secondary syphilis. So, primary syphilis. What is there is a primary syphilis. Primary syphilis. So, primary syphilis. This is the disease. What do you call it as? This, if you remember, you call it as what called? Hard chancre. Hard chancre. Chancre. Okay. Hard chancre. But no pain because CP less, less means less pain, no pain, no pain. Okay. Hard chancre, no indurated margin, hard pain, but no hard like this. Hard chancre or ulcer, but no pain. That's the primary chancre. It comes and it goes away. And if you don't take treatment, it will go to secondary. Secondary syphilis may rashes on the palms, palms and solca, macular rash, macular rash. This picture will come. You expect this picture. This picture or this picture? Both will come. Expect it. Okay. This is the palms and soles. Palms and soles. Otherwise, the other lesion, what you see here, this is called condyloma lata, not occuminata, because occuminata is caused by which one? HPV. We are talking about lata. So, condyloma lata is seen. Okay. Cauliflower appearance. Occuminata is different, but I'm not going to write it here. That is in the virology we will discuss. Yeah, almost same. That's HPV. So, tertiary syphilis. We will talk about the tertiary syphilis in skin. This this is the examiner's favorite question. Definitely, he will ask a lot of questions from this. So, see this picture here. This is thing that is called gumma. Gumma. In, in skin, it causes gumma. CNS ka name of the people, syphilis people. You know, two names we have. One is the Argyll Robertson. Argyll Robertson pupil. Otherwise, also called prostitute. Syphilis means prostitute. No, so prostitute people. Either question will come. Definitely expected question. 100% guaranteed question. Okay, 100% guaranteed question. Argyll Robertson pupil, you already know that that A for ARP, that means accommodation reflex present. Ah, accommodation reflex present. But no light reflex. That's what it is called prostitute. Prostitute don't have light, but they can accommodate. Very simple, easy question. Right? Easily, it's right. This is expected. There is no doubt this question will not come. You have to expect and be ready. Okay, what about the spinal cord? In spinal cord, you will have what this kind is called tabis dorsalis. Tabis dorsalis. Okay, sensory part will go out. A lot of problem. And CVS may, CVS may anything it can happen. In CVS may not much. You can, you will have uh, aortic aneurysm or iotitis, etc, etc. Okay, that's more medicine related, but these are the problems. But these things you should remember. Gumma, Argyll Robertson pupil, Tabis dorsal, these are important. Congenital syphilis. Picture, again, picture will come. 
what you have to know. This one, this is called uh, uh, snuffles. Snuffles is basically rhinitis. You see this rhinitis, and that is this rhinitis. So this picture comes directly from congenital syphilis. Congenital means it's for children, you know, congenital is for children. Children, in the children. And then the children can have what? What is the tooth name? Hutchinson. Expected, expected, expected. Hutchinson's tooth. What happens here? Notched incisor. We see the notched incisor tooth is notched. Question, question. This one, what is this called? This is this nose is saddle nose. This is saber tibia or shin. Saber tibia or uh, whatever the saber shin, saber tibia doesn't matter. Whatever it looks like a saber. You know, the bone has become flattened like a saber, like a sword. I know that's what the expected question. Definitely, you can get one question for saddle nose, saber tibia. This all are congenital syphilis. Very, very easy. You know that. Now, next one. Culture media. Do we have any culture media? No. Yes, we have for uh, this Noguchi strain. That is not that important. We we use some special media for that, but that's important. Usually, there is no. You can say no. Okay. Dark field microscopy, definitely, yes. You can see the spirogates in dark field. Like this curved things come with the history. If they give a patient is having ulcer, genital ulcer, the patient is having genital ulcer, and from ulcer, uh, dark field microscopy, we made this picture comes directly close to your eyes and must trip on pallidum. That is syphilis. Okay. Direct question. Silver impregnation test also we can do. That is usually. The name is uh, Fontana and Levadity. Levadity stain. If someone is a uh, little bit, you know, want to make you guys crazy, then they can cause Fontana Leva. Otherwise, remember Fontana, Montana, all are prostitutes. Montana and, uh, and Leva, 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 Didi, Leva, Didi, Didi, and uh, Didi. So this Didi, Fontana, they all have syphilis. Remember like that, okay? Montana, they, they are prostitutes who are having syphilis, like that. You know, see, this is just for I'm not against anyone. Okay? I'm just only to saying this to make you guys learn faster. Okay, that's it. No, no, no. What is this topic? Non triponemal or non specific test? The standard test for syphilis or screening test. You can say triponema would be first one is non triponemal test and tripo triponema, they are not specific, but this is for screening only. The first one is VDRL test, this one, and here it is the RPR. RPR. Both are good for screening. Both are good for initial screening. For initial screening, they are very, very good. No, screen. So, see, both are detecting which antigen. They are detecting the, uh, yeah, they are detecting the, uh, first of all, we are using cardiolipin antigen to detect the reagent antibodies. Okay, antibodies. So, VDRL, uh, see, first, the most important VDRL, you need a microscope. Oh, before that, both are called slide flocculation test. Slide flocculation test. That is a physical question. Okay. Slide precipitation or flocculation. Both are right. You will have a question from this. Both, both, both are right. Okay. Now, RPR, you need microscope. Here, we don't need it. Here, uh, another thing is that how much was to be needed? It's uh, it's cheaper. Of course, this is very cheap to make. This is expensive, expensive. And one more thing is that both are for mm, uh, screening, but prognos no, both can be used for prognosis. For prognosis, both are good. Prognosis, prognosis. But for CSF sample. VDRL is best for CSF, Brian Kelly, CSF is best, not the RPR. That's the one benefit. VDRL is good for CSF. If you have any, uh, if you're suspecting any neurosyphilis, for neurosyphilis, excuse me, neurosyphilis, VDRL is best, but not the RPR. That you should know. Otherwise, both are used for screening. Now, TPHA, we have a lot of tests for this uh, uh, triponema specific test. They are, first one is TPI, then we have FTA, ABS, then we have TPHA, then we have TPPA. Okay, yes. Now, uh, now what are the things important here? TPA, triponema pallidum, immobilization. This is the most specific. Okay, and we are using live strains here. We are using the live strains because to inhibit the motility. Na? So that's what, so that's this could be question. FTA, ABS. Hefty ABS, hep is there. 
So this is the first test to become positive. First test to become positive. F for has F for the first test to become positive. So this is most sensitive test. In triponemal, this is the most sensitive or overall also the most sensitive test. TPH is triponemal period of hemagglutination, triponemal particulate. So the everywhere, see the word triponema has come. That's what it is specific. T, 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 T. Everywhere T, T, T is there. So this is a specific test. Okay. Complement fixation test. You know who in the syphilis, who gives compliment? Washerman. Always when a washerman washes your house or a hospital, you have to compliment them. Washerman, give him compliment. Okay. Compliment. Give compliment to the washerman. Neurosyphilis, again, the best is always. You can go with the, uh, F, uh, the, the first important is VDRL. Otherwise, FDA, ABS. FDA, ABS is also very good. You can go with both. Okay. Treatment, Xarix, eczema reaction. I think it's again in syphilis what happened. During the penicillin treatment, you, the treatment is penicillin. When you're giving the penicillin, you have in between reactions. In between, the, the, during the treatment, you will have the hypersensitivity reaction. That is the Xarix eczema reaction. This symptomatically it can be treated. It's not dangerous. You can treat it. Okay. So penicillin in between the reaction. Okay. That's it. Now, Borrelia burgdorferi. Now, Borrelia burgdorferi, the disease cause, see, Borrelia, whenever it's boring, this is the boring, whenever boring, this girl, Kelly, she what she eats. First of all, she eats the burger. Lime juice. She first of all, she ticks the menu. She ticks the menu. Ah, okay. Burger, lime juice. She eats even the biscuit. There is. Hmm. Uh, biscuit, burger, lime juice, everything she's eating. And then, ah, see, the, this is an egg also. If it's, this is a bullseye egg, you know, bull eye egg. This is a bull eye egg also. She's eating. Okay, that's it. Tickman. Okay, so all things is there, sir. What is this? You told me uh, this boring Kelly girl. She ticks the menu and she eats lime juice, lime juice, burger, biscuit, everything. Everything about eating. Borrelia burgdorferi means itself is about the eating. So, what are those eating? First of all, Borrelia burgdorferi. The disease name is. Lyme's disease. Transmission is by which one? Tick. Tick the menu. So it's a heart tick. Heart tick. Sometimes it's also called exotic ticks also, but it's fine. Uh, there's a heart tick curum, it's fine. Okay. Uh, okay, heart tick. Heart tick is also causing tularemia, babesiosis, Rocky Mountain fever. Okay, all these things, heart heart tick. Okay, here also, exotic tick or heart tick. Ex, ex, so it tick or heart tick. Okay, heart tick. Clinical feature, the disease name is Lyme's disease. So Lyme's disease may uh, usually, it is very similar to rheumatic fever. It's very similar to rheumatic fever. Very, very clear. But only thing is a rash. The rash which you get here, this one will come. This is the rash. So this rash is called Remember, this is when the lime juice is spilled, when the lime juice is spilled, you will get what? You will get the erythema migrans. Okay. Lime juice was spilled and the rash was spreading from here to the erythema migrans. That's it. That's important. So because of the erythema migrans, what happened? The restaurants was banned. Banworth. Remember, there's one more syndrome, Bunworth syndrome. Bunworth syndrome, basically, Lyme disease, what happened? You have a CSF symptom, CSF symptom, but everything is normal. CSF pleocytosis. Just the cell mist, few cell changes will be there. Otherwise, no symptom. Okay, that's it. CSF changes will be there. That's it. Okay. Now, what about this culture, sir? Culture is very simple because I told you, you're not only eating lime juice and burger in Borrelia burgdorferi, you're also eating biscuit. BSK. That is K is Kelly. Kelly, the, you don't need a full name. BSK Media or Kelly Media. Kelly K stands for Kelly. Okay. So Kelly's Media. This is, that's what I said. Boring Kelly. Kelly. Okay. Treatment. For treatment, what do you do? Of course, doxycycline. You go with the doxycycline. Tetracycline and doxycycline. It's fine. Totally fine. Okay. Whatever. Okay. That's it. This much only for the Borrelia burgdorferi. Okay. Rice. Now, Borrelia vincenti. Sir, what is Borrelia vincenti? Borrelia vincenti. It's in the mouth oral. Right? 
Mr. Vincent mouth is very trenched mouth, you know, very smelling bad mouth, trench mouth. Mr. Vincent mouth is trench mouth. That's it. This is question. That is basically because he has gingivo stomatitis. Gingivo stomatitis. Stomatitis. Okay, gingivo. So mouth basically mouth ulcer, trench mouth. Okay. Vincent angina, otherwise also called Vincent angina. If you remember Vincent angina, Vincent angina or trench mouth, both are same. Okay, Vincent angina. Okay, relapsing fever. When you talk about relapsing fever, epidemic and endemic relapsing fever. Okay, always remember epidemic is big level, endemic is total level. Everybody in the ball, what have an epidemic big level? You have what? Lice. So it is caused by lice. Endemic, it's always total region. So it is endemic. So endemic, you see, but here, uh, uh, here it is flea. Okay, flea. Okay, endemic lice and the flea. And the, 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 the organism which is causing epidemic is Borrelia recurrentis. But here it is Borrelia dotoni. Okay, D, D, dotoni. Okay, dotoni. This question was recurrentis has been asked. I remember this been asked. Okay. Lice flea, epidemic is lice because big level may lice will be then everybody is here, America, Australia, wherever you will have hair may lice hota hai. Lice. Yes, short cut, remember like that. Flea is small, small area may you will have flea. Not flea is not there in Europe only. Flea is only in small, small regions like India, you can say. Okay, like that. Just remember like that. Okay. Now, uh, yeah. Now the leptospira. Very important. Definitely asked. This question will be asked. Leptospira, leptospira also spirochetes only, but you should know that at the end there is a J shaped. Huh? J shaped means umbrella handle shape. Umbrella handle shape. Okay, how to remember this, sir? So this is so there was a barish. Suddenly there was a big rain. All the rats came out of the rice field. They were suffering. Then this guy. Matt, this guy, Matt Damon, you know, Matt Damon, you know, everyone's popular actor. He came and see, he was giving umbrella. He was giving umbrella. He was giving umbrella to the poor. Where lepto means, you know, these are lepto people. Lepto means poor people, you know, small people, small lepto people, small lepto means small, small people. So Matt, what he did, he gave umbrella and then he would, he took them. He took all in Emirates flight. You know, he took everybody in. Uh, Emirates flight to Korea. Flight to Korea to help them. He took an Emirates flight to Korea to help them. That's it. This is a story, small story, my story. So, what is the link, sir? Leptospira, Matt, what is this nonsense, sir? Tell, okay, I'm going to tell them. Okay. Now, transmission by, uh, as I told you, Leptospira. Uh, uh, the, the idea is usually to contaminate the wound, you know, contaminate rat urine. Ideally, it's the rat urine. It should be the rat urine. Contaminate the rat urine through a bread, skin, or oral. Anyway, it goes contaminate urine. Three R's are basically rat, rice field, when, during the rainy season, rain, during the rain, okay? Rat rice will rain during rain. The rat comes out of the rice field and cause rats urine contaminate with all the other good water everything, and we get the disease. The disease name is what? It's called Beals disease. Beals disease, not Will Felix. Beals disease. Okay, Beals. So Beals disease. Me, you can see what hepato hepato spleno megali hepato spleno megali patient will have severe hepato spleno megali. Uh, fever, of course, fever, heptospinomegaly, lymph node enlargement also, all these things are common in the leptospira. Epitos, that's what you can patient as jointus, you see, jointus, ecto, that's what you call ectrohemorrhagic, ectero, ectrohemorrhagic syndrome, ectrohemorrhagic syndrome, okay, yeah. Diagnosis serology, of course, you're going to do MAT, microscopic agglutination, that's what I brought MAT here. Because MAT is important. MAT is microscope aggression test. Culture, what you do? That's what I gave you the clue. He's flying everyone in Emirates flight to Korea. I told why. Because the media name is EMJH Media. EMJH Media. Korea, Korto. Korto. I told flight also. So, push it. 
fetches fetches media cortos and thing but emgh one time they was that's what i'm giving it otherwise i don't i would not given okay mat is coming to help this poor people three hours are important and transmission by all these things right big right and these things all things okay you know that you know that all that okay Rickettsia. Again, now the next interesting topic is Rickettsia. It is, first of all, it is an intracellular parasite. Transmission is usually by vector except Bartonella. Bartonella hensale, na? Bartonella hensale and Coxiella. They are not through this thing. They are through this is the cat scratch and also through the milk, etc. Okay, so that is exceptions. Diagnostic and for all the things you use McCoy, Hella cell line because you can't grow in the culture media. Cellological testing is you do what? Wheel Felix. Rickettsia Kelly, you do wheel Felix. Wheel. Sorry, one second. Ah. Okay. So uh, you will be using the. Uh, Wheel Felix heterophile test. Wheel Felix test may you know that we are using the say heterophile, we are using Proteus antigen. Rickettsia is using Proteus antigen, OX19 to NX, you know that you're doing. Neil Muser reaction may you you are using the guinea pig, you're using the guinea pig, guinea pig, guinea pig, using the guinea pig, you're injecting it guinea pig and checking for the testis uh, testis inflammation, testis. Tunica reaction. Test is tunica reaction, positive or not. It is positive for everything except one thing, Rikachya Pravasaki. Pravasaki. Okay, Rikachya Pravasaki, it's negative. Rest all other condition it is used, especially Rikachya Fonori, Rikachya Akari, and Rikachya Type B. Okay. Not in Pravasaki. That question can be asked. This is a really important thing. Now the triad, the classic triad is usually in Rickettsia. Uh, the general, the general triad is usually rash, fever, rash plus lymph node enlargement. Okay, but in scrub typhus is bit different. Scrub typhus most common in India. Scrub typhus is most common typhus in India. Okay, then it is SLE. S for S yes, stands for the skin rash. L for lymph node enlargement, E for S chart. This is the S chart, just like your anthrax. So you can have classic trial. Dog of choice again, doxine, doxycycline, Rickettsia. Again, we divide into two groups. One is the fever group, another one is the typhus group, another one is the rash group, sports group. So when you talk about the uh, this thing, so typhus group, we have epidemic typhus. Endemic typhus, scrub typhus, epidemic, endemic typhus. Now, epidemic typhus. When you talk about epidemic typhus, the organism is usually Rickettsia, Prava, Saki. So, there is Z and P. So, the disease name becomes very easy. Brill Zinser. Brill Zinser disease. Brill Zinser disease. Very simple. Brill Zinser disease, Rickettsia, Prava, Saki. Vector, because it's epidemic, so it should be. Any epidemic means lies, lies, lies. So, yeah, the more, more of the same thing. It's bite or abrasion to the fecus. Okay, I'm not going to consider that. Okay, vector lies. Wheel flix may, it is always OX 19 plus plus. Only OX 19 plus plus. Question. Endemic typhus, it is caused by Rickettsia type E. Rickettsia type E. Normal, type E, type E. Here it is. Might. Uh, here it is tick. I'm sorry. Here it should be flea. Ah, here's flea. Type it is flea. Okay, flea. Uh, uh, um, one, I think I made a mistake in front. It is uh, here it should be. Ah, this is not a flea. This should be a tick. This should be a tick. Okay, this should be a tick. I made a mistake. Okay, it's a tick. Okay. Now, yeah. Now here. Uh, one second. Ah, okay. So. Hmm. Please. So here also, ox 19 will be plus plus. What about a scrub type of scrub? You know, who, you know who scrubs? A trom, you know, a trom, trombiculid. Trombiculid might. 
ट्रॉमिकुलिट माइट है ना सो आई लाइक टू हैव अ माइटी ट्रॉम सेस यू नो व्हाट ट्रॉम सेस ट्रॉम सेस आई वांट टू हैव अ माइटी फेस स्क्रब एंड देन ही वांट्स टू गो सुसु कैन यू बिलीव he want to have a face scrub and he want to do okay why i said this is the most common in india of course scrub type is caused by orientia sutsu sutsu ga mushi sutsu ga mushi sutsu ga mushi sushu sutsu ga mushi okay tropically my and here what happened ox k positive okay only k positive this is a scrub because s k r u b scrub no scrub me k a jata hai scrub see you forgot about the c remember scrub so scrub me k will come so scrub type is very very simple okay so one more easy easy scoring question okay epidemic enemy i got all the clues scrub here 1919 big big word so 1919 that's fine no excuse me ha now spotted fever me rocky mountain tick typhus rickettsia now very easy rocky mountain whenever i go on the top of the rocky mountain if i get lost on the rocky mountain you know what i would call i would call twice rickettsia rickettsia okay i'll solve so the organism name is rickettsia rickettsiae rickettsiae okay very easy i call rickettsia and then what happened the time you know the time it's like whenever in mountain it's risky you know so tick 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 na so i time will go so tick 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 so tick okay and we'll talk about wheel blix reaction both ox 19 and ox 2 will be positive positive only it's spotted me this type of condition 19 and 2 both positive <laughs> indian tick type indian tick type is in india you know my place kunur and if you come to kunur kunur the first thing in kunur you will see is a watch clock tower okay kunur konori okay konori is in india in india i have my my hometown is in india kunur okay konori Here also we have a tick tick watch tower. So tick, the so, ox nineteen positive, ok two positive. Okay, got it. Nice. Now, what about the rickettsia fox? Rickettsia fox is caused by you know Akari. Akari got a fox. Mister Akari, Akari got fox. So he is a mite. Mighty Akari got a fox. Mighty Akari got a fox. But he is a bichari. Akari is a bichari. Bichari means nothing is there. So ox nineteen negative, ox two negative, nothing is there. Akari, this question will be asked. In which of the following wheel flex reaction is negative? Both it is thing. The mighty bichari, mighty Akari, mighty Akari is a bichari. So ox nineteen and two is negative. Like this, you make some rhymes and games that you never forget. Believe me, trust me. So easy. Okay, that's it. Now the Bartonella. Wow, we are almost coming to end of the systemic class. Huh? Just few left. So Bartonella, cat scratch. This is a single one-liner, so I'm going to go very fast. Cat scratch. You know who? Could, you know who? This is a Hansika. Everyone knows she's South Indian, which is popular, but she's from North Indian, Mumbai girl. So, uh, so what is this one? So this cat scratch is caused by Bartonella Hansale. Hansika Hansale. Hansika Hansale. She got a cat scratch. Okay, what? Basilary angiomatosis. Basilary angiomatosis is common. It's a skin. It's a type of skin angiomatosis. So two people, one the same Hansika also gets it. Hansale, and also not only that, even the button and Quinta, even the queen, even the queen also gets the problem. What basically for me is formal angiomatosis. She got the basilary angiomatosis. Trench fever. Who gets the trench fever? The queen. The queen is always tensed and trenched. That means again, Bartonella quintana, trench fever or five day fever. Trench fever. Trench mouth is all different. I told trench mouth is what? Vincent angina. That is trench mouth. Ah, uh, Vincent angina. That's angiosematous. That's a different story. Okay. Now here it is the uh, quintana. Quintana is five day fever. Oraya fever. Uh, trench fever. Five. Ah, and oraya fever or carry on disease. This is this is some not that much asked, but in case it asked, just Bartonella basilic formis. Basilella basilic formis, basilic formis. Basi from Odisha. Basi is from Odisha. Oraya, Odisha. Okay, Oraya. And Q fever is caused by you know Coxiella burnetti. Coxiella burnetti. They travel in burnetti people. They travel in Q train. In New York, Q train is very popular. So 
all the Burnetti, English girl Burnettis, you know, they travel in this train, on the Q train. They travel in the Q train, okay? Remember like that. I remember like that. Foxella Burnetti, this is very resistant. You know, in pasteurization also, it's not get killed, this one. That much, uh, you know, bad bacteria is this, okay? So, uh, one second. So, yeah, okay. Now, next. These are also single liners expected if you get, you're very lucky. Rat bite. You know who get a rat bite? Two girls. One is the Streptobacillus monaliformis. Moniliformis. Moni. And other one is Spirulum minus. How to remember, sir? Both Moni and Minu, both these cute girls, they live in the Beverly Haverville or Beverly Hills. They get rat bite. They are choti choti, you know? so they got rat, chota, rat, chota, rat bite. Sodoku also. Favorite for Minu. Minu is this girl. She loves Sodaku. Minu, she loves Sodaku also. Sodaku. Don't forget about this uh, coronavirus Minu to Simon casting air charisma. That also when Minu is there. Here, Sodaku also is, is played by Minu, Spirula Minus. Human bite. In human bite, it is Echinella. Echinella. Echinella corrodens. Echinella corrodens. Echin. Kin, kin, kin is a man. So human bite. Echinella corrodens. Corrodens. Cat or dog, you know, who get cat bit? The pastors. The pastors who's working with animal, no? so they only will get. So pastors, pastorella, pastorella, okay, pastorella. This question can come. The rabbit is similar. Francis. Mr. Francis loves rabbit. Franciella. Franciella tularensis. Tularemia. Franciella, okay. Francis has a rabbit. Pastor has a dog and cat. In pastors, they usually have, you know, when they carry the goat and sheep and all, you know, in villages, you know, the pastors, the shepherds, they have this thing. So, pastorella, okay. Now, chlamydia. Wow, wow, wow. Expected topic? Definitely. Expected questions will come from chlamydia. So, the, what is, there are so many names for this bacteria. This is a very popular one, no? So what is the agent? First of all, it's the ATP parasite because it depends on energy on the host. So it's the ATP parasite, okay? It takes energy from us. Second one, it's also called as PLT agent. Oh, what is that PLT agent, sir? P for cytokosis. L for lymphogranuloma venerum. T for trachoma. Agent, okay. Cytokosis, LGB, trachoma, PLT agent. Okay, that's it. Okay. Now, viral properties, intracellular, because it is intracellular. Bacterial property, because it has both DNA plus RNA. Wow. Interesting, no? It's intracellular because of viral and bacterial properties, DNA plus RNA together. Okay. Now, chlamydia exists in two forms. The chlamydia exists in two forms. Then the chlamydia exists in two forms. Uh, yes, chlamydia is in two forms. What are they? So this is, there are two things. See, first one, the outside one which you see, they are the elementary. The free form is elementary. Elementary bodies. And the one you see inside, that is reticulate bodies. Reticulate bodies. Expect a question from here or expect a body. Okay, reticulate body. So now, 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 what to do? Now, what we are going to do is, Elementary body is E for elementary. So this is uh, outside. This is um, elementary bodies or infective ones. And they are extracellular. E for E, E for extracellular. Reticulate are not infective. They are inside. They are intracellular. They are reproductive bodies, metabolically active. Here they are not inactive. They are in they are metabolically metabolically inactive. Inactive. Here reproduction. So they are metabolically active. Okay, that's it. These are the questions. Extra, extra. Anyway, E means extra. E is enemy. Enemy means infective. Enemy means infective. But reticulate is always inside, so it is not infective. It's intracellular, but metabolically active. See, it's replicating. These are all of the RBs, reticulate bodies. And these are all what you see, they are EBs, extracellular bodies. Okay, 
That's it. This is the cycle. It goes like this. So one question can come from there also. Now the disease. When you talk about the diseases, very interesting. Now, chlamydia trachomatis is the serotypes used for first, first organisms, chlamydia trachomatis. So we have ABC, DK. This question was, this will definitely come. ABC causes only one disease, that is trachoma. That is basically called as inclusion conjunctivitis eye disease. Inclusion conjunctivitis. Okay. What is the bo in inclusion conjunctive uh, bodies? Okay. Uh, and you know the body name is Hall, Park, Sedler, Pravasaki. Halba Stedler, Pravasaki bodies. Sometimes simply called HP bodies also. We have uh, Henderson Peterson body in pox virus. Henderson Peterson in virus may will come. So now remember, Halbuster Pravasaki body, trachoma or inclusion conjunctivitis. This is one which is caused A to B. Okay, A to B. A, B, C. A, B, C causes this one. Now D to K. D to K is three diseases. Uh, D three is what are the three diseases? First one, genital me. It causes what? Uh, it's a non gonococcal urethritis. I told after gonococcal, one of the most common cause of urethritis or urethral discharges is non-cocal urethritis. I may causes ophthalmia and neonatarope, same like gonococcus, ophthalmia, neonatarope, neonatarope, just like neonatarope. Complication of this one usually le uh, leads to reactive arthritis. Reactive arthritis, Fitz-Hugh-Curtis syndrome also, Fitz-Hugh- Curtis syndrome, even that gonococcus also causes this one. Which you put is gonococcus also. Gonococcus also. And maybe I forgot to go gonococcus cause side effect is water can perineum. Remember that can cause the water can perineum. Gonococcus water can perineum. Okay, gonococcus. This is caused by gonococcus. 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 But this one reactive arthritis and this is characteristic for. Fitzhugh Curtis, you know, it's H4H, it's called perihepatitis. Okay, it's a perihepatitis. This is caused by chlamydia. It's a classic for chlamydia. Okay, that's it. Now, uh, L1, L2, L3, this one causes this disease, very classic, that is called lympho LGV, that is lympho granuloma. Venerum, okay, lymphogranuloma venerum, also called as genital elephantiasis. Not the elephantiasis corpus ulcerative bush cavity. This is the disease itself looks like a, this thing, lymphogranuloma venerum, genital elephantiasis. So here, huh. so first of all, the main things I want to remember. Remember this girl Ethi. Ethi is the girl. She loves LG product, LG stow. So LG stow me what was she first of all she can do a lot of fry she do a lot of fries okay she do fries then she do gravy and she makes pan okay she makes pan okay what is this ethi why I said this ethi because ethi is the condition ethiomine 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 is basically stitches it's basically stitches this kind of like ectima gangrenosum ecta kapur sodomonas ethiomine is caused by lgv l1 l2 l3 ethiomine ethi so this is again stitches lot of stitches are formed you can see here lot of stitches ethiomine free because there's a test called freeze test it's a type 4 hypersensitivity reaction type 4 hypersensitivity have for free have for four have happen have four remember four four Excuse me. Gravy, groove sign. Groove sign. Banka, boobo. Boobo. You see boobo. Boobo. See big, big boobos. Painful. It is a boobo. It's a painful. The boobos are painful here. Okay. Remember, lymph nodes are painful. LGV me, lymph nodes are painful. Gravy, groove sign. Groove sign, groobo, priest. These are classic for lymphogranuloma venerum, genital elephant. Yes, it's very, very simple. Eti, yadukoro, everything is done. Okay. Remember, eti, everything is done. Okay. Now, next. Ah, now, Tvar agent. Now, when you talk about the Tvar agent, Chlamydia pneumoniae, Taiwan acute respiratory agent, the Tvar agent. So, here, Tvar agent is basically now uh, the most important thing is that they got what? Atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis, this question is asked many times. The chlamydia is uh, streptoxamine, which is causes, usually it causes atypical pneumonia. Side effect as a side effect pneumonia. As a side effect, it can cause the atherosclerosis and also asthma exacerbation. Asthma. Exacerbation. It is asthma exacerbation, right? 
Now, set up, uh, chlamydia set up, which is transmitted by, you see her, this is the cool Sita. I call her the cool Sita in Lily Garden. This is the cool Sita in Lily Garden with a parrot. You see, a parrot is sitting on her. Even if forgot also, Sita, Sita, Sita ho gaya. So, it's cool. She's very cool. But, okay. Transmitted by parrot. So, Sita, ka, Sita has parrot on her show. So, just parrots. Okay. Like PGN for cryptococcus. So, parrots for set of Root of transmission is by again, aerosol root. Aerosol Of course, aerosol root. The disease name is cetacosis. That is, that's what PLT agent cetacosis we call. Question, question. All the repeated, repeated questions. Okay. And uh, uh, cetacosis. Of course, it can affect the lung, brain, everywhere it can go. Okay. okay. Cetacosis. Bodies. That's what I told. Levan. Lily body. So the name of this uh, thing is called. We call it as uh, Levanthal Kuli bodies. No, Levanthal Kuli bodies. LCB or LCB. Levanthal Kuli bodies or Kuli bodies. Whatever you want to remember. Okay, that's what I Lily garden. Lily bodies. Levanthal Kuli. Levanthal Kuli. Lily bodies. LCLB, LCLB, it's fine. Levanthal Kuli Lily bodies. Okay, that's it. Kuli bodies, you can remember. That's it. That's it. Nice. Diagnosis of chlamydia. Gram stain. Do we have gram stain? No. Why? Because there is no muramic acid. No muramic acid. Culture? No, we can't. Cell line? Yes. McCoy? Hella. Egg culture, yes, egg yolk. Because car, you know, chlamydia, rickettsia, and novarus, they grow in the egg yolk. Okay. Yolk. Molecular, PCR is the best. Of course, PCR is the best if you want to. LGV hypersensitivity, uh, hypersensitivity test, yes, that is the freeze test. Sorry, I'm just uh give me a second. This is something sorry. Yes. Yeah. So priestess is type four hypersensitivity reaction. We already spoke of the hep means hep, hep for four. Okay, easy. Now Gardner law. Garner vagina is again very, very nice and easy topic. It's a SV related topic. It's very easy. So, Garner vagina, see, first of all, uh, uh, there is, you know, whenever we talk about vaginal, not urethral, vaginal disease. When you talk about vaginal disease, there are three diseases. What are they? One is candida, other one is your trichomonas vaginalis, another one is this uh, bacterial vaginosis. Which you call BV and a bacteria. So, this, this, this is uh, fungus. Separate and the TV is a parasite. Separate. They have these unique features. You know, candidates curdivore discharge. TV has green pro green discharge, etc., etc. Now, bacterial vaginosis is the one which you are talking here. So, bacterial vaginosis is caused by Gardnerella, Gardnerella, and Mobilincus. Mobilincus. Okay, Mobilincus. So, this is the question they asked. Okay. So now, very very simple. There are two criteria. When we talk about bacterial vaginosis, there are two criteria. What are the two criteria? One is the AMSELS criteria. Other one is Nugent's Nugent's criteria. So, this bacterial vaginosis cup, we have two things. So, either you go, you put into this AMSELS or Nugent's criteria. AMSELS is, is basically, AMSELS is basically a, a clinical criteria. So, here what happened? You have a frothy gray discharge. First thing is frothy gray discharge. Here, the pH. If you put the pH, the pH will be more than 4.5. Less than 4.5 is candida, more acidic, here more. Third one, you do a test called whip test. See here, the husband is whipping on the other girl. He's whipping, he's smelling, you know, he's smelling the other girl. Wife caught him, okay? Whip test. Whip test is smelling test. Basically, what you do, you add a 10 percentage KOH, then BV goes. So, this is a BV bacterial vaginosis. 
BV saw her husband is whipping on with other girl. BV, whip, whip test will come direct question. 10% care work, you let the foul order, fishy order will come. Fishy order. The last one, if you make a stain, gram stain, you will check for clusers. Clusers. This is the cluser. The cluser is basically epithelial cell which is interrupted with the this mobilincus bacilli and other bacilli. See, the borders are disrupted. These are the clusers. Okay. So, the BV got a clue. BV got a clue that the husband is whipping with our girl. That's it. Okay. That's a in the garden. Now, wherever. Nugent's score is basically gram stain. Nugent's is a microbiological. G for G. G for Nugent's gram stain. So, here what happened? Gardnerella will go high. Mobilincus also goes high. Your lactobacilli will go down. Lactobacillus will decrease. That's it. This will decrease. Rest to go high. So based on this, you put the grading and then you give. That's it. That's it. Okay. So this is another question. Easily asked and easily you will get it. Don't make a mistake here. Okay. Vaginal discharge. Mycoplasma. Oh my God. Who will miss a mycoplasma? Nobody will miss a mycoplasma because it is very, 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 very important. Everyone loves mycoplasma. Mycoplasma means I always wanted you people to remember only one thing. Who is that? Diana. This is Prince Diana, right? Prince Diana. First of all, look, she is a people, you know, she is a people person. She loves people so much. Okay, she loves people so much. So, so uh, the name, and she loves eating. She loves people plus she loves eating. That's her favorite. Eating and people are the two favorite things. So, other name is, this is called as Eaten Agents. She's a queen, but you know, she's a princess, but still she loves Eaten Agents. Other one is PPLO agent. PPLO is people. Okay, PPLO is people. Remember, it's a people, but ideally it is called Fluoro pneumonia. It's called fluoro pneumonia, fluoro pneumonia like organism, fluoro pneumonia like organism agent. Okay. But you remember how you want. That's important. But okay, the thing. Cell feature is important because look at her skin. She is like, she's a glowing, no? She's like, it is like gliding skin. She's, she's gliding skin. Glow, it's gliding skin with full of cholesterol, you know, full of cholesterol, gliding skin. So the cell feature, my main thing is that there is no cell wall. Instead, they have cholesterol. Okay, cholesterol are steroids. It's cholesterol are steroids there, but no cell wall. No cell wall. And it's the smallest bacteria. Smallest bacteria. Like smallest virus is parvo choti paru. Same as smallest bacteria is mycoplasma. This, uh, they don't have, don't worry. And the motility, you know, because I already told you, gliding, gliding, shining skin. So gliding, who glides? Diana glides. Di gliding motility. So that is fine. Why are you bringing Diana here? Yes, yes, I'm coming because you have a phenomena called Dyne's uh, method. We have, we'll go there one minute before that. The disease which is causing is also called atypical pneumonia or it's also called PPLO pneumonia or also walking pneumonia. Diana loves walking. You see, she's walking with the people. So walking pneumonia. Got it? PPLO pneumonia, atypical pneumonia, walking pneumonia. That's it. These all are important. Very simple. Okay. Very, very simple. Now, culture method. In culture method, this is where I want to come and stress. Culture stain method, this method, that's what I'm telling. This is called, Di that's what Diana comes here. Diane's method, M for mycoplasma. Diane's method, Diana, so M for mycoplasma. So basically what you do here in culture, the culture plate, you stain with the methylene blue. So the colony will become very nicely visible. Very nicely visible. Okay, that's it. So, uh, in serology test. In serology test, me, why you see her favorite is cat. She loves cat. Cat. So, cold agglutination test. Cold agglutination test is characteristic for the mycoplasma. And one more thing also you do is streptococcus MG test. Here we are using the streptococcus ka antigen, antigen we are using. Here, like in, in a cat, we are using the O blood group. O blood group we are using. So, these all are basically heterophile tests. Like Paul Banner, like Wheel Felix, this cat and strepto, streptococcal MG test also heterophilus is for mycoplasma. And I told she loves eating. So, what is the colony appearance? First of all, the agar name is PPLO or Eaton agar. 
same eaten agent eaten agar the name is of eat eaten yellow given so that means what is this a pride egg colonies pride egg colony also seen in malassezia purple but here also remember pride egg colonies that's it very very simple very very simple everything is covered you don't have to worry it's jujupi you know in tamil they say jujupi it means very very easy micro is such a easy subject okay I pray God that everything will come, whatever we discussed. Because it's almost discussed. Everything is discussed here. In fact, hemoplasin is the same. Virulence factor is, of course, which one? Your virulence factor is capsule. Again, same polysaccharide capsule. That's what it's highly virulent. Especially which is more, which is the most virulent type is type B. Why B? Because it has phosphoribocytol. Phosphoribositol phosphate. Okay, phosphoribositol phosphate, PRP, you know, PRP. Okay, before going there, this is why this picture is here. Hemophilus Phil. The best person to explain hemophilus is Phil. That is, he is Michael Philip. Michael Philip, you know, is the best Olympic swimmer. His favorite is he loves to drink blood. Strange, you know, he loves drinking blood. Sometimes PRP, plasma rich protein also, okay? That's what this PRP. And other thing is that he likes also what? Thumbs up. He likes to bring the thumbs up button. Okay, thumbs up. And he also owns his own satellite. Okay, he owns his own satellite now. Okay, now disease. Ah, so already we know one common disease it causes meningitis. Definitely it causes meningitis. One of the most common causes meningitis because of the capsule. Number two, most common cause of epiglottitis. Epiglottitis. That's what this picture is. I put in this picture. You can see this picture here. And exactly why did I put thumbs up? Because that is the thumbprint appearance. That is thumbprint appearance. So one of the thumbprint appearance bacteria is bottled up. It is with the disease may thumbprint comes. That is Philip. Philip likes thumbs up. Michael Philip always when he's successful, his thumbs goes up. Okay, that's it. And of course, it causes pneumonia also. That are also important. Or it is made, etc. But epiglottitis is more important. That question is repeated even this also. Blood agar. No, 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 no. No, what's the blood agar? In blood agar, when you put like this, if you put a staphylococcus aureus at the center, and if you put this H and F colony, you see what? Satellitism. Satellitism. That's why you know satellite is important. Satellite, one more satellite is with the brusella will go there. But now this satellitism is for your uh this thing. And one more beat, BT for leprosy also has satellite lesion. Now, this satellitism is a mechanism around the colony. You can see the colony is growing here. So these colonies are H influenza colonies. H influenza colony is growing. Okay, that's what it's called satellitism. Selective media, again, I was telling you, he's in a living relationship. Uh, our uh, Philip is living so live in Leventhal, Leventhal. Agar and also he's very good in field. F I uh, F L D Fields Agar. Fields Agar, Levantal Sagar. They are the selective media. Less asked question, but yeah, you know, just know. We can live in live in relation. Michael Philip is a big short field is agar. Prophylactic vaccine, we have vaccine called hip vaccine. You know that hip vaccine. So hip vaccine is a, usually is a pentavalent. Pentavalent means you're giving along with DPT. Uh, hepatitis B vaccine and this H influenza, HIV, hip vaccine. That's what it is, pentavalent. One, two, three, four, five, five, pentavalent. Okay, that's it. This is not, I'm not going to talk too much. And now I have the Egypticus. Egypticus, you know who goes to Egypt. Mr. Cox, our Cox, Robert Cox, on weekdays, on week, weekdays, he goes to uh, Egypt and Brazil and get pink eye. That's it. Okay, cock. So it means Egyptic is otherwise called so cock's weak bacilli. Cox weak bacilli. Cox weak bacilli. Other name, what it causes, cox weak bacilli. This is the cox bacilli. The disease is called as that is Egypt. No, Egypt, Egypt, huh? Egypt, Brazil. The disease name is he goes there to get a pink eye and a pink eye or Brazilian. Purpuric fever. Brazilian purpuric fever, pink eye. That's it. 
Dukri, very simple. That is his name. Duk cry. You know, duck is there and cry is there. This is the duck and the cry. So the disease is basically hemophilus Dukri causes you know that chancroid. Or duck is soft. So soft duck. Soft ulcer. Soft chancre. Hot chancre is syphilis. Soft chancre is Duck is short, but it is crying. Why? It's because it's painful. You cry because it is painful. Painful lesion. Syphilis means non-painful. Hot, but not painful. This is in uh, in, uh, in duckery. Duck will cry. Duck is soft. So soft chancre, but it's painful. The so same lesion. Painful is chancroid. Not painful. It is syphilis. Okay. Gram stain. What is this duck? How, see, how the ducks are going? See, ducks are going in a tram track appearance. See, the ducks are going in tram track or rail tram track or rail track, road track appearance. Okay, gram stain. That's it. This is one thing. So they go in that line. Okay, so this is a chancroid, uh, soft chancre. This thing, uh, duck, uh, duck cry, duck cry, cry. Cry means cry because of pain. Soft chancre, chancroid. That's it. Road track, tram track appears. Tram track, road track, railway track, whatever. Okay. Now, yes. So now, now when you come to this point, this you should know because the STD part, but I'll still revise. Gentle ulcer disease, two things we can classify. Painful, painless. Only two are very, very painful. Just now we told what? Just now we told that. Who are painful? One is Dukri. You're crying, you know, crying. So, cry. So, that is basically chancroid. Not chancre, chancroid, you know, chancroid. D here, D for degree, chancroid, painful. Number two is herpes simplex virus uh, two. Very painful. Multiple vesica and very, very painful. Okay. But here, but we talk the pain less, syphy less. Less means no pain, you know, one. And your lymphogranuloma, when in lymphogranuloma, when you Lymph node will be painful, but not the ulcer. Lymph node is painful, ulcer, no pain. Because lymph node LL, so lymph node is painful, ulcer, no pain. And of course, your uh, 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 yeah, other disease, your granuloma, uh, donovanosis. Donovanosis. Also, no pain. No pain. They're good. Okay. So only these are pain. This is the basic three classification you should know. Rest of other things, whatever other disease there. They're not painful. Okay, that's it. This is the one you want to uh, stress here. Okay. Now, oh yeah, lowery function is thing. So very, very simple. This disease also H pylori three disease. See, H pylori means it's a pylori lowery, and you know? it's a lowery function. In lowery function, people enjoy no. So here will be stars in lowery function. So what they do, they look the stars. Remember, they they stare at the star. Star, they stare at the star. And then they drink malt. See, they're drinking malt and they're enjoying malt and they're enjoying. And because of malt, they get gastric problems. Lot of gastric problems. Pylori, lori, okay, in uh, Punjab festival. So three diseases. What are they? First of all, it is gastritis. You know that one. And it causes the peptic ulcer disease. Gastric ulcer, duodenal ulcer, H. pylori. And third one is the uh, carcinoma. Carcinoma. Carcinoma, you know, the most important thing is maltoma, adenocarcinoma, and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, okay? All these cancers. Maltoma, you know, non-Hodgkin's. Gastritis, peptic ulcer, carcinoma. All the three diseases are important. Question can be asked. Virulence factor. Virulence factor, you know, the main virulence factor is UDS because it comes in the punch. Punch may H is for H pylori. No? So that's one thing because it creates the, you know that one. That, I don't want to go in detail because UDS means it creates the alkaline environment. So the H pylori can survive. You no, know, the, the H pylori survives like that only. Number two is you have this uh, CAGA gene and VACA gene. CAGA and VACA genes. These genes are also have important role in the this thing. Okay. Now, now next. A diagnosis. So H. pylori, how should I diagnose? So two types, non-invasive and invasive test. Invasive means you're doing endoscopy, non is nothing. Non-invasive means urease breath test is the best one. Urease breath test, easy and breath test, number one test. So this is basically you're giving a urea capsule, goes to the stomach and CO2 ammonia is released and the CO2 coming out in the breath is measured. Okay, so this is very it's easy, most commonly used. And this is for prognosis. Prognostic, the treatment correspond, hey, uh, treatment is good or not, 
for that urease breath test is best. Okay, best is the best and common use test. And also you can do copro. Copro antigen, copro antibody test, the stool antigen, the antigen, sorry, stool antigen test, copro antigen or stool antigen test you can do. Eliza, by Eliza you can do these are the some uh, non-invasive test. But you go to invasive test, what you do, you take endoscopy and then you do biopsy. And after biopsy, you're going to stain it. So in histopathological stain, when in histopathological stain, you are going to, in histopathic you're going to do so many things. Uh, the first one is the uh, uh, Warthin. If you remember, I told you, Warthin, starry, silver stain. You're staring at the silver stain. So you're staring at the stars, no? Lowry function may. So Warthin star silver stain, this one, this is the one. This is the Warthin star stain. You see this black color, black color thing, those are the things. In gram stain, you see, in gram stain, you just see like a, a, a you know, thin bacillus. Just you see the bacillus. That's it. You see the, mm, no, what do you can say? You can say like a mm, curved bacillus. You just see the curved bacillus. Okay, that's it. Culture media, same. Uh, like a uh, capital picture, screws media, screws media, screws media. A rapid urea test also we can do. That means biopsy may you do it. But this is uh, not that accurate like the previous one, but you can do rapid urea test also. Okay, fine. So this one will be Warthin Stary can be a question and uh, screws media, maybe. That's it. Okay, but that's a silver stain. Okay, that, that's it. Okay. Treatment. Treatment. Okay, this is very, very easy. Treatment, you know. I don't know how you guys remember. I tell you my shortcut. For quadruple therapy, you say, please, please make, please make best tea. Okay. For triple therapy, I would say, please make amazing tea. Okay, so what is this? Sir? What is this? What is this? Sir? Please make good tea. Already I'm having gastritis. Now you're telling to make tea. It's not good, sir. Yes, I'll tell you why. P for proton pump inhibitor. M for metronidazole. B for bismuth. T for tetracycline. This is the combination you give in the quadruple therapy. Okay, one therapy. If this is not working, triple therapy, you don't give bismuth. Bismuth is cut. Instead of that, what you give? Proton pump inhibitor and metro. Or amoxicillin, metro or amoxicillin, and then tetracycline. You will be only three drugs. So triple, perfect. Very simple. Please make best chai. Please make best tea. Please make amazing tea. That's it. Okay. However you want, you remember. It's up to you. Okay. Camphlebetagenic. Camphlebetagenic. One, one thing I want you to just remember. Please remember. You see this. Uh, I have put in this gully boy. Gully boy. Uh, if you remember. This gully boy in this gully boy, this is actually Ranbir. Uh, Ranbir, Ranbir saying his life starts from down, he goes up, right? He from down, he goes up. This gully boy, GBS gully boy, he starts life down and goes up. One second one, which is darling Alia, he goes for camping. He goes to camp and see he, he make a he has a butcher to make what poultry poultry to make chicken he has poultry and he loves doing skiing skiing okay and see a lot of seagulls also he can see a lot of seagull birds you can see seagull birds are also around him okay oh sir what is this yes i'm coming transmission the main reason is poultry Okay, speak over it, poultry. Disease usually causes inflammatory diarrhea. It causes inflammatory diarrhea. Two extra manifestations. One is gullen barre syndrome. Repeated question. That's what I'm saying. Gully boy, gullen barre, gully boy, gullen barre is usually ascending paralysis. Ascending paralysis. That's what I'm saying. Gully boy. Why is it this gully boy up, down to up? Jara, because it's ascending parallels, not descending. That's the question. Okay, that's what I repeated this. Another one is a reactive arthritis. You have a reactive arthritis. Hmm. Properties is that inside a camp, campylobacter means when you do you're doing a camp inside a campylobacter. Okay, well, so what happened inside? Oxygen is low, CO2 high, temperature also high. 
That means O microaerophilic CO2 high, so it is capnophilic and temperature is high, thermophilic. That's it. Microaerophilic, capnophilic, and thermophilic. That's it. Okay. Now, gram stain. Gram stain, gram stain, gram stain. What happens is that when you see the gram stain, see this is a seagull appearance. Okay, seagull appearance. That's why I told around the camp there is a lot of seagulls are going around. So that was seagull means camp repetition. Culture. Culture, I told again, screws media. Screws media because you do skiing and also you, you took a butchler. No, butchler you took for cutting the poultry. So butchler's media and campy bar. Campy, the campy already here. Campy, uh, BAP, BAP media. Okay, BAP. So butchler and screw you remember that's enough. Darting motility. Again, not only Vibai's darling, darting motility, even camp repetition because. Uska girlfriend Alia is his darling. And these things darling is Alia, but so darling. Okay. Now the Brusala, almost to the end. Brusala, 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 Brusala. See, Brusala, this is a Bruce Lee, you know, Bruce Lee. I'm sorry, I'm going to change the color of this pen. Ah. So you know all Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, everyone knows Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee is, you know, he's good. He loves uh, his favorite. You know, he first of all, look how healthy he is. Okay, he travels, first of all, he travels a lot. Wherever he goes, he goes to Malta, he goes to Mediterranean for shooting a no, movie. Mediterranean, he go to Uganda, and in India, even he go to Kasinada. He go to Kasinada, he goes to these places. We talk about the food the habit, he likes to eat milk, roast, roast milk, milk, and then of course he likes whey protein, he likes potato, he likes soy, Etc. etc. These are things his favorite. With this, we'll be going to make all the stories now. Okay. Yeah. How it is possible. Very interesting. Species also Brusella. Brusella melitensis. Brusella melitensis means camel and sheep. This is the most common one. Okay, sheep. And the other one is Brusella abortus. Suis, everything is there. Abortus is usually in the cattle. Abortus is in the cattle. So this at least two you remember. Melitensis and abortus. Melitensis abortus. Most common one is melitensis. Mode of transmission, again, it is usually uh, direct animal contact. This is a zoonosis. This is a zoonosis. So animal contact is the first followed by milk. People usually think milk. No, not milk is not first. Animal contact is first, then only milk. So the disease in the triad, the disease name already we know. What is that called? Malta fever. Everything is important. Very, very important here. Malta fever or... Mediterranean fever or Undulant Uganda become Undulant fever. Okay, all this type of fevers you can get. Malta Mediterranean Undulant fever. Right. Now, uh, yeah. Uh, everything is almost similar to typhoid only, similar to typhoid, only fever different, only fever is different, okay? only fever differs. Okay, no, 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 no. Now, huh. serology may again don't forget he's very rich Brusella. So he has what? He has a satellite. So sat sat. So Bruce Lee also has what? Bruce Lee also has a satellite. So he also owns a he's having a satellite, his own satellite also. It's very rich, so he's his own satellite too. Okay, don't forget. Okay, so now here, so not only um, our uh, hemophilus has influenza, here also you have. So this is satellite, let's say, uh, satellite. Sat. So sat only you remember, satellite don't know. Sat means standard agglutination test. Standard agglutination test. What about the culture? Culture, this is the culture bottle. If you see here, this is the culture bottle by physic media. I have just moved this picture, this one. Okay, this picture you're seeing here. This is the one, okay? So that is biphasic media. That's called Casinada. That's called Castinada media, okay? Biphasic. For any blood culture, this is usually for any blood culture. Any blood culture, you can put it. So what happened here? You have a solid media and a liquid media, both. So that's what it is called biphasic. You put the culture in the Nowadays, it's automated, but still, you know, they can ask the picture and identify castinara too. Test for contaminated milk, you have a lot of protein. One is the uh, rose, rose milk, 
मिल्क रिंग वे अग्लूटिनेशन टेस्ट वॉट एवर यू से ब्रूसलीस फेवरेट ब्रूसलीस फेवरेट फूड इज सेट दोसा ओके सेट दोसा सो द ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इज यू गोइंट गिव स्टेप्टोमाइसिन प्लस plus doxy that's it got it yeah now bottle pertussis now bottle pertussis are some disease so it's a whooping cough so uh, you clinical phases may if you see it is the uh, catarrhal this is important okay the stages are important because there's a question from there and paroxysmal and convalescent so why it's important catarrhal is where the infective stage infective means very infective to spread everywhere paroxysmal is the phase where you have whooping cough whooping cough this is will be also asked 100 day cough whooping cough or 100 day cough 100 day cough okay so infective to everyone catarrhal phase so it will be very very careful coughing out the convulsion is a healing phase nothing will happen fine diagnosis may what you want to do you do, of course you're going to take a throat swab and a throat sample nasopharyngeal uh, sample you're going to take and then what you do you do culture culture what you're going to do see first of all board it you know board it means boarding school excuse me boarding school owners are regan mr regan and boarded gengua gengua what they do whenever the children's getting pertussis they give them you know what they give they give them they give them aluminium mercury paint and also they tell children or mercury paint children to make what thumbprint and play with the pearls bisector pearls they tell them to play with the bisector how stupid they are no so cultural media already are here regans and bordet gengua huh? right god gengua so what do you see in these medias you see this bisected pearl bisected pearl so they give to children who are having whooping cough in a boarding school they give bisected pearls for kids to play gram stain look at this baby how is they playing with aluminum so bisected pearl aluminium painting or mercury aluminium painting appearance or also called mercury droplet it's also called mercury droplet so mercury so mercury droplet mercury droplet bisected pearl aluminium paint comes this all for bachche so it is bottle pertussis gram stain may you will see this one called thumbprint appearance thumbprint one is for michael phillip h infancy but in gram stain may thumbprint is bottle pertussis definite question this picture will come this picture also one more pearl where andrea has pearl beautiful pearl other one is bottle to look pertussis kids are having this pearl they're playing you know they, they're playing you see they're playing bachche they're playing in the hand with this pearls or mercury drop or aluminium painting all same meaning but this is going to come this is going to come wow wow it's so much fun yes now i think almost lost bacteria the general we are going to finish center then it's going to be uh, the systemic is going to be finished then it's going to be general very easy legionella again legions also one person like nora pitti is always number one legions number one. you know what the legions is basically means military in a military so look at this military people now they wherever they're living acs are broken acs are broken poor them so a lot of sweating so they have to use pons powder see they're using pons powder over them pons powder and what they do for driving also they get only bicycle bicycle so sad for them okay so let's see mode of transmission ac or cooler legionnels ac or cooler definite question ac cool because nowadays summer is burning like anything if any one of the microbes is remembered ac then definitely he'll give you this question for your fmg exam so be careful alert alert ac or cooler disease usually uh, the, the, the the disease name is pontiac fever mild one pontiac fever that's what i put at pons powder okay pons powder okay ac cooler uh pontiac fever is mild the worst one is legionnaire's disease legionnaire's disease one special disease where you have pneumonia plus diarrhea remember this question will come pneumonia plus diarrhea combo only in legions will get this military recruits okay military recruits this type of clinical question they give pneumonia you think about it and this is what media why i say bicycle because the media ka naam hai bcye media that is 
What is this? Buffer charcoal East Agar. East extract, huh? East extract. Agar. That's it. Very simple. That's much only. What is there? And of course, it's acid first, like a legion, no cardia. They're one percentage H2O. You use one percentage H2O so for for staining them. Acid first. Okay, that's it. Wow. What are we finished? This much only. So you know already systemic. Now you are, it's in your fingertips. 100% guaranteed. You guys will rock it. Now let's go to general bacteria. General bacteria, very fast. You know, already we discussed everything. So I'm not going to uh, talk this nonsense things. are only important thing. Two form. You know, there's a spores and vegetative form. Spores form. Spores and vegetative. Not important. And a condition. And the cell wall structures, you know, there's a plasma membrane, cell wall, capsule, individual we are going to study now. Okay. Now, first thing is uh, glycocalyx. This is important. Glycocalyx can be two things. Glycocalyx as a substance can be slime layer or the form of capsule. When it is loose, loose and thin, it's a slime layer. Right? Loose. When it is thick, it is capsule. This is you know, thick. loose is usually uh, slime layer. In. I told you, slim pseudomonas, ectocopur. Pseudomonas, ectocopur, and right? the Rest all of capsule Function of capsule is antiphagocytosis. Antiphagocytosis. This question also has I've been asked. Capsule antiphagocytosis. Now, capsule is made up of usually polysaccharide. Mostly polysaccharide, most common. But only in polypeptide, that is amino acid, only in which condition? Anthrax. Anthrax. Bacillus anthrax. Question, question, question. Definite question. Okay. Anthrax. Okay, risk is very high in which patient capsule? Spleen ectomy. Spleen ectomy. Spleen patient who doesn't have spleen, for them the infections are very, very common. That's it. So this is the one capsule you're seeing back. Okay, right. Now next, example of capsulated organism. Yes, this is not all you should be in fingertips, but still I remember. So uh, the shortcut is, yes, some, some bacterial, Killers have pretty nice capsule. Okay. Yes, some killers have pretty nice capsule. So what should I do? You have to don't do anything. Just answer it. Yes for Yersinia. Yes for Streptococcus pneumoniae. B for Bacillus anthrax. K for Klebsiella. H for H influenza, P for Pseudomonas. Usually it's a slime layer. It's okay. Slim ectocopal. Knees for Neisseria. Neisseria meningitis. This we already talked. C for only one fungus. Which fungus? Cryptococcus. Cryptococcus is the only fungus that has. So this question can come. Okay. Methods to diagnose the capsule. Usually you have uh, a negative staining. You do the negative stain. Negative stain. Negative, who are the negative people? Indian ink and negrosin. Indian ink and negrosin. Negrosin. You know, the neg this is my previous lecture told. Indian people and Nigerian people are negative people. Number one. Number two, you do Quillen's reaction. Quillen's reaction, you are anti sera So everything will be positive. But this is only for polysaccharide. Polysaccharide. Not for anthrax. Not for anthrax. Not for anthrax. Not for anthrax. Okay. Now, three. But for that, only we have MEC. MEC variants. McFadden's reaction, the Maddie reaction. This is only for Maddie's boy. This is a boyfriend of Andrea only. Now only for anthrax. So this is for only Bacillus anthrax. This is basically what in McFadden reaction. You add the methylene blue dye, and then what happens? The capsule will become purple capsule. The capsule will look purple capsule. That's it. That's the one. Okay. So Cullen's reaction, McFadden's reaction. Cullen's may anti sera it swells up, but it's not for anthrax. It's all fine. Biofilm is a group of bacteria clumped together to form things. That's important. I'm going now. Cell wall. Cell wall, cell wall, cell wall, cell wall is a very, very important topic. So, gram positive, gram negative, you should know the difference. See, gram positive, no positive, P for P. So, that means peptidoglycan layer is thick, thick. Thick. Here, thin. Thin only. Nothing special here. Okay. Thick, thick, thick. So, positive plus positive, you write T, na? So, that means. Tacoic acid, tacoic acid, tacoic acid is positive. You know? Also, we have pentavalentin bridge, pentavalentin bridge. This is the difference. Positive pentavalentin bridge, thick peptidoglycan layer. Okay, but in gram negative, negative people 
See, the negative people are fat people, no? Negative people are fat. So that means what they have? Lipopolysaccharide. Lipopolysaccharide. LPS. So this is the one which is releasing your endotoxin. 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 Okay, remember. Negative people are fat people. So lipopolysaccharide is characteristic for negative people. Okay, lipopolysaccharide, which releases the endotoxin. Here, this is here. You have mycolic acid. Mycolic acid, special structures of mycolic acid. And other one is lipoarabinomenon. Lipo. Lipo ara be no man and lipo ara be no man and lipo ara be no man okay very very simple so that this is important question tacoic acid could be a question I would if I am examiner I could ask easily for you and this is thick ah, but in a gram native I'll ask lipo polysaccharide lipo polysaccharide is present only in this one okay here it is already given lipo polysaccharide is a question here it's the tacoic acid question okay front of all bridge etc okay now. Toxins, toxins is a very, very interesting. See how I'm remembering. Very easy. You might always confuse till any moment also. So remember like this, exotoxin. Exotoxin, remember, uh, extra uh, out. Uh, I would say, wait, once again, uh, how I will remember is that, wait. You remember, ex extra means it's going out, no? You remember extra extrovert extra mean who's outside you know friendly who's friendly friendly going outside people and uh, endoka you remember introvert introvert who is inside house always inside house and uh, inside house how to know this one extrovert means people usually go outside so they are now uh, they are uh, gram positive and gram negative all can be you know they can be positive they can be negative. it doesn't matter but introvert endotoxin people who are you know they are always negative they are negative people negative people okay they are always negative people they always remain at the home so because they're always home they will become fatty fatty now the introvert inside house so they will be fatty fatty so lipopolysaccharide lipo polysaccharide is the lps lps is the one releasing this toxin but here it is not like that exotoxin it's released from <coughs> Anyway, these are just the, they are different type of, uh, different, they, they are produced, they are specific for each bacteria, specific for each bacteria, okay. Because it is going out to sun, this is a heat labile. Here, you are always inside the house, so it is heat stable. You are going out, so your your protein. This is usually protein, protein. So you are going outside, so you are getting immunogenic. You are becoming immunogenic. So you can make vaccine also from this. Here, no. Here it is negative. Always inside the house. So LPO. So not immunogenic. It's a protein, so immunogenic. Here, lipopolysaccharide, so it's not immunogenic. That's it. This is very simple. Intro, endo people, introvert, they live inside the house, not exposed to sun, so they're heat stable. But they're not exposed to outside, so immunity is low, so they're not immunogenic. That's it. Okay. Now, no, 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 no. The protein is this very, very interesting topic. So, mechanism of toxin. More, we are talking toxin means here we are talking about the exotoxins only, and means endo enterotoxins. So, protein synthesis inhibitors, ka, shortcut is you know, pro decreased protein. Synthesis, decreased protein synthesis, shortcut. So D for diphtheria, D for diphtheria, P for pseudomonas, synthesis, shigella. These two, you know that the, 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 the diphtheria, diphtheria and these two, the mechanism is same. They inhibit the EF2 factor, EF2 factor inhibition. Shigella, it inhibits the 60S unit, 60S unit, shigella. Now, CAM because the shortcut is cyclic AP already you have C for cholera, A for anthrax, M no, M you make it E, so E. coli. E. coli ka, which form? E. coli ka? heat labile. Labile people are anxious people, no? so heat labile and P for pertussis. Okay, cholera, ample. E. coli is a CM and then pertussis. Okay, heat level. Cyclic GMP may again E. coli, but it is which one? Heat stable one. Heat stable. 
it's stable okay because how to remember stable people are good people stable people are good people stable people are good people gg you know stable or good but anxious people are labile people anxious people are labile people that much only okay that's easy way you can remember okay easy okay stable people are good people so cyclic gmp gmp huh? but anxious people are labile people so labile baseless uh, see is yeah emetic emetic which vomit colors say other cyclic gmp but diogenic is coming to the anal region so cyclic amp anal amp this one g gala gala is from throat so gmp okay that's fine tetany and proton tetany you know that it inhibits the gaba and we already discussed gaba and glycine once again it's like a revision 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 of glycine botulism usually inhibits the acetylcholine you know that in closed pervision usually we know that that is a lecithin gun mr perfect nagarjun uses lecithin gun and lecithinase lecithinase and that is the reason it causes the gas gangrene huh? gas gangrene you know that one it gets a gas gangrene nago uh, tetanospasmin again this is os is oxygen stable uh, ol is oxygen labile oxygen labile okay tsst other toxin we already told about is a toxic females are toxic antitoxin have that is the uh, one which is caused the tampons and you know, female tampons are there, which is very cause severe shock toxic toxin okay i'm not going to stress too much there now exo and endoplasm exoplasm and endoplasm also you know i'm not going too much here exo is most of them endo is seen in the spirochetes Pyrogates. Based on the counts, it can be monotrichus. Monotrichus means uh, monotrichus, it can be monotrichus, triplophon, trichotrichus. If it, you're talking about the monotrichus, then this is uh, only single, no? So this will be Vibrio. Vibrio, Vibrio is having only one, this thing, Vibrio. Hmm. Okay, that's it. Vibrio, Pseudomonas, they all have only single, single thing. And locum is at one side, you know, one side is, this is very typical for a H. pylori. H. pylori. Now, and the amphibosa side means the alkali is not that important. And peritrichus is most bacteria, most bacteria. Okay. Here, for demonstration of the motility, you need the agar, please, 0 0.2 percentage uh, agar. Agar concentration, you have to decrease agar from 2, so 0, 0 0.5 percent. Okay. Uh, 6 percent, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 is fine. Okay, agar. Otherwise, you have to hanging drop. Hanging drop. Also, wet mount, hanging drop, wet mount for motility. Okay, that's not, you know that one. Yeah, now this is the important question. No more, most important is this only. So, how to remember? So, swarming, I told you who are these three people? Proteus and Proteus Prochita and Viba darlings, para, ana? para, para, paru, paru, Viba, paru, Viba, para, hemolyticus, and other one is Seresia. They all are having what party? Tea party. Close to the tetany. In the swimming pool. Swarming, swimming. Okay, tetany. The most important is Proteus question will be asked. Darting, I told. Viba darling, Vibrio. Vibra darling, Vibrio. And Gully boy, Rebbe Singh, Alia but darling. You know? So, they go camp, camping. Campylobacter. Campylobacter. Vibrio and Campylobacter. Vibrio, especially Vibrio cholera. Okay, Vibrio cholera. Corkscrew, I told all the spirochids. 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 Especially, to know, but all the spirochids. Lashing will be Borrelia. Borrelia. Lia, Borrelia, lashing, lashing. Falling leaf, uh, we always say that Gia Girjata, hai na? Gia, gir, Gia, Gia vegetable falls, Gia falls. So, Giardia. Gliding, I always say Diana. Diana skin glides, mycoplasma. So, Diana. Diana skin, Diana skin. So, it is gliding. Okay, Diana. Statly, already you have COLS. Clostridium, Clostridium, yes, the stately motility, you know? state Clostridium, already closed there. Tumbling differential, you know, tummy, tummy list, tummy list antony, you know, listeria, listeria, tummy list antony, listeria monocytosis. Twitching who twitches? Our Trisha, Trichomonas. Trisha, she always twitches her eye, you know, Trisha, just like this, you know, Trichomonas vaginalis, vaginalis. Who rotate? Our Balu rotates. Bala, no? Bala, he rotates. Balu, Balu, the Balu, the beer rotates. No? Balan, TD, Balan, TD, Balan, Balan, TD, you call it. Balan, TD, you call it. You know this one. This is all parasites. Okay? Very, very simple. Never you want to make a mistake. One expected question. Sure. Paka. <coughs> okay. I'm going to skip this, but I'm going very fast. Louis Pasteur, you know, father of microbiology, you know, father of microbiology. Main thing is that he, for him, it's the car. That means he invented the vaccine of cholera, cholera, anthrax, rabies, vaccine. He invented all the vaccines of this thing, okay, vaccine. But whereas the Robert Koch, he invented the organism, which you know, the cat. He likes cat, okay. So he invented the cholera, he invented the anthrax, 
and he invented the uh, T for uh, uh, TV. He invented it, okay? Uh, anthrax. This is faster. Okay. Paul Ali, father of chemotherapy. Father of chemotherapy. Anton von Leeuwenhoek, he found a simple microscope. Right? Simple microscope. Simple microscope. Ernest Rushka, E for electron microscope. He found the electron microscope. Edward Jenner, smallpox vaccine. First vaccine, no? Smallpox. Smallpox vaccine. Alexander, smallpox vaccine. Smallpox vaccine. Uh, and Alexander Fleming, penicillin. Pennsylvania. Joseph Lister, Lister is antiseptic. So, father of antiseptic surgery, father of antiseptic, father of antiseptic surgery, father of antiseptic surgery. Kalibi Mullis PCR. Kalibi Mullis PCR. Okay, if, if you're lucky enough, direct question, you can get this. Okay, this one I'm not going to talk anymore. This catalyst test, you know, catalyst test, uh, three, you know, three percentage H2O2, you ask. Okay, cat for shortcut for this is cat in all my places. Cat is present in all my places. You know, so irritating this cat. You know, I hate the cats. No. Uh, so, I am not present. Just for the thing I am saying, okay. A for, uh, A for you can say, uh, actually my uh, A for uh, this one. You are aspergillus, aspergillus. M for mycobacterium TB. Mm -hmm. P for catalyst positive could be. Um, one second, it should be uh, in all places. No, so cat positive. So pseudomonas, pseudomonas, listeria. Anthrax, one more anthrax also, get us positive. And C for your uh, candida, all enterobacteriaceae. Yes, for staphylococcus. Okay, that's it. They don't ask directly. Just UDSK, you know, the shortcut is punch. P for proteus, U for ureoplasma, N for no codia, C for cryptic, H for H infancy. Anyway, proteus and H infancy we already discussed. Okay, this if it's per pink color, then it is proteus. Okay, punch pink color. Okay, simple stains are single stain. Uh, simple stains are basically the single stains, you know, like methylene blue, methylene blue one stain. Negative stain, you know, Indian ink and negrosis. The background is not stained. The background is dark and mainly this, the other part is it's for capsule. Usually for capsule we use, you know, you know that one. Especially cryptococcus. This picture was given is a cryptococcus. Okay, any, any, any capsule. Impregnation stain is your common stain. This is a this is one of the Fontana stain or Vartin silver. Any silver stain in case and a silver stain. So uh, now Fontana, Levadity, we also say syphilis or Vartin starry for H. pylori, etc. etc. The differential stains may if we talk about differential stain, they are all or the same. Gram stain, your acid fast stain, Albert, everything comes in that category only. So special stage may we already told this is for diphtheria. You know, by seeing only you can see this is for diphtheria. And the shortcut I already told you what plan, P L A N and a plan. So that is for uh, ponders, uh, low plus methylene blue, Albert and Nasal. Spores ka stain ka ash bay. Ash bay and sharp sharp of Fulton. Fulton. For flagella, it is leaves and and RYU, reuse stain, reuse stain, okay. Ash, they didn't ask much these days, the stains and all, okay. They ask also ash by spork, ash by, and shopla fulton, their leaves and and reuse, okay. That's it, you know that one. Now, gram stain, gram stain, the shortcuts and all, okay. I'll, I'll say it because you never know these people make an ask. So, as soon as at least for these two, you should know the structures. So, this is a primary stain and the uh, primary stain, first a primary stain, moderate, and then decolorizer, and the secondary stain. Shortcut for gram stain is, you know, Miss Violet, she intakes all saffron. How bad? No, she intakes all saffron. My colleague for uh, this one, for the, I'm sorry, for the acid first microvitamin TB here, uh, car, his own car hits Anand Mahendra. Can you believe? Car hits Anand Mahendra. He himself is a Pioneer and he his own car hit him. Okay, now this was story. Yeah, no one is that in Mahindra. This was story. Okay, let's let's start now. So violet because the primary stain is crystal violet. It's the crystal violet. Uh, crystal violet. And uh, I for iodine. 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 Iodine for the modern. And decolorizer you use acetone. 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 So here the secondary stain is saffronin. Saffronin. Okay, for uh, gram stain. My colleague said here. For TB, this for microbiota TB. So C for carbolfuxin. 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 H for you're doing the heat, intermittent heat. Intermittent heat. Intermittent heat. A for 
uh, after intermittent heating, what are you going to do? You're going to eat, you're going to put the acid. Which acid? Your 25% H2SO4. It depends on whatever organism you're using. And M for your methylene blue. Methylene blue. Secondary strain is methylene blue. Bus. It's nine. Car is Anand Mahindra for your TV. TV is the car should come Anand Mahindra. Gram is the gram to first is crystal violet. So violet index all the second. Maybe she's pregnant. Okay. Uh, crystal uh, violet index all seven because you know the girls want to become. So they might have taken uh, the babies who want to be white, fair baby. So might have taken the saffron. Okay, that's it. Oh yeah, this is very important. Here, this question I got miss it. You have to come. So H two is over different percentage. We know. Okay, so uh, twenty to twenty five percent is microvitamin T B. You know that one. Okay, huh? uh, microvitamin tuberculosis. Five percentage. The word lepra. Lepra is there. Lepra. So five, one, two, three, four, five, lepra. So mycobitum leprosy, leprae. One passage, many. I told first of all, Nora is number one, number one dancer, and Legionella legions, military army is also number one. Apart from that, you don't forget this, your cryptosporidium, the diarrhea in a immunocompromised patient, cryptosporidium, cyclospora, Isospora. Nowadays, they're calling cysto isospora. Okay, all these things. Okay. And for your tenia saginata segments, also tenia saginata segments also included, but they don't have that much. Don't worry. A 0 0.55. 5 is yes. No. 5 is looking like a yes. So it is for sperms and spores. Finished. Simple. I know. Yeah. Grampus you can do. I already told you. McDonald's. This is basically the Grampus Miss McDonald's. No, no, make the positive people go to make the nuts. We already discussed so much. I'm going to skip this. Positive people go to McDonald's. Okay, that's it. Next, back to Gurdwag. This is an important, you have a question for sure. So, battle Gurdwag, always they give you this question. The first phase is lag phase, log phase. This is this is lag phase, this is log phase, and this is Stationary. And then this, the last one is the death phase. So, lag phase, station. This is, yes, no, station. Okay, death phase. So now, how to, how to, how to, how to go there? Very, 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 very simple. We're almost finishing now. Lag is a lazy phase. This is on the vacation time. You're on a vacation. Before college starts, you're on a vacation. So what happens? Your size goes high. You become big, huge, you know, the size will be very high. Nothing. That's it. Now, log phase. Log phase when you're already in the college. You're very active when you're coming into the college. When you come into the college, what happened? You will work. You will work out a lot. You know, you will actively work, actively divide. So what happened? Your size will decrease. Size will, you will become slim fit and you become active. No size will decrease. So cell division happens. Replication. Cell replication happens here. So that's what your size is decreasing. And plus, so what you do in college, you're going to put biochemicals, you're going to put the biochemicals and you're going to put the all the, uh, any AST biochemicals, everything you'll do here on your testing. So all the testings will be done here. Okay, that's it. Okay. Now stationary. Stationary means shortcut is A-S-T-A-T. A-S-T-A-T state. Eh, nah? So T, I'm going to make it a B. Okay, like this B. So S for spore. Spore forming is here only. And then what is the T? Toxin. Toxin production here. A for any antibiotics production. B for bacteriosins. Definite question. Usually stationary and log phase, they'll ask question. So be careful, okay? Toxin, uh, antibiotics, bacteriosin, anything can produce. Death phase, and here, the number of stationary phase, may, uh, the number of uh, the dead cells, the, the, the dead one will be equal to the live ones. Okay, live one. Death may everything will be dead. Nothing is happening there. Okay, that's it. Okay, very good. Now back to luxury. Here, 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 here. Nothing much important. This is only the terms. See, based on oxygen, we obligate aerobe means everything we need oxygen. We brio, TB, etc. We brio, TB, etc. Obligate anaerobic. So I already told cap. We already talked about the cap. That is Clostridium, uh, Actinomyces. And the bacterioid, bacterioid is, you know, bacterioid is, that's it, okay. Faculty remember, most bacteria comes here, especially enterobacteriaceae, enterobacteriaceae comes here. micro means 5 percentage oxygen, micro organism might be asked, so there will be two, H. pylori and Campylobacter jejuni, Campylobacter jejuni, okay, they are buddies, micro they are seven low oxygen. Capnophilic means 5 to 10 percentage CO2, 5 percentage oxygen, 5 to 10 percentage CO2. 
so uh, five to ten percentage CO two means capnophilic. So they are usually brucella, H influenza, even C uh, Campylobacter, Jejuni Campylobacter, Jejuni C uh, H influenza. All these things they call comes under capnophilic. Okay, capnophilic. Ah, uh, here the different methods of gene transfer. So, genetical the the bacterial genetic support for the antibiotic resistance, and right? antibiotic resistance ka. So here important conjugation means basically forming a sex pilot. They're forming a sex pilot. Right? This one and the matrix transfer, not much about transformation is important. Transformation is basically you see the free uh, DNAs are taken into the cell and then they're divided and they produce all things. The transformation is classic example is uh, pneumococcus. Pneumococcus, meningococcus, H intensity, all the capsulated organism also example for transformation question. Transduction shortcuts, shortcut to remember transduction is BDS, BDS. Okay. What is this? Transduction means you're taking from outside through bacteriophage. So B for bacteriophage. Through the bacteriophage, you're transducting the this genetic material inside. D for duction, no? duction. And yes for staphylococcus. This question will be asked. Staphylococcus aureus, the mechanism of uh, resistance is this thing. For pneumomeningo H influenza, it is transformation. And for lysogenic conversion, the shortcut is Viva. She recently got a <coughs> scarlet bed. You know, she recently, Viva got a scarlet bed. Such a lucky girl, no? She got a scarlet bed. Oh, what does it mean? So, which are the toxins? That means from lytic, they, they are non lytic, they become lytic and they cause the. So, lysogenic conversion is a very, very important question repeatedly asked. So, we have a vibrio. Vibrio has this problem. Scarlet fever means that is streptococcus pyogenes. No? Streptococcus pyogenes because scarlet fever causing organ okay? That is this uh, uh, erythrogenic toxin. Scarlet fever is caused by erythrogenic toxin. Remember, scarlet fever may have strawberry tongue also. That's there. No? B for. B for uh, your uh, lysogenic conversion by botulinum. Botulinum toxin, even your E. coli. B for diphtheria. Diphtheria is also, also repeated. They asked. Diphtheria undergoes lysogenic conversion. Don't forget. And the scarlet fever one and vibrio also lysogenic conversion. Important question. That's it. Okay. Now, uh, microscopy, I'm not going to touch so much. We're almost coming to the end now. So, magnet microscopy, two things, magnification, resolution, and contrast. So, if your resolution of human, I use 0 0.2 micro, uh, 0 0.2 mm. Light microscope, 0 0.2 micrometer. And electron is 0 0.2 nanometer. Okay, nanometer. Now, light microscope, light microscope, light source, light microscope, the light sources, you know, it is usually the white light, white light source. Condenser is always below the stage, you know, that's the question. So you see the condenser, it is below, this is the stage and the condenser is below the stage. That was a question asked recently, condenser. Now, what is the uses for? You can see all the organisms clearly. Uh, the negative light microscope, you don't see internal, internal structures, you can't see. Internal structures, you can't see. Otherwise, uses you can use for motility, like stained smears, everything you can see except that thing. Now, the IP is always has 10x. Now, the other objective lens, the IP is always 10x. Objective lens magnification, we have again uh, different, different. Now, we have 100x, that is oil. Oil is always in 100x, and then we have 40x, and then we have 10x, and then we have 4x. So, when you calculate total magnification, then it will be into that one. So, 1400. 140x. These are the total magnifications. Okay, that's it. So, light source. Light source for um, light microscope, it's the T, transmitter light. And dark field are, are for reflected. Fluorescent ka, blue, U, UV light. Electron microscopy, you know, there's a tungsten filament. You in the tungsten filament that emits the electron. A right? tungsten filament that emits the electron. So this any of these questions can come and tell. Phase contrast, we're creating different phase contrast. You know? So you use this use this use to see the all the internal structures. Internal structures clearly meant so different phases. Different phase contrast, you know, different phase contrast. That's what you're able to see the internal structure, nothing much. Okay. The main thing is this is a phase split that has important role. That's it. Now we're talking about dark field microscopy. Dark field microscopy, the main thing which is okay, you can see all the spirochids. The main thing here is the 
you the condenser is dark fill condenser you change the condenser into dark that's it you convert the normal condenser into dark condenser that's it you add us just change the lens that's it that will become a dark fill microscopy okay now in fluorescent microscopy yes fluorescent microscopy just told now only we always have a in the uv light source this uv light source and then you stain the you stain the uh, the slide with the different fluorescent stain so what are they we have acridine acridine orange talcofluor white and then auramin rhodamin you already know we just had a discussion auramin rhodamin auramin rhodamin auramin rhodamin so 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 acridine ka acridine orange is for malaria malaria usually they call it as kava mota technique you know kava mota the motu got malaria kava mota technique is basically acridine orange for malaria malaria species class modia calcifer white is for fungus for fungal any fungal identification you know, calcifer white or even rhodamin is for tb tuberculosis we already did it okay so this question can come any of this can come or fluorescent stain to see this electron microscope is little bit googly and you have to know this one electron microscope the source is usually coming from the electrodes the source is from the electrode the tungsten filament so what is the lens here is the electromagnetic lens we are using electromagnetic lens and electromagnetic lens now what is the media vacuum you have this big huge vacuum the space you know this vacuum this vacuum inside the electron is sitting the slide is usually you're using is a metallic slide you're using a metallic slide and then how is the fixative you're using the remember two percentage cdx that is the glutaraldehyde same thing which you're using for glutaraldehyde the same thing which you have been using for that also for metallic slide vacuum atomic the two percent x we're using for the endoscopy yeah for sterilization embedding media you're using the resins here you here you're using the resins normally we use wax for other sides here you're using resin. negative is you can't see motel you can't see the motel organism you can't see the motel organism that's it okay yeah uh now culture media when you go the culture media we already stopped everything basic well, basic culture media, you will have two things, peptone and the agar. Agar are different concentration. If it's 0.2%, it's a normal agar. 0.5% is for motility. To check the motility, we do this one. 6% is to inhibit the swarming. To inhibit the swarming, swarming can disturb us. So to inhibit the swarming, we're doing it. So that you can do. Swarming, yes, 6. 6, you know, six swarming. So that also can be asked question. You can remember. Okay. Now, the simple basic media, I'm not going to talk there. Basically, when we talk about simple media, they are usually the nutrient uh, you know, nutrient agar, nutrient agar, or peptone water, all those things. Okay, basic enriched media important. Enriched media may blood agar will come, chocolate agar, enriched chocolate agar, chocolate agar, and this is uh, low plus serum slope, and this is LJ media. Blood agar may anything can grow like this. You know, blood is the, you're adding enriched substance here, it is the blood. Here also, but this is a five percentage. Just remember, this is a five percentage sheep blood agar. The five percent sheep blood agar. When you heat it, it becomes a chocolate agar. So here you're using a serum. When you're using a serum, it comes to low plus serum slope, right? low plus for diphtheria. You know that you should be fingertips, right? not to low print. Diphtheria may tell the interns not to low for a low plus. Right? Then here there's the egg. When you're using egg media, that is the Lowenstein Jensen, right? Lowenstein Jensen for TB. Lowenstein Jensen for TB. Already we discussed there. So, so TB, diphtheria, this for TB. That's it. Very, very important. They can ask you. Um, media, when you talk about media, we already talk every media we know thoroughly by this time. But also it'll be like a revision now. Vibrio cholera, enrichment Kelly, what she does, she takes the and she takes alkaline peptone water. Alkaline peptone water. Now these takes the uh, salmon shigla, they take they drink the broth. Which broth? Tetra cyanide. Tetra cyanide broth. Or selenite broth. broth. They drink broth. Viba drinks alkaline peptone water, but they drink broth. MTB, selective media, you know, the LJ media. Okay. For cornebatrium diphtheria, the selective media is uh, this enriched also in the same. Cornebatrium diphtheria the limit is potassium telluride other. Potassium telluride. Potassium telluride other. Tell in this not low color. Nasiria, you know, cheese chocolate boy, tire margin. Tire. Martin, otherwise New York. He's from New York. New York boyfriend, Thayer Martin. Sodomar Sajinosa, Ekta Kapoor, always ready at the set, Setrimide Agar. Right? Setrimide Agar. Sagar Shudonoka, common will be XLD, DCA, SS Agar. Even there's a Hengtones Agar, Hengtones Entric Agar also. 
Okay, but the same for Sharmila, but here one more additional is Wilson. Wilson Blair. This with this Wilson Blair plus all these things, all these medias will come out. Okay. Mycoplasma, I told you. This is called agar. So the name is of so people, people agar or eaten agar. People agar or eaten agar. There's a specific one. For Vibrio Colora, TCBS girl. She works in TCBS company, so TCBS media. TCS company, so TCBS. Anything can come from the certain media. Okay. Now the anaerobic culture. Anaerobic culture media may not that much to do. So now see, this is basically RCM, Robertson Cook Meat Media. We already know that. If it is black color, it is close to the tetany, black tea. Or if it is red, it will be close to the perfringes. Perfringes. Okay. Mr. Perfect drinks red uh, and the titanic tea, it's for tea, only black tea, you know, black tea. Hmm. Transport based streptococcus kelly, Pikes media, we know that Pikes media, for Vibrio Colory, Albrecht, Venkatram and Ramakrishna, well, and she's carrying herself a carry blair, carry bag, and, and of course, she's having a autoclave, seawater, autoclave, seawater, salt water, autoclave, seawater, just seawater. Autoclave, seawater, this is all for a beauty secret. Shigala salmon, don't know transport is Sachs buffered glycerol, Sachs buffered glycerol. Nazaria transport is uh, Emmys, Strouds and Emmys. You know? She aims Emmys and Strouds media. For anaerobic, again, thioglycolate broth. Thioglycolate, you can use the RCM also, right? Thioglycolate broth is even more better if you have it. Okay, that's it. Next, differential media. Uh, I'm sorry. Now, huh. now, differential media. So, this is McConkie. We already spoke about McConkie. Other one is your CLED. In CLED media, only thing is that. Here the LF will be yellow color. LF will be yellow. And LF will be pale. In Mekongki, LF will be pink. We already spoke about it. And the NLF will be yellow. That's it. Okay. Wow, we did a great job. We have finished everything except the sterilization part is there. A little bit, I thought of finishing it, but it'd be too much. I think I'm going to squeeze it with the virology microgram. That's very easy. So we'll finish with that only. Okay. I am so glad if we finished whole, imagine whole bacteriology, the general and systemic together in a very good and great manner. So all the best. There is not a single reason that you will uh, miss a microbiology. Definitely you're going to rock it in an easy and in a funny manner, whatever I told you to remember. And all the best once again. So we'll uh, soon we'll have the second part. So this first part for this much only. So be confident, study well, rest well. You will do great. All the best. So this is uh, I'll, 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 all my prayers and things for you people. Do well. Okay. See you soon.